fun stream, everyone. Um, if you're watching the replay of this, I'm, I'm fixing my PC. It's going to be a different stream, but I kind of have to fix it first because it's overheating a bit. But I'll wait for people to join before actually getting into things. Hey, that was fast. How are you always the first person here? Pizza, welcome back. Let me know how the audio is. I can't really control anything. The, um, it looks like... Do you see chat on screen? Why do I look like I'm dying? Am I the one slowly dying? Okay, it's working. Get younger. I think I look worse right now. Um, okay, so today's stream was supposed to be an advice show. So I posted a link to members and Patreon supporters where they could submit anything that they needed advice on because I have lots of life experience. I've had many relationships. I've, um, I've been through the works. I've been on this planet for a solid couple years. And uh, I was, yeah, it was gonna be like semi tongue in cheek, but semi not. Cause I was truly gonna try and give my best advice that I could, but I knew it would be really bad advice. So I still wanna do that, but my PC is dying. So if you were on a recent stream, um, I don't think my grandma's still dying. So on a recent stream, I tried to stream VR and my graphics card Something in the computer, I don't know exactly what, hit 165 degrees Fahrenheit and it started burning. So we're gonna crack her open today, everyone. Behind the scenes look, oh yeah, Zaxby's cup. And um, yeah, take part of these. I don't know, I like watching um, PC builds, whether it's like skilled people or unskilled people. Uh, my camera isn't dirty, it's cracked. <laughs> so you'll just, I'll, if there's a, yeah, there's a bit of a glare, but it's whatever. Um, so this PC has, um, it's, it's done a lot for me. It sits down here on the floor. It's, so it started out, I've kind of like, because I sort of built this computer, but sort of not. Like, I didn't build it from scratch. I've just, basically, it's for the past like 10 years, pretty much, I've been just upgrading the same uh, tower. But it's been a while. I guess eight years, technically. Ooh, the buttons are really sticky. And it's it's been through some rough stuff. So it started as... Ugh. It's still plugged in. So for my, I think it was 2014 for Christmas, my parents got me a, a Dell. It was just a little Dell tower, not made for gaming. It was like, I think it was $350, $375. Um, and it sucked. <laughs> I mean... Hey, I really appreciated the gift, but unfortunately $300 doesn't get you a great computer. So I ended up returning it to Staples, and then I spent some of my own money. I spent an extra $300 to get a pre-built side. It wasn't CyberPower. I don't remember what it was. It was from Best Buy. Maybe I buy power. I'm not sure. But it was a pre-built. It was like $600, and I, that lasted a little while. And from there, in 2014, 2015, I just started upgrading this one. Um, well, I, I upgraded it to what it is today. So since then, I've gone through, this is my third case. Second motherboard, second graphics card, third processor, third set of RAM. But I haven't touched it in well over four years. Well, okay, I, four years ago, I, um, what did I do? I, ch I changed the the case, but nothing else. Past that, it was all the same. So, uh, let me get a light going. 
And when I changed the case, of course, there was new thermal paste. But I haven't changed the thermal paste in over three years. Apparently, it only lasts a couple of years. Two dollars from Shane Mercado. I'm selling my PC if you're interested, lol. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Um, no, I'm good. I, hopefully, we'll fix it. Wait, what was the super chat for? I, I, oh, two dollars. Thanks for the super chat. Um, well, I guess send a message to Shane if you need a PC. I mean, it's a little dusty. Honestly, it's not as bad as Alice's PC, which I um, I rebuilt it, and it actually went well. It, it, it rebuilding her PC was the first time it ever booted up. It's the first time I ever built a PC that booted up on the first try. Now, granted, it was all the same parts. It's not like I was using any other parts, so there was no risk of compatibility errors or whatever. Uh, maybe you can guess what happened to my <sighs> TP-Link Wi-Fi. Antenna's very nice. I, you know what? Honestly, it's not that bad. I don't even, like, ever spray it out or anything. It's just a little fur. So... Could, could be worse. No. Oh, no. I missed a spot. All right. So, <laughs> it, hopefully it's okay to share this number or whatever. It's too late now. You see this yellow? What can? What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of yellow? Two dollars from Basil. Um, gua, two whole dollars. It's me again, lol. Um, gua. I like the accent on that. Welcome back, Basil. Thanks for another two bucks. Um, yeah, it's Cappy. It's Cappy, Basil. Did you guess Cappy? So, long story short, family cat uh, ended up coming to my house, and uh, he never really had good behavioral. He he's never had behaved. We'll just say that. So there's crystallized cat urine all over the PC. He actually pissed into the power supply. So there's urine in the power supply. It started spraying out. So he's no longer allowed in my office. He's been to the vet three times for his behavioral issues. He's on antidepressants. He, he, he sprays, basically. He, he doesn't need to just go pee. He sprays. Um, because he has, yeah, he's always had behavioral problems. So I'm also going to try and clean up the rest of the urine. Because honestly, I didn't really... I. I did like a surface cleansing, but that was about it. On here I have a hard drive be, uh, because, oh my god, all the issues are caused by cats now that I think of it. It's filled with cat fur, so one of the cats pee on it, the other cat knocked, I had one of these just sitting on top, just, you know, casually plugged in. I um, was transferring some files and my other cat knocked it off and destroyed my card, so I lost years of footage. Um, on that one. I, now that I think of it, I don't know why that one wasn't backed up. Because I've had drives fail, but I, I always had them backed up. But, yeah, I, I sent it to a company that restores hard drives, and they quoted me, like, $2,000 with no guarantee to save it. So now I have to, yeah. Basically, no cats are allowed in my office anymore. You can't freeze them. Maybe that's why there's less fur, actually, than I expected, because I don't like cats in here anymore. I guess I should keep that up. Long story short, cats are more fun in theory than in practice. So, it's been absolutely molested by animals. Two pounds from Jess Lambert, donating towards the Ant War Fund. The <laughs> Thank you, Lambert. Welcome back. I think I recognize your name. Thanks for the two pounds. <sighs> Um, yeah. Ants. So, I, I didn't want to make, I was like, I might as well just kind of stretch out the ant videos a little bit. Because I have so much footage that um, I'm, I'm going to make it last, so. Part three will be in probably four days, three days. Featuring poison. Alright, so, something else I forgot that happened is I actually, I had to submit and go to Geek Squad. I had to bring my PC to Geek Squad. <laughs> because it wouldn't boot up one day after I made some sort of change, but I don't remember what I did. Um, oh, I need to plug in the power cord. So I can ground it. Uh, I 
can get to it. And so it turns out that there was a wire actually stripped in the case because I kept I put it back together four times and I was like it still won't boot up what am I possibly doing wrong I tried replacing parts um, and it turns out that one of the cords from the power supply got ripped out of place and uh, yeah I had to pay Geek Squad like too much to do that but they did a terrible they didn't even put my cord management back look at this so we're going to fix it all up PC, it's best to plug it in with the power set to off. So I'm just gonna have to like wipe everything down anyway. Um, reading a couple comments. The ants are still being fought. Cats are a scam. Cats are the best. You just suck, apparently. Well, the other, don't get me started on the other cat who knocked my camera over and I had to send it to Florida to Panasonic and it was $500 to get the screen repaired. I couldn't do it myself because um, they, the part is, it's not sold or something, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so, oh wait, I was going to take a couple pictures, but I'm using this. Normally I take pictures for the layout of the cables. Yeah, let me get, I'm actually going to grab my, di like, my digital camera. This is the camera that I make the vlogs with. It's a Sony ZV-1, I think ZV-1. It's pretty nice. The battery's about to go out. I um, got it on eBay because it has a cracked screen. But honestly, I don't even notice the... And the better than that. Where did I put the other batteries? I just had them. <sighs> yeah, sure. One of the cats chews on my cables too. Computers were laid out. We have I'm just showing like what I did with the other is I'm like because I'm not gonna remember which ones actually had cables in them. So that one does, this one does, this one does, this one does, and then this one. Too bad I'm not upgrading anything today. That would be a little bit more fun, admittedly, instead of just like fixing it. it well come cat he, 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 yeah. I don't know if like talking about his spray so basically he sprays because he's a problematic cat and it was never dealt with when he was younger <clears throat> um, only 10% of neutered male cats obviously male only 10% of male cats spray after being neutered because the vet was like well we need to neuter him I was like he's neutered now like, are you sure I was like, yes, his balls are gone. They've been incinerated for years. Um, so. 
it's kind of, I don't know, it's a bit of a, I don't want to say lost cause, but I mean, he's literally been on drugs. And at one point, he actually started, <laughs> so when cats spray, obviously it's for like territorial reasons. <sighs> and, um, is your top and right fan backwards? Is it? I don't know. I'll, ch I'll check all the fan placement. Um, so yeah, they, they spray to because he's territorial. He doesn't want to be under the cats, etc. And he actually he holds his urine and waits to spray. And he gave himself two UTIs because he's holding his pee for too long. And so he keeps, he, he's been treated for those two UTIs. They got cleared up with antibiotics. But he's I'm, I don't know what that. <laughs> The vet's like, oh, man. <laughs> so, let's see. If anyone has tips, feel free to contact me, I guess. Um, oh, are they blowing out? Well, I know this one blows out. Yeah, all right, I'm, I built this quite a while. Well, okay, the last people that put it... No, it was me. I can't blame it on Geek Squad. I, I probably put the fans backwards. Yeah. So, where should they... It's like... So I, I don't even know why there's a fan here. There's <laughs> there's no air. I don't know why I put that there. I guess that could... Maybe I'll have it suck in and then push and then blow out this way? Is that the top and right? Is this the right? So you're saying these two should be flipped? Wait, wait what is this? Oh my god, I forgot I zip-tied it on because I ran out of screws. <laughs> Man, I thought I was like alright with PCs, but Yeah, the fans are backwards and zip tight on. But um the way that they check for UTIs is they pick up your cat and they stick a massive needle straight through their straight through their skin and into their bladder. And they just suck the piss out straight from the cat's bladder, which is horrifying. <laughs> And um, I hope that that never happens to me, so. I can't take my graphics card out. Got a 1080 Ti. It was, it was nice at the time. It's a bit old now, but still doing its job. If I can get it out. $1.99 from Sam Bentley. Protractor could help you fix this SMH. This one out, Sam. Thank you for the super chat. Welcome back, Sam. Okay, I did laugh pretty hard at your comment, though. <clears throat> All of this to occasionally not have to buy lettuce. <laughs> In a perfect world, I'll still do the advice stream tonight, but I honestly don't know if I'll have the energy after this. Do I even need to take it out? Probably there's probably some urine on it. I'll probably go get some some ear cleaners. I don't know what they're called. Cotton ball sticks. Um, yeah, I mean it's not like it's the cat's fault that he is the way he is. It's just that I don't like the way. He is. <laughs> How do I get this in? Oh, it's because of this. I'm curious if anyone here would buy the Linus Tech Tip screwdriver. I mean, this screwdriver was like 20 bucks. It's lasted me for years. I'm not, and it's not even like made for PCs. Hey yo. It's actually not that dirty. It's not as dirty as I expected. What are they called? Ear swabs? Just, you know what I'm talking about at least. Remember to discharge the capacitors. I don't know what discharge means, I don't know what a capacitor is. But I'll be sure to do it. I don't know, I've taken, I mean like I said, I've been working on this PC since I was 14. It's been through a lot. So the fact that it's um, still kicking is a miracle. I am trying to get, I need to get the motherboard out. Or I don't even need to get the motherboard, I just need to get the fan off. 
The problem is I can't get the fan back on when the motherboard is in. Oh, that's kind of dirty though. Yeah, I have compressed air and rubbing alcohol. I don't really want to spray it inside though. Put an even layer of lithium grease on the coils and feather the brake. Are you making stuff up or is this act? I've honestly never heard any of these words before. I, you're probably just actually being helpful, but I truly have no idea what you're talking about. It's been so long, I don't remember how to take this off. I don't think I unscrew it. I think it's just clips. Yeah, I think it's this. And the problem is, I have no backup. My Oh, maybe I should fix my laptop in this video too. My laptop's broken. It won't start. I bought the laptop two years ago. For like a thousand bucks. And it just died. Um, last week. I guess if this doesn't work, I'll be forced to fix my laptop. Huh. Well, yeah, this started as just putting in thermal paste, but I found a lot more cat urine, so everything's gonna have to come out. I'm just gonna start unplugging stuff, I guess. That's weird, this cord didn't have like there's nothing to press, it just pulls straight out. <clears throat> also, one of the fans is broken, the RGB. It was like that from the factory, I just never got it fit, like never got it replaced. I got this case when it like, kind of was new, and now it's like, I think it's the most popular case. It's nice, I like it, NZXT. I almost got the white version, but I like the black. And I'm gonna have to take the fans off anyway. So I guess I'll just do that now. Oh, do I want anything from McDonald's? Um, I'll take a, I'm not that hungry. I would take a four piece nugget meal with a medium fry, barbecue sauce, and the medium slushy. I wish I could like listen to some music or at least some lo-fi, but I all both my computers are broken and my phone is streaming. So I just I um I hope no computer enthusiasts are watching. I didn't have the right screws for these fans, so I decided to just strip the fan by using just really chunky screws. It's fine. And there's only two screws in this fan. I don't think it matters though. Like why does a fan need four screws? It's not gonna launch off into space. Kind of a waste of screws if you think about it, right? What is this cable management? What did I do? There's so many times. When I was a kid, I kind of just wanted a Mac. <laughs> I couldn't afford it. My computers were always just like hand-me-downs from like my dad's work or my mom's work. Because um, my mom's work would have Windows, my dad would have Mac, so we, me and my sister would just use their old ones. It was so exciting when I got the Dell, by my brand new $300 Dell lap, or uh, desktop, like mid, mid-sized tower or whatever. Um, I mean, I just grew up on that because my dad always used it. And I, there were so many times, I have two SSDs. I don't, I don't know that. Um, oh yeah, I remember putting those SSDs in actually. They're nice. So I was always like, Windows must just suck. Windows must just be the worst. I hate building PCs and I get really upset and flustered because I couldn't get them back together, which might happen in the stream, we'll find out. Um, and I always end up looking at the Apple site. I would call Apple and be like, um, hello sir. What PC, what's your cheapest computer? I don't know why I'm using a high voice. I was like 15, but I could never afford it. So I stuck with Windows and I prefer Windows. After all, I, I don't, I'm not even a gamer. I'm not even an epic gamer, but um, regardless, there's definitely, I don't know. I feel like I have more capabilities on Windows. I mean, like the Macs did, but, or no, that was Windows actually. I, I ran my Minecraft server off an old laptop. 
my dad is always like, why is the Wi-Fi so slow? Why is it not working? This stupid Wi-Fi sucks, but it was I was running a mine, private Minecraft server. I mean, a public server, but on a private IP. <clears throat> Zip ties with something. I'll, I'll get to that later. Um, Alright, I'll take off these bad boys. Thank you, Troy. It's nice. I've never used a Linux. What did eggshell say? 2000. Six Corolla. Okay, right, first round is cool. Okay, so I guess I'll just un I guess I'll just take out the whole motherboard now, right? So the motherboard has an assortment of screws. There's a. Um, I know it doesn't matter. I'm gonna close my closet just because I do have some sensitive documents, but I just have this paranoia that one of gonna screenshot and like enhance in Photoshop and see my stuff. So there's like six different types of screws holding my motherboard on. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm curious if we'll find any roaches. Wouldn't be the first time. I mean, it's probably a dubia roach at least. Like, come on. I'm still trying to figure out whether my identity was stolen or not. I recorded the whole, basically I, it's possible my identity was stolen. And if it has been, I mean, if it has or hasn't, I've recorded the whole process. I have this folder just growing with a bunch of video clips of me trying to like investigate myself. We'll find out. I'm trying to find other screws. And so a while ago, actually, when I was moving houses in 2020, I was packing up and I have like a few sentimental items. And I always, anytime I move, because I've moved so many times, I always put my sentimental items in a separate box and bring them with me, like in the car. But I could not for the life of me find one of my childhood Lego minifigures. And I was so upset. And for a, a, over a year, I truly just thought that I lost it at the old house. Like I fell in a bench or got vacuumed up or something. But when I last took apart my PC to try and clean the pee, or not even take it apart, just digging around trying to clean the pee out, I actually found them. There's this bad boy right here. Got him in 2000, I think 2008. Uh, his name is Kevin. Kevin lived in my PC for two years. And this is my, ooh, he's so, he's so dirty, look at him. I've had him, I mean, this Lego is older than I am. But I've had this one, I think, my whole life. <clears throat> so at least that one didn't get If that one had gotten lost, I would have lost it. Because Kevin wasn't the most important. Also, this is actually pretty useful for getting these screws out. Yeah, it hit 165 degrees last time I live streamed. It's still screwed in, apparently. Oh, here's it. I, well, it, it, whether or not my identity's stolen, I'll still make the video. But I wanna have like a complete story. I wanna have a, cause like the ant, stuff like yeah i'll do it in parts like it'll be like a four part series if i if i do a video about my stolen identity i want it to be like a complete story start to finish which kind of sucks because i want to do a lot more like long form story sort of videos but it's just i mean i have to upload 
frequently. Wait. Forgot to unplug these. Yeah, I was streaming Township Tail in VR. I had one awkward interaction with some random kid, and then that was it. I've also been having issues with the Wi-Fi. I think it's a combo of the Wi-Fi at the house is really bad, and also my Wi-Fi card is dying. Why is it? Oh, come on. How do I... Is this case not the right size for this motherboard? Like... It's so hard to like eat. I mean, my fingers aren't that big and I still, oh, it's so sharp. I wonder if the top panel comes off. Hey, we got it. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on my chair. I mean, I wanna put it, I have the tempered glass on my chair. Pour some water on it. I might just, I mean, I can just be mobile. I'll probably sp uh, spray everything off outside. And then give it urine. So that's, is that it pretty much? I mean, there's the SSDs. I don't think I'm gonna really touch the back though. So I guess we'll just take these pieces outside. Actually, oh, let me finish taking out apart the other part first. I think <clears throat> I used rice for something. Oh, it's bad. Wait, but come on, it's like the one thing that like everybody agrees on, right? Put your phone in rice. Are phones still waterproof if they're cracked? I don't actually know. All right, now let's try and figure out how to get this off. Get a 3090. Is that what graphics cards are up to? The last card I've ever seen was like a 2080. How did this go on? Yeah, it's just clips, there's no screws. It's very um, wiggly. Maybe that's normal. I don't really have much to compare it to. How did I get this on? Forty series is coming soon. I'm a little bit behind. It's just the clip, and it should never be wiggly. I mean, it's not that wiggly. It's like, it, it's not doing anything. I wonder if I broke it a while ago. Hey, what is that? Is that thermal paste? I think it's just dust. This fan kind of sucks. I don't even think this fan is compatible with this, like, board, I don't know. Get the last one went on really easy and stuff, and then I bought this fan aftermarket because the other one was ugly. <laughs> I don't even like this fan because it glows RGB, but it doesn't let me select the colors. Like the rest, I usually do a blue and pink theme, and then this one's just over here being green and yellow. Ruining my vibe, as the kiddos would say. It's not moving. I don't know what a heat sink is. <laughs> Wait, isn't the heat sink this part? <clears throat> the metal? I don't know, man. 
I'm not. The, I invested eight dollars into this video. I'm losing my voice for some reason. Why am I? Why did my voice just leave my body? Where's my drink? <clears throat> Hello. Hello. <clears throat> No, I can't get my fan off. <laughs> Let me give you a close up. Oh, but yeah, I invested eight dollars into this for some new thermal paste. I almost used my three-year-old three-year-old thermal paste, but I decided to not be too lazy and went to Best Buy. All right. Should I water cool my PC? I have some tubes, some tubing and some straws. I've got plenty of water. So, all right, so what happens is when I push this, it pushes this metal piece downwards. Away from the fan. But I feel like this whole, wait. I don't understand what the point of that is. Yeah, I could sleep with like my eyes open in math class. Just a little, like I wouldn't realize I'm doing it. But then I'd realize I'm, there's like, yeah, it was weird. Is it bad to like scrape that? Maybe I shouldn't scrape it. What is all this black stuff? It unclips at the bottom of the silver part under the black clip. Well, yeah, it unclips here, but I can't get it off. Like, I can't get it to push downwards. So obviously it has something to do with this mechanism, but the mechanism doesn't seem to do anything. If I keep pushing, I feel like it's gonna break. With the light. No. What do you, you mean like flatten pins on the processor? Okay, I won't scrape it. Oh! I did something. Wait, that doesn't help me at all. Oh wait, I think it was unhooked the whole time. Like I think now it's engaged and now it's disengaged to be taken off. Engaged, doesn't move. Okay, so basically for the past three years it hasn't actually been connected. Which means that this is disengaged and oh, so I must have forced it on like really hard when I last put it on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it off. <clears throat> I spent a lot of money on this processor, man. I think it's a Ryzen 7. It was, I mean, Ryzen 9 didn't even exist when I got it, so. Huh. Wait, what? It just lifted straight off. I've been doing the exact same thing for the past 10 minutes. Why did it just lift straight off? Why have we been streaming for 40 minutes? I haven't even taken this off yet. All right, there's my thermal fix. <laughs> oh my God, it's... It's completely dry, it's, it's not coming off. Isn't it supposed to be wet? <laughs> Is this, is this normal? It looks fine, right? I don't need to change it. <laughs> <laughs> it 
the end of stream is just buying a new PC. I don't have the money for a new PC right now. The last couple months have been tough, all right? I haven't been getting that many views. <laughs> Should I lick it? What does it taste? Is it dangerous to eat? Okay, it came off. See, it just took a little force. Nothing a little elbow grease can't do. Yeah, I mean, if I need money, if I legitimately need money, I'll just sell the Subaru. I got a good deal on it. I'm not gonna say how much I paid because I might try and sell it to a subscriber. I mean, hey, if one of you wants the Subaru, I'd probably list it for like 17. See if I get any takers. Secretly take 1650. I mean 165. Cause when I bought the I, I was gonna do a video about the Subaru, but I felt like it'd be kinda awkward. Seeing as I might have like might sell it. Basically I bought it like when my income was like up and up and up and up. And then all of a sudden, a week after I bought the Subaru, my revenue just dropped. <laughs> like, it dropped off a cliff like it never had before. <laughs> and I was like, frick. Because <laughs> I had to buy it in cash, because it was a private sale. <clears throat> and I was like, well, this is awkward. I'm going to have to sell it, like, immediately. So I haven't yet, but we'll see. Yeah, this is isopropyl. It's it's only 70%. I didn't even notice Alice, Alice gave it to me. She said it's 70%, so be careful. I don't know what that means, but okay. Yeah, I like the Zebra. It's fun. It's very light. I mean, it, it was like, it was, it was, oh, so what, I keep not finishing what I was saying, but I recorded purchasing the Subaru and driving it home, because I, I bought it two hours away in um, another town. And the guy was like, you said you can't drive stick. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, so who's gonna drive it home? And I was like, I am. <laughs> he's like, okay, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> uh, so I recorded me driving stick for the first time, which also was me that had just bought the car and have to get it two hours home. And it was at night and it was through city. It was it was very scary, but it was really fun. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put even if I sell the car, I'll still post it. Is that clean enough? I think that's fine. I got I was pretty good about not getting like thermal paste everywhere. Like the first time I did it, it was like all over the whole PC. <laughs> okay, I'll just sound like this. Um, I, no, the clutch is fun. Apparently clutches are pretty hard, because it's a 20, I don't remember what year it is, 2012 or 2013. Like, yeah, if I was driving, like, a car from the 80s, I probably would destroy the clutch. I, I burned it once, like, I could smell it once. Um, however, it's a stage two clutch. It was a, it's a racing clutch, and I did not know that, it, that he had installed a racing clutch. Um, which I, the thing is, it's the only manual car I've driven, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But apparently it's more difficult than a normal clutch. But it's, I mean, I, I bought it as a track car, so at least it'll be a little more track ready. I was hoping to drive it on track this summer, but it's kind of expensive to prepare it. Like I'd need the oils, need new brakes, <clears throat> probably change the tires, cause I haven't done that yet. I've changed the oil once. I, I went to, I've never purchased oil before. I, I went to Subaru like an hour away to buy genuine Subaru oil. And it was like $85 for one, just for enough, I think I can't take this off, just for enough oil to change it once. So I think I'll just buy something a little more generic next time. Hold on, a cat's stuck in the bedroom. He upgraded the exhaust as well and it was, extremely intimidating at first. Like it's the loudest car I've ever been in. Now it doesn't seem loud to me, but. Don't buy generic oil? Yeah, but so why is it like, well, Jasmine said oil is cheap. 
And then Jacob said, don't buy generic. Like, if I took it to a place to get it changed, it would have been like $60. I ended up paying like $100 to change my own oil because <laughs> I had to buy an oil pan. It was such a pain. I had to go to four stores because the last guy that changed the oil, presumably the owner, completely stripped the oil plug. And so I had to buy impact wrenches and, and I couldn't fit under the car because it's so low. So I had to get it um, some extra jack stands. And um, so it was more than, it was like $200 to change my oil. And then I bought the wrong size oil plug so I couldn't even change it. And then, um, Whoever put the, what are they called? The, the things that keep the wheel, the like separator behind the wheel, wheel stud maybe? The, uh, my wheel studs started snapping off. So whoever changed the wheels, like took off the wheels last, I guess over tightened them. Apparently it's easy to over tighten on a Subaru. So I had to, wait, why are you saying no? What's, what's wrong? Wait, let me go up. OEM synthetic oil. Oh, so like, I thought it was like a fancy oil I had to get. I just have to get genuine Subaru. <laughs> I bought my Subaru from a knob. <laughs> I didn't actually meet the owner. The owner's friend owned a car mechanic place, so I bought it from the owner's friend. And so I never had direct contact, so it was kind of just a surprise of like, oh, what did he do? And it has like, just a bunch of random changes. I'm being careful with the pins, they're fine. Look, they're fine. Well, maybe I'll get generic oil when I'm not on track. Cause I don't want to pay $85 every time. It's already almost time to change it again. Thankfully, the, I mean, I didn't drive it for like two months because the gas, I bought, it was the worst luck. I was like, heck yeah, birthday present to myself, uh, Subaru. And then I buy it and then instantly my income goes down and then instantly the gas price becomes, uh, I think it was 550 for premium. I'm just doing careful little circles. Maybe this will be easier if I, let me go get some, um, well, here you can come with me. I gotta go get um, some cotton sticks. Living room reveal. Some of you have seen them before. <clears throat> There might not be a good enough heat sink. Well, it worked for the last few years, so it's gonna keep working. I uh, organized all my tools recently. I think it looks pretty good. There's the unboxing ch Chan Su. I still use it, just like for day-to-day -day stuff. Let me grab some of these. <clears throat> CPU is Ryzen 7. I don't know the numbers after that. And Alice has the Tesla. It's normally right here. She, she went to McDonald's. It's not clean enough. It's it feels so dirty to me. It is a long ways to go. I want to just redo the whole garage. I want to paint it. I want to put down an epoxy floor. Um, I mean, I get the only time I play games is on the stream. So I, I mean, it has to handle the stream and the game, which is why VR was really difficult. <clears throat> to get this onto this. I need a little cup or something. To the kitchen! We need a cup. I like being able to be mobile. I don't know why I stopped playing Minecraft. Like, not for any particular reason. It was just, there's a lot of different games I want to play on stream. Um... 
so I'm kind of just going through a list. What have I been playing recently? I've been playing a lot of Fall Guys. It's, I don't know, it's, it's something pretty easy to play that I think is interesting to watch, but still, still like easy to talk while playing. Kind of like getting over it. I was gonna play getting over it while answering the, um, the advice questions. I really want to fill a lobby of Fall Guys with, um, if you want track car, tr if you want track your car, I can give you much more advice. Um, yeah, it works for me. You can send me your, you can email me your Discord. I could take the help. I have a, I mean, I'm in like the FT86 Discord server. They've been helpful with, like basically the, the Discord, it's, it's just a car enthusiast group of my car. Um, and I was just sending them pictures of every component being like, is this stock, is this stock, is this stock? And they were telling me everything that was aftermarket. And there's a lot more aftermarket than I realized, which isn't bad. Um, I, I mean, I haven't done anything to the car. I was just gonna keep it stock for a while so that I could um, learn it. Like, I don't know why people immediately start modding their car when you don't even like know how it drives. But he, he dumped like four grand on mods. And it's kind of weird mods. Like, why would you? He upgraded it to the loudest parent exhaust I've ever heard. And then he upgraded the sound. I don't know which order he did, but he upgraded the sound system. You still can't hear it. Like, I literally, I can't hear music in the car. So why would you? He added like a, a, a subwoofer. I'm gonna put on a soft. Oh, I can put my, I purposely took my, um, keyboard thing off. I don't know why. I don't know where to... I'm just gonna hold it. Oh! Oh! I, I forgot. I forgot that was in place. I think it's okay. It just, just fell out. Got my gamer mat, Fnatic. Apparently Fnatic is a an esports team, which I didn't know. I just needed a gamer mat, like a a, a, a keyboard mouse pad. What do the pins even do? Chrysler's probably the brand I knew the least about. This is in the same cup as my lemonade, so if I mix them up, we might have another hospital video. Would it be worse for me to drink rubbing alcohol or for me to put lemonade on the computer? It doesn't have to be that clean, right? Like, I'm putting more on anyway. Hospital bills will cost more than the PC. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess it would just be the but does anyone know what these are worth now? AMD Ryzen 3700X. I'm curious how much I paid. I can probably find the receipt. I'm also bad about not keeping the boxes. So every time I go to sell something, it loses a little bit of value. Now I keep boxes though. All right, I think that's clean enough. And then I've got two RGB and two non-RGB. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I'm taking it apart to um, put on new thermal paste. I don't know where I put my thermal paste. And then once I start taking it apart, I remember that my cat peed in the computer, so I have to clean all the pee out. Oh, it's only three fifty for this. Oh, well, I can just. No, I'm joking. Three fifty is kind of a lot. <clears throat> okay. I'm just gonna blow this off inside because it's not that dusty. I almost spent like fifty bucks on this thing. Oh, is it true? I was watching, a, I think, a Linus Tech Tips video, and he said you shouldn't let the fans spin from this. But it sounds like a little helicopter. Dude, wait, why are you cleaning the seat? Well, I'm going to clean all the fans. Like, I'm going to bring the other stuff outside and clean it, because I don't want to put dust in the house. Wait, did you just say there were $30? Oh, 300 I read that it's $29. Did the battery just go out? <laughs> I think the battery went out. It takes a micro USB. I don't know if I have any micro USB. All right, let's go for a hunt for a micro USB. my katana. That's right. I am the katana. Don't get too horny. Okay, now I can actually read. See the best gaming console ever made. Boom, DS Lite. It's uh, I got it in I think 2004, 2000, no 2000. No, it was after that, 2007. I'm thinking of the PS One. I still play it occasionally. I don't have any micro USB cables. <laughs> Did none come with that thing? Come on, why did the battery go out just of like right now? What is the I thought about doing like an exercise like because the only way I'd be motivated is if, like, about exercise or getting fit or, like, strong would be if I recorded it. Maybe someday. Alright, well, I think Alice has a can of air. One dollar from Walter. Thanks, Walt. I appreciate the buck. You covered one-eighth of my thermal paste, which I lost. Something must take micro USB on here. Regular USB. I guess not. <clears throat> Wait, what Walt R? Wait, is someone here actually named Walt R. Buck? And I said, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I say? I said, Walter, thanks for the buck, right? I'm confused. I think I was jumping. <clears throat> okay, let me go look for the candor and the micro USB.
I know for a fact I have a micro USB because I was just charging something else with it. Is Chad slow? I don't know. I mean, there's not that much to talk about right now. I don't, so I don't, this is Alice's, not Kelly. I don't have the actual tube, I got a bendy straw. Oh, it's cold. It's, ow, it's hurting me. This isn't working. Oh, <laughs> I tipped it on its side back. That was cold, that hurt. So apparently it's bad to use vacuums on computers too. I used to just vacuum it out. Let me look one more time for my Mac USB. Um, what? <laughs> I have two sets of RAM because I think they're the same spec. But one is R I, I bought non-RGB, and then I was like, I kind of want RGB because I wanted to upgrade the RAM. And then when I upgraded it, I bought RGB. I don't think it matters. It works. It says it's all present. Come on, it's all USB-C. USB-C. Here's my broken laptop. I don't think there's any fire. There's no roaches, believe it or not. Uh, how do I not? I don't keep stuff. I keep at most like two, like like one extra or two extra. Because why does anyone need a bunch of USB-C? Or USBs of any kind. I mean, I guess this is the proof. I mean, because basically, I have like two devices that use micro USB, and so I keep one USB cable for when I need it. Need it. I don't know why I lost it. I mean, this is all the cords that I have, like that you just saw. A lot of these for hard drives. I must be using it for something without realizing it. Also, I feel a little funny from inhaling all that dust cleaner. Oh wait, can I put... No, I don't think it'll fit. No, it won't fit. Hmm. What's this? USB, normal USB, C. Um, my shirt says Lawai from PewDiePie. Okay, well, does anyone have any other ideas on how to? Clean out all the dust. I'll go check Alice's desk to see if she has one.
I can use a wireless charging. Oh, okay. And there goes the battery again. All right, I'll let it charge for a few minutes. Uh, oh, it's a lot of dust. It's like, I think it's like slightly moist. Like it's kind of humid in here. Maybe it's, I might just have to wipe it. What, I can put uh, like decibel limiters on the stream when I'm on desktop, but mobile I don't have as many options. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that paper towel. Vengeance LPX DDR4. Um, I have microfiber that I like dry the car off with. I think I got some of the dust in my mouth. Why does it matter if I touch these? I mean, come on, they, they must produce them knowing that people are gonna touch them like me. Rampants are sensitive. I feel like stuff is less sensitive than people say, just due to the fact that like, like I'm sure there's like a similarity you can make to reptiles, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of one. Some like, well for some reason, hold on, my stream isn't auto-updating. Finger oil is bad. I'm oil free. I'm all water. Yeah, none of the dust is moving, but I mean, I'm not gonna see it, I guess. I remember when I was a kid, I thought that they were, um, it was the same both ways. And I was like jamming it in. I was like, well, I wanna go. Cause I was getting frustrated cause I shouldn't be allowed around computers. It still works. Oh my god, I just put it the wrong way. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's cat hair in it. I wonder, I don't know how old this motherboard is. Yeah, it's a nice click. I have a headache from that. Like I was like, my face was like right here when it went shh and like, yeah, I'm high now is what I'm saying. All right. I actually used a, my pressure wash my um, my pressure washer on ant hills. Uh, I just sprayed them everywhere, and then they stung me. Your DS. Yeah, it kind of sounds like the Nintendo Switch clear. You know, I think I'll just. Should I clean this outside? 
What can I do in the meantime while I wait for my thing to charge? No, it's it's the same RAM, I think. Uh, it's just one is RGB. Like, it's the same specs, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's go outside and clean the fan, and then we'll charge this to do the other stuff after the fact. <clears throat> I'm going to move this to a different... Why is it vertical now? Is it vertical for you? Where did my other... Yeah, I don't know where my thermal paste went. Does anyone see it? It's, it's yellow. And there it is, it's back there. For some reason, my chat's not updating automatically. Wait, let me let me try to send a message to see if that fixes it. I don't remember how. Whatever, I'll just scroll manually. Uh, GPU is a 1080 Ti. Oh, you're probably not asking me, are you? Oh, Sylvester, go away. Sylvester's the one to run outside. What college? First one in the chat. This will be interesting. if you can see it but oh you can it's all the dust <laughs> yeah don't most people do this inside it's kind of gross Wait, it comes apart? I don't think this one comes apart. Why this one might here? At the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I think it's gone now. Oh, there's some screws here. It's not the first time. I've cleaned it a couple times. I'll leave it together then. I can't, I don't know, I can't get the dust out though. See, like, look at all, 
I think we should take it apart. Let's go take it apart. Why not? But it's so gross inside. How am I going to get... Maybe I could use tweezers? Because it looks like it's kind of stuck together. I got tweezers in here. Why is Sylvester in the cabinets? Oh, he just went in the cabinets. Q-tip. I'll try the Q-tip, but... See a dog and cat? Take it apart. Okay, yes or no, do I take it apart? Whatever the poll answer is in chat, I shall follow. No, no, no. No, no, yes, no, no, no. Wait, why is everybody saying no? No, I'm drinking. I'm not taking that part. I'll try and reach it. <clears throat> Let me go get, get um, tweezers. Dust blower. Um, all right, this is an ear cleaner. Uh, I took the, off the ear wax. <laughs> Let me plug in my phone. Oh, I need to plug in the sprayer, duh. I'm wasting time here, I could be charging this bad boy. I would say it's worth $50 if it was USB-C, but the fact that it's just micro USB, it's not worth it. I have not taken it. I haven't purposefully taken a hit of Sharpie. Oh, ew. This is so gross. We have to take it apart. I'm not sure if my screwdriver will fit, though. Need the LTT screwdriver. Yeah, it's fine. What? It's just four screws. Do you have that little faith in me? Can't get that one. Yeah, I would just I would draw like draw on my erasers. Oh, I can't get this. Let me try a different bit. Where's all of my bits? Oh, I put the wrong. Back we go. Wait, where's my audio off? One dollar and ninety-nine cents from Michaela Castellanos. Hi, waving hand. How's it going? Welcome back, Michaela. Thanks for the super chat. Um, it's going okay. Where? Oh, you just saw my massive pile of laundry. Um, 
trying to fix my PC. I just need to change the thermal paste, but now it's getting worse because it's like there's cat pee in it and stuff. Oh, is that too loud? I'll turn it down. <clears throat> okay, see, this is not clean. Someone said my garage is clean. It's filthy. And look at the stairs. I um I put great stuff expanding foam because there's a lot of spiders like living in there and then I just put wood. Yeah, nobody cares. I will do a garage renovation video whenever I I don't need that much money to do it. Mostly just time. How many square feet? Uh, I think it's about 2,000. It's like, I mean, it's not like big or small to me. It just feels average. I don't actually know the square footage. There's different numbers on different papers, which is kind of an insurance problem, but I don't know. It's not like there's been any expansions on the home. Like it's all original. Oh, I got it. <laughs> They're very weirdly in here. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll measure it myself. I have a tape measure. I've only done prescribed drugs, but even those scare me. Two dollars from Titty Shy three thousand two hundred and thirty-four. Such a huge fan. Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you, Titty Shy three thousand two hundred and thirty-four. Thanks for the super chat. I will do just that. Ooh, look at all this. I just like stripped metal. What the? That's not what I meant to take apart. Wait, does the heat sink not come off? Yeah, Benadryl, I hated taking Benadryl. I'm never taking it again. How does this? reading through messages. Carefully remove the power ribbon. I don't know what that is. Oh, this? This isn't even going to help me get to the bottom. I'm just going to leave that how it is and just try and reach it. Uh, to become a member, there should be a join button. Some people say they don't... One dollar and ninety nine cents from Michaela Castellanos. So you're turning into the Geek Squad, playful face. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. I, I actually took the PC to Geek Squad before, which I find embarrassing because I'm like a twenty something year old guy that lives on the internet and I can't fix my own computer. It's that's just sad. This is kind of satisfying. <sighs> so yeah, I don't think I get a job at Geek Squad. Um, there was another mess I was going to answer. Oh yeah, the you probably have to update YouTube if you don't see the join button. Otherwise you can just go to my last video and there's a link in the description. It was kind of nice. I like picking my belly button. I don't like that I've actually found things in my belly button. 
You must have a very deep any. Members have seen my belly button. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to wash this gamer mat. Speaking of gamers, does anyone here drink gamer subs? I applied to be, because gamer subs has non-caffeine. Oh, that was, oh, that was nice. I just almost, I'm gonna have to change my pants after this. Um, I applied to be a gamer subs affiliate. Just, I mean, it's free to apply, I was just curious. But I ordered some and it, it tastes really bad. It's the thing is, it's this is all like damp. I mean, I might need to get a dehumidifier or something because the humidity's been really high. It's been raining for weeks, and the house has some humidity problems, so the canned air didn't work. You had your belly button pulled down after cutting your skin after doc, like doctor. Okay. Interesting. I've seen a couple people with no belly buttons that like got them removed. Like, not purposely removed. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, are you ready? Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. But yeah, this house has a lot of problems. And the main reason I haven't made videos about the house problems is because I've just been ignoring the problems. Yeah, it's uh, it smells like wet dog in the house, even though we don't have any dogs. It's coming from under the house because it, it, it leaks under the house, which I know long term is really bad for the foundation. So I'll get to it. Um, and so the cat fur like gets sucked into the HVAC and then the HVAC gets all wet because um, water's leaking in. I, I've been fixing it. I've been like, I pretty much every week I'm working on a house problem, but I'm trying to do it on myself now. My goal is to not hire professional for anything. Like if I could do my own surgery, I probably would. All right, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not like it has to be perfect. $5 from Genesis. Those fans should be clipped on by two little black tabs on either side. Try flicking the lever on the bottom. Should pop off without unscrewing. Oh. Wait, these? Thanks for the super chat. You might have just paid to fix my problem. Uh, nope. Every house problem is going to be DIY. I don't care. I am sick of hiring... These dumb idiots, and yes, they're professionals, yes, they're even licensed sometimes, but the thing is, they don't care, and they just half-ass the job every time. And so, I can just put all my effort in and get the same product. I regret paying someone to install a water system, I should have done it. I regret paying someone to inspect the- house inspections are such a waste of money. <clears throat> I'm never getting a house inspected again in my life, and I'm swearing that to you now. I'm just gonna do it myself. Um, I regret paying someone to fix the, some of the, I already fixed, paid many people to fix different water like issues. And I regret it. I regret getting a realtor. I was thinking about like, I'm gonna see how much it costs to get a real estate license and then just get the license so I can just represent myself next time I buy a house. What else? Oh, I did pay someone to fix the garage because, like, I didn't want to die because, like, there's big springs on it. But the idiot didn't fit. It's, it's, like, more broken. Like, yeah, he fixed part of it, and now another part's broken. But it's months later, so I can't prove that it was him. And I don't know if it was him. But I'm just saying, it's a different issue, and I didn't do anything to it. Professional losers, what they are. Got them. Okay. Um... At all this it's just it's so damp like it's not damp but it it looks like it got like my pc got rained on it's like how like it rains and then the dust 
like stuff gets stuck and then it dries. That's what this feels like. Yeah, I don't think it's too hard to get a real estate license. The thing is, I would hate to work on other people's houses. And also, I don't do anything like up to code, really. I do it all so that it would pass inspection for the next buyer. But um, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Whatever, none of you were going to buy my house anyway. But yeah, basically, I always like cut corners when I'm doing stuff myself. I'll show some of the house repairs I've done myself. Like, not right now, but... Because I recorded some of them. Lick it. Um, wait, lick what? I'll lick it for like a $10 super chat, honestly. I'm trying to get under the... Why would I get a new PC for some dust? You definitely don't want to skip the inspector, but you don't have to be a licensed. Well, I know to sell your house you don't, but I don't know. I was thinking like, like what are the odds that I could represent the seller of a home and then buy the house myself? Is that against like t code of whatever? Ten dollars from Maya Sero. Of course. <laughs> well, if I don't do this, then you're never gonna trust me again. Oh, but why is it burnt? Why is it burning? Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? Why is dust spicy? <laughs> it's not sharp. Like, it felt like I cut my tongue, but it was just spice. <laughs> that was not what I thought it would just taste good. <laughs> oh, it's coming up. I think I swallowed some. No, it's not cut. <coughs> There's nothing on it. I, I haven't... Hold on, I have, I have a spray. Worked. If I could just lick the whole thing, it would actually work. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. My tongue is a little numb now, but it doesn't hurt now. Where's Alice with McDonald's? <clears throat> what, I have an allergic reaction? Well, I've got an EpiPen now. I guess you haven't seen that part yet, but I did end up going back and getting the EpiPen in the next part of the Ant series. All right, let's, you know what? Let's play it off. It'll, it'll blow. It works. I should have warned you, I guess. I mean, there's dust everywhere now, but... Uh, I'll just I'll just wipe everything down. All right. Next up, let's put this baby on. So well, the first time I ever used thermal paste, I put like the whole thing. I'm not gonna do that. It like leaked all over the edge. That was a different. 
I think that was my first motherboard, which is now in the hands of some poor eBay buyer. $8 from Roxanne Smith. Here's for the thermal paste. Please don't put things in your mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Roxanne. Very cool. This thermal paste is sponsored by Roxanne. TM30 Performance Thermal Paste. Um, no promises, though. I'll do a lot of things for money. Is that good? Size of a pea. I don't know what I don't know what a pea is. I don't eat peas. A pea is more than this. Well, it was probably better before. <clears throat> the chemicals make you. No, I didn't. Wait, did I spray? It? No, I didn't spray that with compressed air. I'm just using like uncompressed air. It's just air from the um, from the air from the air. I don't know. It's just like a fan. But I appreciate the tip. Yeah, this has been gone for a while. There's like three McDonald's. Alright, that's probably too much. I don't know why I put more. <laughs> At least I use AMD. I mean, I'm not like a... As, like, I'm not, like, anti-Intel, but when I was ordering, like, everything was more expensive from Intel, but for the same product. Maybe it's different now, but, like, why would you, at least in my case, why would you pay more for the same thing? Maybe it was because AMD was, like, trying to be competitive? <clears throat> oh, wait, I think I put the other side on first. Can't even see what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to straddle you. And hey yo. Thermal paste complete. No, I don't think you're supposed to spread it. I think it squishes the like this squishes it down. Boom, and now it's actually locked into place. It was not locked into place last time. <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna spread the base. I didn't spread it last time. I'm certain I saw that in a video, like the Verge video. They were like, you don't need to spread it. He also put like a, he put like a little, little drawing on the Verge one. That poor man, every time I see his face, it's, he's never gonna have, like be known for anything else. I don't even know his name. I just know his name is the Verge guy. The The Verge Guy, my apologies. Mr. The The Verge Guy. Senior. The very first time I did, I built one. I did spread it, but... Alright. There's that. I'm gonna move it back to the other, <clears throat> the other tripod. My tripod's also broken. <coughs> Quite a bit of dust in here. Why are there so many more viewers on me fixing my PC versus like when I'm actually using my PC for like a game? Because we average about 60 on normal streams, but we're averaging 100 on this stream. All right. This doesn't seem as wet. Which I don't like the fact that I have to say that about my 
computer peripherals. <clears throat> I think we're going to take all this outside. I'm just going to throw this in the case. And where's the other fan? Is that it? Because it's not 3 a.m. Well, normally I, um... Oh, my phone battery's about to go out. It's fine, we'll be fast. You know what, I'll just do it by the window. Because it's not in the middle of the night. No, but I normally, I mean, I don't know. Is that true? Is that the actual reason? I guess you're the viewers. How long has it been since my cat peed on it? Like six months. <laughs> I get more viewers than people are awake. When do I normally start? I thought I normally started at like nine. <clears throat> I think, I think it was a dead view. Well, I did the one like after school hour stream, but it was, there were a lot of kind of annoying kids. Ooh, what is, what is wet on this? Oh, it's just dust, I think. I thought this would only take like an hour start to finish. <clears throat> 7 p.m. But what's what um what time zone though? I guess I assume because like if I start a stream at 11 p.m. 10, 9, 8, that's 8 p.m. Uh, Western time. And I feel like there's more people on the West Coast, especially younger people. But I don't know. I guess this is proof. The thing is, I'm never really like, this is like my worst time. Because I don't like being awake at this time because it's like rush hour. I like getting up after rush hour. Well, that sounds like just a loser sentence, but it's true. Or I like going to bed before rush hour. Like, I don't want all the people coming. When I'm working outside, I don't want to see all my neighbors coming home. I don't, when I go get food, I don't want to have to wait in line. What is the population comparison? I don't actually know. I just always assume there's more people on the West Coast. Maybe that's not true. I mean, I guess New York has a lot of people. Create an IED using gunpowder. Put a wick and light it. And then my answer gone. I don't need the ATF coming to my house. Do a poll west, east, and middle, <laughs> middle coast. Um, I can't do a poll on mobile. But, oh, I, I guess I'll do one next year. Well, I guess just say, are you, 
Okay, are you on the, are you, where are you the nearest? Are you closest to the middle, west, east, or international? Middle, west, east, international. <clears throat> well, yeah, there's like mountain and whatever. I don't know what those are. Central mountain. No, don't say your city. I don't care where your city is. We just need one of these orders. East, east, middle, east, east, east. What the hell? You're all east. West, are you just all outside my house? Is that way? Middle, east, east. Middle, west. Is anyone international? East. There's just like some Chinese kid watching, but he doesn't know what I'm saying, so he can't contribute to the poll. Northeast. Too specific. Central. Alright. Well, you uh, proved me wrong. Oh, why am I closing this? I, I sprayed one thing and I got distracted. I closed the window up and everything. He's on a VPN and can't comment. People in Chinese VPNs? I don't actually know. I just know they have very limited access. not coming off like it has before. I think this house is legitimately just so humid that it's all sticking to it. It's kind of gross. Well, YouTube's banned in China, but I think I occasionally get messages from, I mean, obviously I get tons of Chinese companies saying, we love YouTube channel, try free product, and we give you nothing in return. Yeah, the dust just isn't even moving. That's really gross. <laughs> Alright, to lick this is like a hundred dollar super chat. I'm not licking this one. This is pointless, it's not working. It's a very strong blower. It's stronger than compressed air. One dollar and ninety-nine cents from Michaela Castellanos. I used to be international. Lived in Indonesia three years. That's cool. Thanks for the super chat. Indonesia is um. Indo <laughs> Don't tell me. It's uh. It's on Earth. Is it like to the left of China? Yeah, I hope nobody, I hope there's no billionaire here just wanting to see me lick dust. Oh, Southeast Asia. I thought it was like some Middle Asia. So I haven't actually cleaned any cat pee yet uh, because it's on the power supply. It also sprayed up because he was spraying. He was he was trying to mark, so it sprayed upwards and it it got sucked into the fans. So it's probably good that I had all the fans blowing outwards, which I know is not good for the PC, but at least is that a spider web? It is. At least um, that's where Kevin was sleeping. <laughs> At least it saved us from the pee. I'm not licking the power, so... so. <laughs> You've got to pay off my mortgage. I'm going to slurp up the cat piss. 
I'm not saying there isn't a price. I don't really see any pee. I think I got most of it. I really don't want to take the power supply out. There's there's no yellow. Oh wait. Okay, what's the lowest price you would take to lick up my cat my t eleven year old cat's stinky urine? Who's the lowest bidder here? Which of our viewers is so de degenerate that they'll go down to a dollar? Four dollars and ninety-nine cents from Michaela Castellanos. Indonesia is made up of thousands of islands. I lived in Sumatra, where the last Sumatran tigers and elephants live. Wait, what? There's, I'm actually learning a lot. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. There's elephants in Indonesia? I thought the only elephants were in India and Africa. I don't know, man. Don't ask me. Um, let's see, <laughs> zero dollars, 35 cents, 25 cents, 45. Okay, so here's where actual cap is. Let me turn it later. Oh my God. Why is it, wait. Oh no, I'm gonna have to take it out. Oh, where's my screwdriver? It's Lester. Oh, this is gross. So he pee so Sylvester is the oldest cat. Uh, he's had behavioral issues his whole life. They never really got dealt with when he was younger. <clears throat> Um, my family got him when I was 11. And when I moved out, he lived with them for a couple years, and then I got him last year. Uh, but his behavioral issues were never really dealt with, so. He's been to the vet, he's given himself UTIs by holding his pee. And, um, yeah, he sprays on everything. So, at night I have to, I put him in his own bedroom. And then he usually doesn't. During the day, I just have to monitor him. Luckily, I'm home a lot, so I can monitor him. This is so disgusting. Um, but yeah, when he was, when he got the worst, he was peeing on the walls, the couches, the bed, everything he could access, he was peeing on. And the vet's like, oh. Which, I, he's gone, I think, He's gone twice for UTIs and then twice for behavioral so far. So it's on like his fourth visit. But I mean, there's only so much he can do. I mean, that we can do. Okay. I'm scared. Yeah, he's um, neutered. That's the first thing the vet said is he got a neuter. But he was neutered like a month after he was born. This is a pretty nice, why is it upside down? Did I install this upside down? Oh wait, why is this upside down? The vets don't know, oh really? I mean, I, I don't know anything about domestic vets. Oh my God, that's a lot of cat fur. Look at, look, this is the yellow. I think that's cat pee in there. Huh. <laughs> I think my um, power supply has been upside down this whole time. It appears the fan is on the... <laughs> you know, maybe I'm not a pro gamer PC builder. Yeah, it's, I mean, I think, um, well, Tatiana, if you want a cat, <laughs> I'll drive Sylvester to you, <laughs> and I'm not really joking. 
But um, I think his ideal life would be completely by himself. It, oh wait, it takes cool air from underneath. But why is the but the sticker is upside down? Oh wait, that one's right side up. Come on, Corsair, you can't be confusing me like that. So I shouldn't change it. Oh, what is this? Yeah, it's P. Why is it so dark? I'm really selling this cat here. He hates people, he hates animals, he loves to pee on all of your valuables. His breath is too- Cause see, we can brush the other cat's teeth like on a regular basis, but Sylvester will kill you. You can't pick Sylvester up. Maybe someday I'll do a cat update video. <sighs> People say like, if you can't handle cats, you can't handle children. I don't think- Is my three-year-old- Son, I'm gonna pee in my computer. Don't answer that, I don't wanna know. Is, there's no way to get in here, is there? On the bright side, oh, actually it does smell a little bit like pee. Wait, what have you been asking? For a cat video? <clears throat> Why is it orange? Because he's not healthy. <laughs> like, he's, he doesn't have good habits. He doesn't take care, I mean, it's gonna sound like, I feel like I give him so many opportunities to like be good and he just squashes them all. Um, like he, I don't know why it's so dark orange. Like, but wait, how's the kid going? Alright, I don't want to have kids. It's been decided. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I can differentiate. Like, literally, I can identify which... Because I clean the litter box, like, three times a day. Because I have a super sensitive nose. So any smell... Like, the moment a cat goes, I can identify it based on the smell and which litter box it is. And so... The other cats look completely normal. And then there's Sylvester on the identical diet. Identical access to water. I, I give them ice water. <clears throat> they get they had one of those cat fountains, but it broke. Um, I think he just doesn't drink that much water, and so, I mean, like he has wet food a lot. That that helps. He likes like tuna and stuff, but um, he doesn't eat all that much. He has a pretty minimal appetite, and then he holds the pee for a long time, and then gives himself a UTI. And then the vet has to stick a needle in his bladder, suck out his pee, and then check it for an infection, and it always has an infection. At this point, they should just stop checking his bladder and just give him the antibiotics. He's going to become immune to these antibiotics. But um, even when, because he was like the dom of the other cat house, and he was, um, even when he w had the dominating position, he still weren't. There's no way to get in here, is there? I think, I'm pretty sure it's dangerous to take these apart for some reason. It's still plugged in, but whatever. Caution, hazardous area, do not remove this cover. Trained service personnel, so I'd have to pay someone to take this apart. No, I, this is a pretty new PSC uh, power supply. It's like, well, I mean, not that new. It's like three years old, but it's the newest part of the computer. Let me just unplug it all the way. Oh, it is unplugged. I can get the switch. Oh, there's a cat stuck in the room. Yeah, 
But yeah, each night I get to tuck Sylvester into bed and put him in his room. He has his own private, Sylvester has a private litter box, a private food and water bowl, a private cat tree. I gave him his own cat tree. He has three windows all night and he still whines after me an hour of being in there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna get to the bottom. Just remove the cover. The warranty expires right after. Yeah, well, I don't know how. I would remove it anyway, but I, don't, I truly don't know how. Like, I don't see any screws. Oh. Oh, is it these? I might actually have a bit for this. Cat litter box rule one. Yeah, I have, there's too many litter boxes. <laughs> I'm like walking around the house cleaning five litter boxes every, three times a day. I wash them uh, three times a week. I take them outside, rinse them out. And they're like the big oversized ones and they still somehow miss sometimes. There's a flash of lightning. That might just be on your side. I would just try to refresh. Did you not open the pack? Wait, but it's unplugged. Wait, yes sir. This is how I dictate whether I'm gonna do something dangerous. Yes or no, do I take off the, do I take this off? I don't even know if I have the right bit though. He, uh, <laughs> I, it's funny, I mean, the vet asked the same thing if he has a retained testicle. <laughs> and I mean, I didn't, everyone's saying, <laughs> one person said yes. $4.99 from Michaela Castellanos. I have five cats, cat, and I swear that tripping over one while walking down my stairs will be the death of me. Yeah, thanks for the super chat. I can I can agree with that. And there's more cats than I would I preferably have. Um, as a kid, I was like, oh, I have so many flipping cats. Now I want like one or two <laughs> total. Um, can I stick Q-tips in here? I don't have any gloves. I feel um, well. I, I have. I mean, I I imagine the vet would have checked for a retained ball. I think this is just rust. <laughs> Hey yo, what was that? Oh, Michigan celebrates too much of membership. The more you lick the fan, the more it gets clean. <laughs> Thanks for continuing your membership. Uh, I look forward to seeing the boxes change colors in chat instead of just like gray ones. Like I, I had to start it with kind of a boring box, of course. I think it's just rusted from the cat pee. See, nothing's coming off. <clears throat> Um, yeah, they gave him, he got x-rays, he got blood work, he got whatever, the, the baby check, the ultrasound. <clears throat> I don't know why this is right here. He got, um, the pills. Like, medically, he's fine, he's just mentally not. <laughs> There's so much in here. I can't even sell, because I always sell my parts on eBay. Even if I replace this, I'm not even going to be able to sell it. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could. Would they really know? All right. Next up, underside of the PC, or inside, I guess. Yeah, it's a, um, rainbow box for three months. And then, welcome back to the, you're already a member, weren't you? Yeah. Or maybe you're a patron, I don't know. 
Either way, thanks for being a member. <clears throat> I guess it was exactly a month ago that I launched the membership. It's cool. Uh, it's a gray box for month one. It's a colored box for month two. It's a rainbow box for month three. It's a silver box for month six and a gold box for month 12. I can add more. I can add a 24 and I think a 48 or 36 month. Or maybe an 18. Uh, it must have... I was about to super chat. But then I think... I'm guessing it just um, renewed itself. But I'm not sure. There's, uh, I think, 40... Did someone else come become a member on the stream? I don't remember. There were 42 before I started the stream. And then 100... I think 133 Patreon. Here's the thing. Is anyone here watching? Is anyone here actually a Patreon on Patreon? Because I don't really get... Like, the YouTube members are super active. Like, it's all the same perks. But the those of you that are a member here on YouTube, it's like I talk to you a lot. I talk to a lot of you every stream. I talk to you on the Discord server. Every time I make a post, you all like it. And you all watch the early access content. And you give suggestions. But then the Patreon, there's over 100. And I don't get any interaction. Which is fine. You're, oh, you're a patron. You're, okay, well, some of you are patrons. Um, but, like, I'll post on Patreon. It's uh, Sometimes I'm like, did the post not get published? But I'll check, and it's literally nobody. <laughs> like, nobody watched the... Or I think a couple people did. It was, like, four people watched the last early act... Or the last uh, members-only video. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, you're all just for the memberships are new. Well, thank you for your continued um, membership. It takes off a lot of, like, yeah, of course, just a few members. It's not gonna like pay all my bills, but um, every time there's a member, it's like this little ounce of relief of like, all right, I can um, I, I can I can stress a little bit less over how the next video is gonna do, because <clears throat> one person becoming a member is equivalent to about three to four thousand views on a video which is really nice like it's really cool I, actually i'm only a youtube member i'm a youtube member of pewdiepie and then i'm a patron of the report of the week and sad world i think Um, if you remember, you can DM me. I, obviously, I can't get back to every message, but I mean, I'm active in the Discord server. Just join the server. And I do pre-shows where I jump in the voice chat. <clears throat> yeah, and I have a high uh, CPM, so. Because I get 350 from each um, membership, and I get about, like, give or take. It, it depends on the video, but... Just an average of um, one dollar per thousand views. Oh wait, one is that right? Yeah, recently it's been pretty dang low. That doesn't sound right to me. One dollar per thousand views. I hope it's not that low. But I just calculated it, and that's what it came out to. Uh, the Discord's a member server. Uh, member server. One dollar per one hundred. It's definitely not one per one hundred. I mean, my channel has almost 100 million views, and I don't have a million dollars. <laughs> it's gone down a lot recently. I used to have a very high CPM, but it goes up and down based on a lot of things, so. Okay, I'm just going to take off this piss sticker. I'm trying to remember, so 10, wait, help me on the math. So the last vlog, maybe I did the math wrong. 
the last video when it hit 20,000 views I had made like $180 on it oh yeah it's all flaky so let's just say $200 for 20,000 views Alright, maybe I should just leave this. Sometimes the membership takes a minute. Yeah, it's just suspense. <laughs> Thanks for gifting one. We'll see if it comes through. <clears throat> I hear McDonald's. I should have gotten more food, I'm hungry. I like what I did take. Hello, you can you won't be in frame. It's pointing at the computer. Are you sure? Because when I originally when I was happy, I just wiped it all down on the outside. And I was like, I'm, I'll deal with this later. That's been like six months. That's like crystallized it's... Kathy on your power supply? Is he looking there? Well, my face pretty much up. Um, I'm not sure anyway. Oh my so, god, yeah. ew! <laughs> but the, you can't open I mean, apparently you can open it. It's risky, apparently. Um... But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's been a while ago. It was earlier this year. I think it was after the new year. Like it just dried up. Thank you. Um, Like four people, uh, like eight people said hello. Hello. Car act. Yeah. Wh wait. Why did you take so long? Uh, I drove around. Feeding the computer is actively causing problems, like as we speak. I know she said she just drove around for a bit. Oh, I did not. Yeah, I did not. Next time I look at computer fan, I'll kiss her after. I'm sure she'll be really glad that she's with me. Um, I don't know why this cord is. Oh wait, this is a USB two cord. Okay, so now for we've got all the people we're gonna get. Um. So we're gonna take a snack break. I'm gonna go wash my hands. And we're gonna eat real quick.
My dirt still feels funny from the dust. I'm gonna be honest. Alright, struggling. What? Straws in here. Cat, yes, the cat beat in the computer six months ago and I didn't do it. I washed my hands. I'm not gonna not wash my hands. Wait, you could hear my sink? Wait, how'd you hear my sink? The sink is on the other side of the house. Like, it's like a 20 second walk to get to the sink. Oh, apparently they can hear <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going on the floor and just awkwardly eating. Because I don't have my desk. A nice view of the pee. Oh, wait, what was that sound? Was that the gifted membership? I can't actually see the memberships on mobile. Uh, let me know what that was, I'm curious. Oh wait, I have an events log, I forgot. And it doesn't tell me, of course it doesn't. Oh, you Patreon. Oh, my documents are out here, wait, this, this whole time, my social security card has been on the floor. How did it end up there? Did anyone see my social security card? <sighs> Man, I want to sit at my desk. <laughs> I was awkwardly sitting on the floor with 98 people. This is, so this is one of the things, like, when I'm streaming, I don't really know what to do. Like, when I do a nine hour stream, what am I supposed to do when I need to eat? Because <laughs> I don't know, because what I did the past couple times was, like, react, just watch stuff, and, and throw a commentary in. But the stream got blocked. So we just watched home videos of myself. But that's kind of scary because I don't know what's going to be shown. Just eat on the screen? That's just weird, isn't it? I used to not be able to eat on the video at all. <clears throat> the poor of the week does it. How's he doing? I don't know. Um, the stream will probably end after I finish the computer. But we're already <laughs> two hours. And I'm a lot faster at taking them apart than I am putting them back together. Why am I not seeing these sounds? I want to thank you for your money, but I don't know what you're doing because I can't see it. Um, you'll just have to tell me and I'll try to you'll watch what's happening. <clears throat> Streamlabs, oh my god, the Streamlabs app just went all the way back to the top of chat. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, I mean, it shows up on screen, too. Nugget review. There's actually a video on my channel. I didn't even remember recording it. I recorded the first time I ever ate a McNugget. This is awkward. <laughs> the first time I ate a McNugget, it tasted so strongly of fish to me. But I think that was more of a meat problem. Alright, this shape. There we go. Uh, I like the one with a little fish tail. OnlyFans, where we see House's face. 
the most modest Christian only fans there is. Um, I'm good. I wonder how many people would theoretically, like, let's say it was... The thing is, it's a one-time payment. You're not going to pay it again to see her face again. But if an OnlyFans creator is up posting every week, you're gonna, you might stay subscribed. I don't have to be like... This is just ketchup. I normally use barbecue, but <clears throat> there was only one container. Like an image that gets shipped to your house and then like self-destructs afterwards. Don't tell her. You know why? I can't trust you with any information. You just leak everything to Alice. <laughs> that pay for my McDonald's. What are you talking about? If I just had to lick a pile of dust every time I ate food, like think about that. Like seven licks, and we could go to P.F. Chang's. While I eat, I can start working on my laptop. Okay. So it's fully charged right now. I don't mind my pants. It was, I was trying to show, I was trying to show my sister a video. I opened it, I turned it on, it started, and then I tried to play, like I was about to play a video. I didn't do anything. And then it just went black. And that's it. It just died completely. So, um, anyone smart here know how to... <laughs> yeah, I have to fix a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, what do I do? Now, when I plug in the power source, I, I click it, and then uh, the keys light up for a second. Oh, uh, <laughs> stop making fun of my pants. <laughs> yeah, Rip used to be in. It's a little behind his own. Geek Squad. No, like, is anyone here from Geek Squad? How about that? Put it in rice. Great, thank you. It's a Dell. <clears throat> Dell and Spiron. I don't know anything about laptops. I used to sleep in jeans a lot. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. So when I plug it in, it'll light up for <laughs> so it's your piano. It would light up for a sec, so Alice said to take out the battery. <clears throat> so I guess I'm just gonna take out the battery. I don't know. What else can I do? I, there's nothing else to do. I guess I'll just take this off and see what's inside. A new back well no but shouldn't it work with um like if I plug it in it doesn't need battery right I used to have an old Windows laptop <clears throat> not Windows an old HP like from like 2004 and the battery wouldn't hold but I could just plug it in and use live power the moment you unplug the power the um the Computer would turn off. Let me see if I have a screwdriver small enough. There's cat pee on this bit, so <clears throat> I'm gonna put this one aside. Don't take it apart? What else am I gonna do? Yeah, but you said the battery's fried, but it was just so sudden. Is that how, I don't know, I've never had a laptop die like this. <clears throat> Who knows, maybe we'll open it and it'll look, I'm just curious to open it. I'm trying, I'm very disorganized right now. I can't find the bit that I'm looking for. Oh wait, here it is. Or no, this one. 
don't think I have one small enough. What, who has a screwdriver this small? My work never take apart a bell. Listen to what did Roxanne say? Plugging in an external monitor. Oh. Oh, actually, I did. Because uh, I, I had it cast it to the TV. Wait, was it. Let me ask Alice. Do you remember if the computer was casting to the TV in Linux when it was? Uh, yeah, she said that I didn't on it. It was not plugged in when it went black, but then I tried to cast it to the TV. But I'll try that anyway. I'll do, I'll do that after I eat them. Alright, well, does the camera reach? Actually, it might reach. Yeah, it reaches. Frick Geek Squad, I have subscribers. Oh, it made a beep sound. Um, it didn't come on though. Like the the big monitor is also black. I mean, it's like gray. No signal exiting to save power. <clears throat> Let's try plugging it in. Maybe the battery drained. I haven't touched it in a week. Yeah, see, it, it, it blinks for a second when it's plugged in. Hold the, I, I held the power button for like a minute last time. I'll hold it and see what happens. Nothing yet. I'm not gonna wiggle my toes. I think I'll make it one of those Patreon only things. Like only YouTube members will see my belly button and my feet. <clears throat> and hear me say bad words. Some more quality content is not doing anything. Also, this is also a cat. Look. Cat. Every cat has destroyed one of my computers in some way. It was that one. Shira knows not to piss in my power supply. It's a <laughs> it's a PSU, not a <laughs> trying to go joke. It's a PSU, not a sis pissu. <laughs> That's the best I got. Oh yeah, Shira will eat probably my French fries. I feel like you're ignoring me now. No way you haven't seen me ask for the model. Oh, I didn't actually see it. Wait, do you, do you actually, I thought you were joking, do you actually work on computers? <clears throat> I don't know where the model is. Can you see it? It might, I don't know how high quality the stream is. Uh, oh, P42E. P42E001. Made in China, something about Ireland. Well, I just showed the, I guess I just showed the series. I, I guess someone else could now <laughs> like submit it and get a warranty on it. 
P4, yeah, P4 too easy. Well, there's two. One said without the 001, one said with. We'll wait for Spaceman to fix, fix my problem. I'll keep holding on the power button, I guess. Like, I'm just, I mean, obviously something's happening inside since this, since it's lighting up. But if you just tuned in, this is not the computer we're fixing on stream. We're fixing... <laughs> We're, we're fixing this computer. Both my computers are kind of rookie. Oh, my French fries. <clears throat> but I'm doing my best. You get to look at And then here is Kat here. It's an inspire on, it's an inspire on something. Let me see. 7791. Uh... I don't see 7791 anywhere. It's from 2019. Uncensored dentist car ride? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do the version that I that I posted and just uncensor it, but there'd be no bonus footage. <clears throat> I think I still have it, I'll see. It might be on the hard drive that my cat knocked over and destroyed. In which case I uh, I sent it to a company to get fixed and then I refused to pay so they, and they said they wanted $30 to ship it back so I just had them throw it away. Or like recycle it or whatever. They shredded it, I guess, I don't know. Turn it on and listen to the beeps. Uh, it doesn't beep. It's, it's just, the only thing that happens is the screen blinks for a second. I mean, the um, keyboard blinks for a second. Which means that obviously power is going through the device. It's a very awkward angle. It looks like I'm... It's fine. See, you can... Can you see it flashing? Yeah, yeah. The broken key lets you see it. It doesn't do it every time. If I spam it, it doesn't do it. TikTok and make one of those go herping sucks videos. Well, it was thirty dollars to send it back, but it was still broken. It was two thousand for them to try and fix it. But they said it was because basically I was transferring files, and then it fell about three feet, uh, unplugged itself, and started scratch like the disc was scratching. <clears throat> so like, yeah, if you give us two grand, we'll try and we'll try and fix it. Can you hear the intervals, internals powering up? No, nothing happens. It's literally the only thing that happens is it flashes for a second. Before this happened, what did you do? Um, so I was on this website and it said there were girls in my area and I checked it out. No, I was watching, um, I was on Google Drive watching some like MOV files I had. And then I was like, oh, I wanna cast these to the TV and so before I could even plug it in, the screen just went black. And it, like, it turned on. It's like it, like, just shut down itself, but then I tried to turn it back on and nothing happened. And it's, that was, uh, how long ago? Like, ten days ago, maybe? I'm almost done with my food. Oh, perfect one. My tripod is stuck. There you go. And that's it. It's currently plugged in to the monitor and power. I guess, oh wait, can you even see it? I unplugged the monitor just now. Um. 
I don't know. I'll listen. I'll wait for it. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me stress. <laughs> Sometimes I put two in because then I can drink the drink faster. This literally is more yellow than Sylvester's yellow. <laughs> Not really. His pee isn't that bad. But... I like that there's twice the viewers <clears throat> on a stream of me sitting here behind a broken PC eating McDonald's french fries versus when I actually try to do something <laughs> interesting on stream. Bios corruption. Well, send over how I fix it. <clears throat> okay, my first question, is this something that I'm gonna have to take it apart for? I mean, bios corruption sounds, I know what bios is. I know what corruption is. So I would agree, I would agree with your diagnosis. Double barrel, it tracks the group barrel. I'll shoot all four home insurers at once at different angles. It's kind of NSFW here. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. <laughs> Three. Quality content, everyone. Exclusively on the Go Herping live stream. <coughs> okay, that actually works pretty well. <laughs> uh, Windows logo control and shift and B? What? Windows control shift. B, why B? <clears throat> if it's correct, I need a new motherboard. I'm not buying a new motherboard for a Dell laptop. If I want to finish the other computer, you could go online and find a BIOS and switch. Fla oh, like on a flash? I don't own a flash drive. Four, yeah, I'm not reading on this. Exactly what I can't remember for. Um, I could always just do one of those videos, just bring it to the range and just shoot it. I'd probably make like forty-eight dollars on the. No, I wouldn't make any um super chat money because you can't. Yeah, I mean uh, ad revenue. <clears throat> on the bright, yeah. I don't. I don't really. People think I just own like random items. I don't really own. Anything. Everything I own, you've seen in this stream. It's the stuff in my garage and the stuff in my office. But, um... I mean, I guess I could always sell it for parts. There's no, there's nothing sensitive or... Alright, on the bright side, nothing sensitive on here. Like, one of you could have it and you can't really find anything. Or actually, unless I'm, like, logged in. I could log out of everything, I guess, on other devices. And there's nothing important, like, I, I, all the files I have on this, I, I usually just use a hard drive. So I have the hard drive, the external, that I use, so I'd rather this die than my other computer. But on the bright, on the other side, I could fix my other computer. But I don't know if I could fix this. How much do motherboards cost for it? I don't, I didn't even know, well, okay, this is gonna sound stupid. I, I didn't even, I knew laptops had motherboards. I just didn't ever think about it. Try just break it on stream. I'm joking, it's a tablet. <clears throat> I'm guessing at least one of you fell for that. I'm a very slow eater. <laughs> he fell for it. Well, my mission is accomplished. Dedicated CPU. Do you mean GPU? Wait, doesn't every computer need a dedicated CPU? I don't want to tell you um how many, how long I used. Oh, wait, where is it? Huh? 
how long I used this input versus the uh, where's my graphics card? Well, you know, versus the graphics card one. I was using the I, like I paid like eight hundred for a graphics card, and um, I wasn't using it apparently. Oh, what was the toy? I forgot. This is from Alice's Happy Meal. Wait, are these actual... Are these actual Pokemon cards? Can I do a little Max Mofo Pokemon action? Wait, match battle. Oh, it's it's game cards. I thought it was actually Pokemon cards. That'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> Wait, these are actually just Pokemon cards. Are they? Growlithe? Growlithe? Chin Chow? Sounds kind of racist for me to say that. La Lapras? Beware. He's kind of cute. And that's it. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not even a... I played one Pokemon DS game, but it's actually like a nice... I mean, this one's got a holographic. Kind of. It's not like... I've only seen... Because Alice has magic cards. The, the magic holographics look better than this. Is this what all Pokemon holographics looks like? <clears throat> Wait, how can you play Pokemon with four cards? Okay, what is this? We've got working instructions. Hand each player a card, max four. Well, I could have guessed that. Flip coin to see whether high or low wins. Spin to choose category. What? I'm gonna explain the rules. You've been going to McDonald's every day for lunch and not getting a Pokemon card. Huh. The Pokemon cards look kind of terrible. <laughs> like, they feel very cheap. I feel like I could make these with my printer at home. Um, and the Hollow is very, um. I don't know. It's alright. This is coming for someone that doesn't even know. But. Cool. Anyone want to buy them? I'll sign them and sell them for a thousand bucks. Alright. It's time for Bingy. Uh, up we go. I'm already sore just from seeing on the floor. I don't think I have a least favorite Pokemon. I don't know very many by name. You forgot what? Those are cheap cards. Wait, did you actually drop the laptop? I don't think you... I don't think you knew where the laptop was. Did you actually drop it? I. I don't think you would have had a- no, you wouldn't have had a reason to have my laptop. You have a- You have a better laptop. I'm not- I don't believe you. I'm pretty sure it was in the exact same place that I left it. And I know you wouldn't have put it back. My knees actually hurt. I used to be able to lie on the floor. Like, I used to sleep on the floor. And now I can't even sit on the floor. Oh, ew. There's, um... That's all pee.
Oh, I know what you're talking about. You no, that was after it was broken though. She was. We were on the couch, and the laptop was on my side of the couch, and she. I think she knocked it off with her feet. <clears throat> but yeah, it was already not working. I was trying to diagnose it at that point. I mean, I guess that could have made it worse. Or I can blame it on you and then make you buy me one. Oh, ew. Ugh. I dropped it on the couch, remember? Well, we, you were in there with me in the living room and it was... I didn't yeah, know I guess this was the... I, I, I just... Was holding it. Yeah, but that was afterwards. No, it wasn't. It was before we did that. Was it not? No, it was that night because I was trying to fix it on the couch and then you knocked it off. Uh, well, it's not my fault. <laughs> no more dads for me. <laughs> short term memory loss. My memory's been really bad recently, like it's actually kind of scary. <clears throat> so I might be disconnected. Yeah, I'd be willing to just look inside, but I don't have a small enough um, uh, screwdriver. Or wait, I wonder if I have one in here. No, I don't think so. I have some extra screws and stuff. What am I stepping on? Why is it wet on the floor? Have <laughs> you tried fixing it? That's your solution to fix it? Hmm? Glasses? Hmm? Oh, before Alice came in, it was like a big chunk of pee just came out of this. Like, why did he, why couldn't he just pick, like, the wall? Why do he have, ew, there's crumbs in, oh. Looks like earwax. That's a chunk of pee. It's so, like, it looks like amber color. I don't know why I'm showing you this. Looks like earwax. Oh, I don't have a glasses repair kit. Well, I thought I had a tiny screwdriver, I don't know. It must have been, like, at my parents' house. Like, it must have been one of theirs and I didn't take it. <clears throat> oh! Why did that just come off? Oh, wait. It's supposed to come off. Oh, ew, that just like released the stench of pee. Alright, at least I can clean it. Six month old cat pee. Here's, here's proof of how far back it goes. So, in my closet. Wait, I wonder if I can actually find one. Yeah, let's look around. Okay, so here's all my Lego. Uh, most of these Lego date back over 10 years ago. And if we go digging... Somewhere near the top. No, I built this in a video. Like this was actually covered in cat urine, like crystallized cat urine. Because Sylvester, when he was a kitten, he would spray in our our playroom. I was ten, I was eleven at the time, and we had Lego just all over the playroom. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I, I discovered it a few months ago that there was actually ten year old urine all over it. So. I am. Um, I think I'm just so used to it at this point because I grew up kind of around it. When my parents were selling that, they probably wouldn't want me to say this, but when my parents were trying to sell that ho that house, um, people coming to look at it, they actually left and didn't even complete the tour because they claimed that the stench of cat urine was so strong that it gave them a headache immediately. But when I was a kid, I didn't even smell cat pee around the house. I think I was just used to it. Good, good times, everyone. I'm good. Hold on.
I wonder if any of you like came to any of our because we they tried to sell the house for um do we need more do we need more mods? Probably not. Uh, we tried to sell the house for four years, I think, four and a half years. Which I didn't know as a kid was a, was a long time to sell a house. Like, I mean, this house that I bought, it was listed for 60 days. It was like 50 days and then I bought it. Which even that's long at this point. Did you throw away the cat drawing? Oh, I think so. I have pictures of them though. <clears throat> is that stream is that the stream that got removed yeah i think it is i'm trying to get so basically the last stream i was playing uh the lo-fi girl playlist which is um live stream friendly but a different company claimed the live stream so i i contacted them once that's removed i'll um, put that stream back up but yeah I, I did a lot of drawing i'll do some more drawing in future streams Hey, I'll stream tonight. I mean, I'll draw tonight if I can get my computer working. Uh, what kind of gaming computer? Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It's an AMD build. It's, I mean, it's just various parts, mostly from Amazon <clears throat> and Best Buy. NZXT case, MSI motherboard, and a lot of Corsair. God, there's so much. I'm excited to go house hunting. Any advice for a first-time buyer? Oh, that, well, that's a good question for the advice stream. Maybe I should save my answer. My short answer is I don't really know because I did what you're not... My, okay, my best answer is just go watch uh, the YouTube channel Graham Stephan. He has a... Because he, he's a real estate agent. Or he was. I don't know if he still does real estate. Like, I don't know if he still represents people. But he has, like, tutorials on how to, like, buy a house and all the things you need to know. And I watched all those, and the first thing he says is, look at as many houses as you can. I did not. I looked at one house, and I bought it an hour later, so. <clears throat> I just, I thought, I was excited to go house hunting. But the thing is, I've gone house hunting for years with my parents. And I just, I've, I've been to probably well over 100 open houses when we were looking. Because we looked over the course of years, and I, I just didn't feel like doing it. But it definitely makes sense. For me, what I'm happy with what I did is I had a checklist of exactly, of, I had a checklist of must-haves and would like to have. And my what I told myself is the moment I find a house that checks every must-have, I'm getting it, no questions asked. And the very first house had all the must-haves, so I got it. Um, I can't say I regret the house, it's just I feel a little bit misled. Not really by anyone in particular. Okay, I feel very misled by the house inspector, he sucked, but. Yeah, I guess I feel misled by the seller, too, because there's just a lot more wrong with it than I expected. Which, obviously, you're getting rid of your house. You don't want to be honest. You just want as much money as possible. But for me, it's about preparing in advance. Um, I've never bought from Newegg. Nothing against them. I just have always used Amazon. Um, I'm still getting urine. I used to enjoy house hunting. I think I enjoyed house hunting when it wasn't my debt on the line. <laughs> like, oh cool, my parents are gonna buy a house. But then when it's me that's gonna be 300,000 in debt, it's a little bit scarier. Um, and it, it's also, if you have time on your side, so like when my family was moving, we were looking for a house before we had actually sold the family house. But when I was looking for a house, my rental was about to end and I couldn't renew it so it was like I had like 40 days to find a house so it was, it was a bit more rushed if your PC is here and we are here who is the live stream wait, wait how is the live stream working no it's on my phone <clears throat> I mean I did a I don't know if I've been into it. It's actually a boring story. That always happens. I start telling a story, and I'm like, that's a really boring story. All right, I think that's... Should I just rinse this under water? It's never as boring. As... I think it's pretty boring. It's just about, like... Because I spent a ton of time experimenting with um, 
IRL driving streams. I like because you can buy streaming backpacks. It's like three grand. It's like peak streamer backpack. It comes with the best camera. It comes with power sources. It comes with a private like mobile modem and router for internet connection anywhere in the world. Um, and I was like, I'll make my own streamer backpack. And I had my laptop like rigged in my bag and I had the GoPro strung through and I actually set up this, <laughs> I set up the microphone like in the car. Like it was basically a PC setup in my car and I was gonna do the driving stream to the beach. Uh, but I just couldn't get a, um, a solid connection cause I was trying to do it on cell service and my phone is only 4G. So I think if I have a 5G phone and then do a hotspot, it might work, but I just don't want to have to buy a new phone right now. All right, this is good. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. That, that was leading into something else, but I forgot what. All right. And I misplaced like all my skill. Oh, I need to go wash them off. Because that sink was a, that that sink is right next to my room, but that sink is quieter. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna rinse the air filter. I think it's fine. Should I just turn on subscriber mode next time? Okay, how many of you <clears throat> say yes if you're watching this, but you're not a subscriber? Which you don't have to be. I don't care. But I'll follow up that question. My 13 year old thought he could drive because the driving game took him to the store, told him, jumped out and told him to drive. He goes, the charger? Oh, like a Dodge charger? He did pretty good. Yeah, I think, um... Wait, why are you saying yes? What, you're watching but not subscribed to the channel? Oh, to subscriber mode. Okay, well basically pretty much everyone here. So yeah, I guess I'll turn on, I can't do it on my phone, but I can do it for the next computer stream. I think driving games certainly, like, cause yeah, even though you're not gonna get the exact feel, you get an idea of, um, I think the biggest difference for me, cause I was like a very passionate driving kid, like I love driving stuff. It, and I feel like a common beginner driver issue is looking directly over the hood. Cause you have this habit of trying to look at the road and not like where you're going. Cause like I'll do it, I'll be like, how far out on the road can I look and not run off the road? <laughs> and I can basically look like almost at the sky and still drive. Um, so I think it helps you kind of learn the fundamentals. After all, each car feels different. <clears throat> yeah, I have a, um, it's in the closet right now. I have a Logitech racing setup. On stream, I played um, American Truck Sim. It turns out there's, I didn't know there's a mod on American Truck Sim to import cars and actually drive cars. So I'm gonna try and figure that out for a stream. I think that'll be fun. Like there was a, a Porsche 718 Boxster mod. So I was thinking of driving a Boxster around in American Truck Sim. I flipped the truck over in the game, but it was fine. I, driving's like the best thing. I'm, I know a lot of people complain about like the walkability of cities. I can't complain. Driving is too much fun. Depending on the time of day. Like I drove today in rush hour to go get the thermal paste and I hated it. Where are the screw holes? There's one. But like a nice 3 a.m. drive. Just like in a quiet town or whatever. Uh, the key, it's a very basic keyboard. It's a poker or something. It's from, it's one of those like drop shipped keyboards. Not drop ship, but like you order and they make a bunch. Poker something, but the, uh, the keycaps are, um, the keycaps are just from eBay. <clears throat> Cherry MX Blues.
walkable cities are overrated. I mean, I'm sure it's nice, but still. Driving in Florida. To... <laughs> yeah, I drove in Florida in July, two years ago, I guess, a year and a half. Oh wait, what year is it, 20? I think it was in 2020. Um, Florida, I mean, people drive fast. The thing is like, yeah, I like driving fast, but I don't like driving, I don't like driving 95 miles an hour when there's a bunch of cars like right up on my butt. Um, and that's what Florida was. <clears throat> I definitely, I mean, the whole, the, the Florida man thing is pretty accurate. Which my understanding is mostly stories come out of Florida because they have a special law where like a lot more criminal cases are publicized. So like, yeah, there's probably wild stuff like that in every state, but Florida releases it a lot more. I don't know road. It's just whatever road you take into the state of Florida to get to like the Disney highway was pretty wild. My car got pretty damaged. I kept getting, I got hit by a tire and one of my sensors broke and my bumper got cracked. I can't get this screw. <clears throat> I, I've never, I've been to Atlanta, but I wasn't the driver. I couldn't drive at that age. We went, why did we go to Atlanta? Oh, my, it was my sister's birthday. It was like her eighth birthday. And we went to the Amer We drove from North Carolina to Atlanta to go to the American, American Girl doll store. I'm not sure why this isn't going on. Or is that Florida? I can't remember. I can't get the last screw, but it's not like it matters. Uh, I haven't moderate. I said moderated. I haven't modded the Subaru at all. It, it's come, it came with so many aftermarket things that <clears throat> I really don't need to right now. It's got some sort of tune on it. It has aftermarket exhaust, aftermarket taillights, aftermarket um, speakers. An aftermarket stage two clutch, an aftermarket shifting knob, aftermarket reflectors, which that's just something small, but uh, the horsepower is a hundred. Well, pre-tune, it's 199. I'm not sure what it is with the tune. What I like about it is like, <laughs> I like how slow it is. Like Alice's Mazda is faster, and it's, her 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 sedan Mazda is not supposed to be fast. Fifty six miles an hour in second gear, which I think is cool because I have to shift to third gear just to hit sixty, and so you get to like cycle through the gears a lot. Like I'm hitting every gear, every drive I go on. Um, but if I was in like a, in a new Corvette or something, I'm gonna like I'm never I'm like never gonna get out of second gear without like going criminal speeds. Kind of like the, I mean, the Tesla, it's a single speed. It's just, you keep on going and then, oh, you hit the max speed and then <laughs> that's it. I have, actually, I have not hit the max in the Tesla. I think I would die. Actually, the Super and Tesla have the same top speed now I think of it, which I don't, that would be scary in both of them. I think it's 160 in both. Split lane. Yeah, lane splitting is illegal everywhere but California, right? The thing is, like, I've seen so many videos of people on bikes sitting at stoplights and then getting rear-ended. Or not stop. Yeah, I guess stoplights. Or even just, like, in traffic. And it's like, oh, yeah, lane splitting is good. But then I watch a bunch of lane splitting videos and people are getting knocked off their bikes. I don't know. <laughs> bikes are scary. <laughs> I, I, would, I have interest in bikes, but I think I would only drive them on track. Like on the, because um, the Virginia International Way, Virginia International Wasteway, I think they have like bike events.
Why is this yellow? Is this pee? I would not trust a Tesla at 160 miles an hour, let alone the Model S at 200. Like, there's not a chance. The, the control arms, I need another control arm replaced. The steering wheel's vibrating right now because the control arm is cracked again. If you Google Wompy Wheel Tesla and you'll see what's about to happen to my car. Alright, it's pretty clean. And if you, if you, I still, I still think that, I think an electric car is the best daily driver. Like, I think I'll always have an electric as a daily driver. Maybe a Tesla, who knows? Like, if I made more money, I'd probably get like a um, Porsche Taycan. But in the meantime, I mean, I think this will be my daily for many more years to come. <clears throat> probably at least like five more years. We'll see though. It's a, it just passed 70,000 miles in less than three years. Like if it was quality, quality built, it would be the perfect car pretty much. But, oh, also that's not true actually, because I don't like the recent software updates. I wish you could undo software updates, but the car doesn't really function if you don't update it. Sometimes it's just like, like, okay, the font, so the speedometer, it's like you have the big screen. The speedometer used to be like here and it was like bold black, but now it's like thin and little. I literally don't even notice my speed when I'm driving. Like, cause it's just another number on the screen. And you don't feel the speed because it's it's got pretty good cushioning and it's quiet and there's no gears to shift through. And so it's like, you're just cruising, especially like when you're just going down the highway, you're just casually going 65 and then you're driving to the beach, you hit 67 and then you hit 70. You're going 75, you're going 80, you're going 90. And then before you know it, you're cruising at like 110 <laughs> because you don't realize how fast you're going. So I did wish they would make this speedometer bigger. I really don't even notice it. <clears throat> 85 can your 2007, 300 on your 2006. The Subaru has 150, 145,000. <clears throat> I've driven it like not that much, less than 10. Or way less than that. I, I've driven it, why did I say less than 10? I haven't even done an oil, a second oil change. I've driven it like two or 3,000. Yeah, Tesla's literally, they don't let you customize anything on it. It's very Apple-esque. So the day that the windows of an electric car comes out will be like the perfect day. Because Tesla is very, I mean, he's, Elon is surely inspired by Apple. Um, so it's, yeah, it's it, no right to repair, no customization, extremely minimalist. Um, but then there's like windows and it's like, oh, you can, you can break it yourself and you can fix it yourself and you can customize it. But I, like what brand would possibly do that? I think that, I mean, maybe like even, um, Rivian is anti right to repair, it seems. The, I mean, I've driven the car fast. I don't I paid for the whole speedometer. I don't drive that fast nowadays though. <clears throat> you know, I thought about when it gets becomes cheap. I mean, if it truly becomes good, I'll get um, Starlink satellite internet. If it was, if it was um, reliable, it would be better than the internet at my house. It's already faster. It's just that it's not reliable enough right now. 
But once they maybe double the satellites, I could see getting it. And it's too expensive. I can't afford it. <laughs> it's like 400 for the stuff and then like 400 a month or something. I don't know if I want a Google, Google car. Uh, I, I know it's silly to like tier list your, the elites of the world, but Bill Gates is my least favorite billionaire of them all. I can't stand Bill Gates. I like the Zuck more than Bill Gates. All right. I think, okay, so fans. I need to fix those, I guess. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and lie it down. You just want a Mini Cooper? A Mini Cooper used to be one of my, um, before I like drove, I was like, oh, Mini Cooper. Why do so many people hate Mini Coopers? Stylistically, I think they're quite nice. Wait, what do you want? Alice said I want one, but I didn't see what. I mean, I do think about the privacy in the Tesla. Uh, I mean, there's a cam there's an internal camera which watches you while you're driving. Um, so now, like, I, I don't I don't look at my phone while I drive. I don't text and drive. But now, like, let's say I'm on the highway and I just look at my phone to change a song. The car will start beeping. And if you're on autopilot and you glance away from the road, the car detects that and starts beeping. Which is really, it just, it just serves me. So I covered up the camera. But there is, of course, there's a microphone. Uh, and, and that comes with cool features. Yeah, sure, it's probably safer. But uh, it does make me a little uncomfortable. Because when I first bought the car, the internal camera didn't do anything. But then they updated it and the camera started watching the way you drive. Um, all right, so I'm going to now put the motherboard in. There are so many porn bots. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you said I agree about Tesla privacy, but you should remember we have phones with cameras too. Uh, to me, the difference is... I don't know, I get what you're saying. It's the fact that like, let's say, like say you get, a, um, you get charged with some sort of illegal content on your phone. Like, yeah, the phone can be seized and that can be used against you. But there's so few people, basically there's not many people that violate internet laws or like, um, like illegal child content laws, but everybody violates traffic laws. Like every time I go driving, I violate a traffic law. I go 10 over, I need more paper towel. I, uh, maybe I go through a yellow light a little too late. Maybe I do a rolling stop at a stop a stop sign. And so the idea, it's like not the tracking that bothers me, it's the fact that technically that information could be forwarded to authorities and stuff. Like I don't really care if Elon watches me like drive in the car. The same way I don't really, like it doesn't make that big of a difference on my life if the FBI man is watching me through my webcam. But the difference is I'm not worried about getting charged for it, like, because I've gotten traffic tickets, but I'm not concerned about anything else, if that makes sense. It's just, because I think most people can agree, to, the traffic laws aren't really there to keep people safe, it's there to make money. Uh, let me go get more paper towel. And so the stuff that people get convicted of with most technology isn't really going to make that much money. But um, the state's constantly making money from, yeah, no drug deals with Tesla. <laughs> or I don't know if you, it's like, it's not going to happen now, but like, I don't like the idea of like the Raleigh Police Department calling Tesla and giving them my license plate and then like downloading all of my dash cam because there's eight cameras on the car 
and like it, it, it watches everything I do. It watches like it is not just my phone tracking my location. It's eight cameras recording every move that I make. Like every, I don't know. It's a lot different. So right now, yeah, it's totally worth the payoff, and I don't feel any risks with it. Like it's nice. I, I really like autopilot. And I, I love the dash cam. Like, it, I've caught some cool stuff on dash cam because there's so many cameras. Um, yeah, there's uh, one camera inside and then two on each side, one on the back, and then three in the front or two in the front, however many is left. And it's super nice for, like, if you key a Tesla, it's guaranteed you're going to get charged and convicted. The other thing I don't like is so, like, with dash cams... I don't think cops can seize your dash cam, but even if they could, you could just say, I don't have a dash cam. However, like, let's say you were at fault for something. Y you don't have to show your dash cam. But if you're driving a Tesla, police know it has a dash cam, and they know that there's an SD card in there, and what if they tried to forcibly seize it from you? So in the new Teslas, you can actually lock the dash cam in the... Um, the glove box because that's where the computer is in my older one that anyone can just get in the car and take it out and then they have hours and hours of me driving on video yeah they need a warrant but i mean you know like i feel like i know personally i'm not like i know my rates pretty well i think without being one of those like cringy first amendment auditors um but a lot of people can be pretty easily persuaded to convict themselves why isn't that a thing in school why isn't like learning about laws a thing? I, I know everyone says that but I was just thinking I haven't thought about that in a while a rat no it's the same I haven't gotten a new Tesla it's a 2019 <clears throat> You know, the thing is, you can't really not, like, you do have to talk to the cop. You can't just sit there and be silent. Um, <laughs> so it's, yeah. I think um, more people should probably research exactly what to say and what not to say. All right, so what are you supposed to say to, sir, do you know how fast you're going? I don't actually know how to answer that question. Um... Or did you have a reason for the speed? I, I don't know how to answer those. When I got pulled over, he didn't ask anything. I'm trying to not like bump the button. Answer in the chat, would I make a good police officer? <laughs> If it be, oh yeah, well, I, I mean, once they, Alice has shown me enough um, interrogation videos that I'm never going to speak a word once my Miranda rights are read to me, which, for the record, they have not been read to me yet. Not because they forgot to, but because there was no reason. <laughs> but yeah, if you, uh, if you ever end up in a, but that's the thing, some people are like, well, you want the bad guys to talk, but... Personally, like, yeah, sure, the legal, the legal process isn't perfect, but I am a believer in no matter how guilty somebody seems, uh, they deserve a fair trial. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this, this is just common sense. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what he said. When I got pulled over, I was just nice and he let me go. Well, I didn't get that. He wrote down my ticket a lot. He, d he lied and said I was going, like, 25 slower than I actually was, which is nice of him, I guess. I don't know. He could have just let me go, though. Um, no, sir. Wait 10 seconds. I just bat my eyelashes and, be <laughs> and pretend to be dumb. Got pulled over super... I mean, I'm, I'm always nice. I'm still salty about getting pulled over, and there was no one else on the road. Here's my thought. If I could change the traffic system, it would be kind of, um, like, let me find my screws. 
I forgot what the road is in Germany. The one with no speed limit. I almost said the Nurburgring. That's not it. Let me try to find the other screws. Like that actually. So let's say you're driving down I-40 at 4 a.m. and you're the only car. I think that, like, if you watch police videos, they always say, like, now following the vehicle, current traffic is light, or current traffic is moderate, or current traffic is heavy. I think that the, um, I think the, the charge, what's it called? I, I think the convic conviction should be based on how many people you endanger. If, so if you're, if you're by yourself on the highway, why does it matter if you're going 150? Like, the only person you're endangering is yourself versus if you're going like if you're going 150 by yourself on the highway versus 150 in heavy traffic you're you, it's it's the same pretty much like yeah they could i don't know if they can give you not a reckless ticket if you're going 150. okay let's just say you're going 80. if you're going 80 around other vehicles on the highway versus going 80 by yourself i think that it should be i think there should be very extreme um repercussions if you're endangering others but i think there should be next to no repercussions if you're not endangering anyone look they could they would make so much more money because they just go to rush hour and get all the people like endangering people because i can't stand when like a little souped up 370z passes me at 150 when i'm just trying to like go to starbucks but if it's just me in the right lane and one passes me on the left lane on the highway and doesn't like try to run me off the road i really don't care he can do his thing i can't, I can't find any more screws i guess i'll just have to use these well yeah they have discretion but i don't I don't really like cops having discretion. I think it should be more um, like written in stone, I guess. Kind of like how judges, like if, if you like, if you like, um, if you killed someone and the judge, like the judge just had his third child, his marriage is going great. His wife is like perfect. He just got a raise. He might like let you off pretty well, but if you like robbed a bank, and the judge, like, he, he, like, his wife just cheated on him. His children died of cancer. He's going to be in such a horrible mood. He's going to want to ruin your life, too. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Judge is going to scare me. <clears throat> we, we like some similar cars. We, I think we both like we both like Cor we both like Chevy we both like Corvettes and Camaros, except I well I don't know how you feel about Camaros now but I, I prefer Corvettes over Camaros. I saw a um a very nice C6 today at Best Buy. I I was never a big C6 fan but that one actually made me like it. It was literally it was just clean because all the C6s I see are always so dirty. But the C6 is like the Corvette I grew up seeing as a child, like in in games. <clears throat> I've never dri uh, driven a C6 or anything, but because I was always like, if I get a, because like I could see it in a Corvette, but it would probably be a C7. But now I'm like, oh, the C6 is kind of cool. I love the best styling of vehicle. I think is the C8. I like the aggressiveness. I was looking at one C8 the other day. I couldn't. The vents look kind of fake. Are the? Does anyone know if the vents are fake on a C8? Because nothing makes me. Nothing turns me off more than fake vents in a car. <clears throat> I would return the Tesla if I realized it had fake vents. Um, yeah, I, I went with Alice when she was test driving new cars. We She drove a Camaro. Um, even I couldn't fit in the back of the Camaro, which, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's essentially a two-seater, but... I can't find any screws. And she drove a Dodge Charger. What else? A Honda Civic. Um, the Mazdas, Mazda, Mazda Six and Mazda Three. <laughs> no, but do you like the Countach in particular? I know why he's asking this. Or maybe she hasn't seen the Countach. 
and not the new one, because who wouldn't like the new one? Oh, you don't really like Lambos. My guess is you don't like Lambo owners. They're made so cheaply, are they? I've never been in a Lamborghini. <clears throat> they just look, they look well made to me, but uh, uh, when I was living in Durham, I never saw Lamborghinis, but now in Raleigh, I see like, I see a really cool car like every other week. There's quite, there's a bizarre number of McLaren 720s's um, in like downtown Raleigh. Like around, um, it's around that supercharger, or what's it called, Six Six Forks? I'm taking forever to squeeze in because I, I keep getting, I keep walking behind the camera to read. <clears throat> Wait, what car is it? Oh. My favorite styling of any car is the original Lamborghini Countach right now. Yeah, I think there's auto WRXs. I don't like the new WRX. If I got one, it would be pre-new model. It looks so bad. It just looks like a, a short Forester or something. <laughs> I like how, um, it's gonna sound, cause I, like, one of my favorite car brands is Porsche. I would say Porsche makes the, like, whoever designs Porsches are the horniest men on the planet. Cause they are the most sexual looking feminine vehicles. And then on the other side, I feel like Subaru, Subaru makes some of the most masculine, like the WRX and the BRZ. To me are very masculine. They're very kind of chunky, kind of harsh edges. Um, I, I like both ends of the spectrum. There's so many cars, I'm like, that's a really cool car, but I can't imagine why anyone would buy that and not something else. Like, I can't find the screws that fit these things. Where did all my screws go? Like, a Jaguar, um, a Jag F-Type. I really like them, and I've looked at them quite a bit. Even when I was looking at Tesla's, I was like, should I get an F-Type? And they look really cool, I just... <laughs> Why would you buy an F-Type when you could buy, like, something else at that price that's, like, I don't know, just slightly cooler? Or, like, a BMW, like, I don't know, even just, a, like, a, I was going to say, like, an, uh, an M8, but I think those are too expensive, like, out of the price range. <clears throat> Alice drove the BRZ. Um, I mean, she was at... She drove the BRZ the day that I bought it, which was the day that I learned to drive manual, and she was still able to figure it out. So I, I think she would pick it up fine. I just can't, I don't think Alice really enjoys manual that much. But I could be wrong. Tell them, well, you stalled so many times, but um, I think we learned at an equal pace, and now I, I feel like I could drive any manual car now. So I'm guessing no be about the same. I learn new things about the car every day. Like I just learned yesterday that to pull up the parking brake, you don't have to push the, bu push the button in. You can just pull it up. I never realized that. My left foot was so weak. I actually couldn't hold down. I had to take breaks driving home because my foot was so tired from holding the clutch because I never used that part of my foot. <clears throat> I'm not just putting in thermal paste. There was a lot. Um, <laughs> telling people it's a manual when someone asked to borrow your car. Yeah, I guess it's good. And I guess in America, it's considered the best, like, theft protection. I can't find the screws. I would be done by now if I didn't lose all my screws. Can these be used to hold the motherboard on? They look too thick. The thing about the Mazda paddle shifters is the car is so quiet that I can't tell when to shift based on the sound. 
So I have to actually be looking um, at the, what's it called? Tachometer? No. Yeah, is it a tachometer? <clears throat> you should, um, I don't know if you've driven it with the paddle shifters. It's actually a lot faster than auto. Because when I had to drive it to, um, when I got it fixed, the, when I got the handle fixed. Because you can, it's, in auto it shifts from second to third extremely quickly. Like it doesn't even use second gear. But the second gear is really quick. And then not the odometer. <clears throat> oh, what did you say about these screws? Let me see. Thick and short is still good. Well, that's not what I was looking for, but okay. I had trouble pushing the button on the... The brake was like... <laughs> it's just gonna <laughs> see eggshell milk. Hopefully uh, tomorrow my computer will be working when you wake up. Wait, you regret getting the Mazda? Why? Wait, just sell it now. It's The value is so high. I can just... I'm doing a terrible job on the ramp. I'll just wrap something up. You should... Ooh, I'm trying to think if I could pick a car for you, what would I get you? Okay, I, honestly, I would make you get like... And make you get like, <laughs> I don't want to say, because it's just going to sound like I'm using you. I just want you to get like a really useful car. Um, like an old Suburban or something. <laughs> you don't like it. Well, I say just sell it. <clears throat> Assuming you would get not an electric vehicle, what kind of car would you like? I'm gonna have to think on it for a minute. Well, I guess it depends on the budget. Like, oh, you don't want anything but electric. <clears throat> Other than a perfectly upgrade camera. I was well I, I guess I thought you wanted a four door for some reason. Or like Huh. I can't think what's that one Audi? Is it R S R Audi? It's like people always either get the R eight or the R S seven, is that what it is? The one with like the very swoopy back, like it, the back is like straight down. It's a very attractive car. Uh, not the R8, the one like kind of below that, I guess. I would go back, I mean, I wouldn't even complain if I went back to it, like a newer Nissan Leaf. It's just kind of boring. Okay, I need to use the magnet to get this in. I saw an R8 the other day. RS8? I'm certain there's a 7 in it. Um, R8 used to be my favorite car. See ya. Why did I just say see ya to you? I'm just gonna go upstairs in a minute, probably. <clears throat> I think Alice, I don't know if she's still listening. I think, I'm putting words in her mouth, but I think she discovered she doesn't like sports cars. She likes sexy luxury cars. Like, um, cause the Mazda is, it's very luxurious for the price. Like the, the quality, like the interior quality is better than the Tesla. Like a, like a good looking, like, yeah, mid-tier car. Like, um, I think you want it to look sporty, but feel luxurious, kind of. And I think Mazda's are a crossover of that, because Mazda's actually planning on just getting rid of their cheaper lineup. They want to become a luxury brand. And I think, I, I don't know why, because I think that they're doing, 
like if I had to, if I, I kind of, I would like an SUV. If I had unlimited money, I would just buy. You, <laughs> I don't give the worst opinion. No, you like, but I don't think you. There's sports car, and then there's like fast car, and then there's like supercar. Sports cars. I, I think you like fast cars, but not sports cars. I think you want to feel like you're not in a machine. I think you want to be like comfortable and look good. Like, I mean, like, let's say you're shopping for a Mazda, you're probably not going to go for like an RX-7. The screw isn't going in. You're going to go for like the Mazda 3. Why is the screw not going in? You like the looks the Mazda gets? I think you mean gets. Seeing people stop to take pictures. I need to, oh, I need to, well, check and see if uh, it's back in stock yet for me to get some. I forgot what the color is. Hexus Tiffany Blue, is that what it is? There's definitely, I'm kind of tired of the attention the Tesla gets. Like, I really like how in the Subaru I can just be normal, but then in the Tesla, it's like you're driving a Lamborghini. Like the guy today, he wouldn't take my Zaxby's order because he was asking how much I pay for the car. I was like, how much I pay? He was like, the monthly. I was like, I was like why would you want to know the monthly payment of my car? I guess it was to see if he could get one. The thing is, it seems a lot of people don't put any money down on their cars. Because I was like, I, I, a couple hundred a month. He's like, that's it? Well, I guess what I'm paying, but like, I, I put money down. And then it's awkward to be like, because they want to know how much, I don't know. But like, when, when a group of people comes up in like 4 a.m. and asks how much my car is worth, I say like, oh, 25000 like what that's it i'm like yeah they're like where'd you get it i was like Car <laughs> i don't know carvana just go look at carvana and then they're like all excited because they're gonna go to carvana and get a 25k tesla it's because i don't want to get carjacked at 4 a.m <clears throat> well no i get that but it's it's that i've talked to so many people now that are like i want a tesla but it's it's people that are paying an insane monthly for a luxury car when they could get a really nice car and not be paying like so, like people that pay like five hundred dollars to get like a nice Lexus when they could have like gotten a nice Toyota um, and already have paid it off within like six months. I, none of these screws are going in. <clears throat> Um, I thought about Ubering in the Tesla. It's a great car to Uber in. Apparently, people get stupidly high tips when they do a Tesla when they use a Tesla, and uh, no cost to drive it. And also, you're comfortable. Like literally, they can just go on autopilot and drive you 20 miles, and they can just sit there. So you can drive a lot long. That's the one, okay. That's nice about autopilot is you can drive a really long time. In a non in a non-autopilot car, I can drive like four hours without stopping, but in the Tesla, I can drive seven to eight hours without stopping. Do, do I have to put every single screw in? Like, because cause there's the little things on it. Let me see if I can turn on subscriber mode. No, I can't. And I also don't have a computer to do it. 
I should go to the dating site. I'm actually curious. Like, don't go. Like, I'll go on a device I don't care about. I think it's pretty hard to get a virus now, unless like unless you click something. Okay, she's leaving. I can say bad takes now. Oh yeah, but what I was gonna say is then it's really awkward because then like let's say I'm honest about the car price, they're like, well, you're making so much money, and it's like I just I just want my Wendy's, and I. Cause I, I mean, I can't afford the car now. Let's just be honest. I could afford it because I had a, I was, um, I made like a big chunk of money in a small period of time, and I was like, screw it, I'll get this. Um, I can't buy one today. It's because I was making good, I was, I was making like a high amount of money for a short period of time, and then I kind of spent most of it. Because I've been like, eh, should I sell it? But it's like, it's not really costing me anything now to own, since I already have it. Tell them it's a rental. Well, but they see me, like, on a usual basis. Because, um, you know, I'll, I'll see the same people every day. It's not my car, I stole it. That might encourage them to carjack, because then I have less to lose. All right, well, maybe you're right, because now the view count dropped to 60, and this is when I usually stream. So I guess uh, you had a point. Make sure you have the outer screws. Okay. But I usually just lie about it. Makes it less awkward. I think I got them all, actually. I think there's one more center screw. Yeah, I guess we're all good. All right, graphics card. Oh wait, I didn't, no, I sprayed it out. See you zoo up tomorrow. Oh, is that a bug? I don't know what that is. Surprise, surprise, people sleeping don't watch live streams. <sighs> we. <laughs> It's 11 p.m. Why do people go to sleep so early? Like, he, okay, look, if I have to get up, yeah, I need a lot of sleep. But most people always brag, like, I only need five hours of sleep. Which, in theory, if they're getting up at seven, or even six, they would be up a few more hours, right? If it was an ant, I'd actually lose my mind. It's not an ant, though. I don't know what it is. Well, yeah, times I'm on the East Coast, so it's the latest here. Wait, let me um, plug in some stuff first. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, wait. I can't. I need to plug all of these in. They're behind the PC. Wait, I might be able to reach them. But moral of the story, um, I'm just financially irresponsible. What, Sylvester? just screaming. I think he wants to be put in his room like a child because it's like his night time because <laughs> he went in his room and he just started screaming. I wasn't going to close the door yet though because I'm still up. Okay, is that person still here that told me the fan thing? So this one goes out. Wait, which way does it spin? So I think it goes like this. What 
doing? What were you having to do with, to his P? Like, how do you break a PS4? Feels a little, a little homosexual. Is all. That's okay though. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even fix the cable management. I forgot. Whatever. It's fine. I was trading it in. He got a whole six dollars for his uh, console, I'm sure. I'm sure you hooked him up well, gave him a fair deal. He negotiated and you ended up giving him four dollars. It went great. He's a true master of negotiation. negotiation. Yeah, I have a script for a video about how I hate sea turtles. It, this, the, the idea is, it's an argument for sea turtles, to, like, we should rapidly... Do, we should do everything we can to expedite how quickly sea turtles go extinct, and it'll be better for the world. <clears throat> I, I never finished it, though. And it's not a joke, either. Like, I'm, I'm wholeheartedly serious with this like it's not like something that i'm like it's not like every day i'm like i i wish sea turtles just go extinct already but like it's not like a joke video it's a serious like every point in the video is a real point that i have i don't know why these screws aren't fitting Really? How many, um, how many trade-ins had, like, come on them? I assume at least 50%. Well, yeah, the pandas, so I did a video called Pandas Should Go Extinct. That video, it didn't go over right because I accidentally posted it on April Fool's. The point of the video was actually I paid an Indonesian man $5 on Fiverr to write me a video and I asked him to do it about why panda should go extinct. So I was reading word for word his script that he wrote me, and that was the point of the video. But it didn't it, it didn't work right because I accidentally posted it on April Fool's. So people just thought it was an April Fool's joke. But it, yeah, whatever. I, I it was so bad that I I privated the video. It didn't it it upset me how like it it just it went wrong. Maybe I'll do another like fiber script though. He was a really nice dude. He offered to write me a second. Because I, I, like, I tipped him, and then he offered to write me a second one for free. <clears throat> so I guess I could ask him for another one. Oh my god. Here, herpetology time. Just reading messages. <clears throat> uh, it's a 1080 Ti. Yeah, okay, I'll make it a members only video, I guess. Why? What am I doing wrong? I'm certain this is the screw that I used. Oh, alright. I guess that works. I don't really get, like, because I've been thinking about invasive species a lot since the... Because the two most bothersome pests that I deal with are invasive ants and invasive mosquitoes. The Chinese tiger mosquito or whatever, and the South American ant. <clears throat> but 
but I'm sure there's like a scientist that could explain this. Why? Wh I don't understand what native means. Okay, what in your words, what is a native species of animal? I'll wait to see your answers. In the context of it's not invasive, it's native. Oh wait, this one, should this one blow in or out? I forgot. I think out. Native means native, that's not a good answer. Try again. Native means it originated there and isn't problematic. I mean, basically the point I'm gonna make is, it's gonna sound like an I'm 14 and this is deep post, but every, every species was invasive, right? <laughs> Where did they come from? Like, every species that's everywhere it was not there. It, it invaded the area. That's just what animals do. It, involved, it evolved on that land over periods of time. Evolved from ancestors who lived in that location. So does that mean, like, if a kangaroo came to North America and started evolving, it becomes... Like, when does an animal go from invasive to native? Like it, my 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 thought is like. I tried to explain this one time, and I didn't did not explain it well. I do not think that you should purposefully, hum like man made. Ah, the screw is stuff. I don't think you should purposefully introduce animals to new areas. However, I think it's a complete waste of resources to try and undo it once it's happened. Like, it's not like just, hu like, humans are a species of animal. If an ant makes its way on a boat and then comes to North America, how's that any different from a deer in one location bringing a type of tick on its back to a new location? That's just how animals move around and, like, breed, and that's just, that's just how it works. <laughs> like, it's a process that takes thousands of years. Invasive are transported from a third outside source. But what does that mean? Like, what if it was on, like, a little piece of ice and it floated to a new continent? Is that a third party? And if so, how is that different from it just walking or swimming through a river to a new country or something? And then what even are the borders exactly? I don't know. I, I want to ask, like, a professional about this and, like, have actual questions because I'm very curious. Yeah, like, wouldn't humans be considered, in, why, are, why are humans not considered invasive? Or are, maybe they are, I don't know. The issue with things considered invasive is they are out of control and cause serious issues. Well, sure, but they simply become the dominant species. And then other species around that adapt to that. So sure, maybe they destroy a bunch of species Maybe they, maybe they make 25 species go extinct. Is that really a problem? The majority of species are extinct since the conception of Earth. Why does it matter if things go extinct? Well, there's the di biodiversity and the ecosystem is very fragile. Well, ecosystems aren't fragile. They, nothing adapts better. Every ecosystem has adapted to everything ever. And they continue to adapt. Like, why it's... This is why who cares? <laughs> like, yeah, sure. It, I mean, here's the thing you might say, Well, you don't understand, but I feel like I kind of understand a little better now because my life is being ruined by these ants and these mosquitoes. Who cares? I can suck it up. It's just animals doing what animals do. They move to new areas, they take over. Other animals invade, other animals become their prey and their predators. I hate these ants more than pretty much anything else right now. And the ecosystem of my yard would be so different without these ants. There would probably be tons of species of native ants. Well, who cares? These ants will take over. If the ecosystem truly dies, these ants will also die. Let's say the ants kill everything on my property. It's, it's desolate. There's nothing there. It's only going to be desolate for a short period of time. It's very quickly going to have new species introduced because it's this empty area. And something comes over and starts to live there. And then a new ecosystem is made. Basically, this is my I'm 14 and this is deep of why investing money into invasive species is a waste of resources.
Again, this is coming from someone with no high school degree, but it's my opinion. And maybe it, if you change my opinion, I will happily admit that my opinion has changed. I like when my opinion changes, but so far I haven't gotten an answer to that effect that like proves it to me. It's just be able to show the animals to the next generation. What, who cares? What's the difference? Like, why can't the invasive species show animal? Like, all right, let's take the yellow-bellied cider and the red-eared cider. Yellow-bellied is native here. Red-eareds are invasive to where I live. The red-eareds are bigger and stronger. I think they breed faster even. That might actually not be. They're bigger and stronger. They knock red yellow-bellies off their basking spots. They take their food. They probably kill them. Who cares? It's, it's just, it. so what? The red-eareds are gonna breed? Maybe they'll, Destroy the yellow bellies. What's the, why does it matter? Like, it's just turtles. It's just turtles changing. Yellow bellies weren't native here initially. Uh, let's say sharks went extinct. Fish would overpopulate, which would also die, which means even more fish and everything's overpopulated. But you said that they're going to die and overpopulate. So either everything dies and then new animals come in and introduce the area and create a new ecosystem, or it becomes overpopulated, which in turn leads to everything dying, which just means that everything, I mean, new species fill in. The answer is always everything dies and stuff takes its place. That's like how the universe works. Like stars die, humans die. This is very, it's not even that deep. I, I think it's interesting though. It's about perspective and time scale. Humans naturally care about things on a smaller time scale that's being harmed by invasive species. That makes sense to me, I just don't agree with it. I think it's stupid. Um, I like talking, I mean, yeah, I don't know, I just, oh my God, you know what? This doesn't need more screws. I know I'm trying to explain the, the entire universe to you while I can't even screw a screw into a screw hole, but we're just gonna go with it. Here in Arizona, lots of raided sliders getting along. Yeah, I mean, there's no getting rid of raided sliders. They've introduced, they've been introduced. They're going to be introduced. Okay, let's say it goes as planned. Let's say we go and take every raided slider out of every invasive area that humans claim they're invasive from. We kill them and they're gone. The yellow bellies get their space back. Okay. What was the point of that? Who cares? What's the difference? It doesn't matter. None of it matters. I don't agree while actively in a war with ants. Yeah, that's why, that's why I feel like I have a better perspective now because I was trying to convince myself this is why invasive is bad because I want to agree that invasive is bad, but I had all these ants on my property and I was like, it's not convincing me. The ants are simply more superior. They're superior. They're more powerful. They can literally take me out it seems like they kind of just deserve to live here. They, they, they earned it, didn't they? They came, they saw, and they conquered. <laughs> and someday, those ants might, there may be something else will be introduced. Maybe these ants will live here forever. Maybe the ants will kill everything and run out of resources and all the ants will die. Okay, that's fine. So what? The ants will die? The environment is now up for grabs for a new species. I think it's cool. I think that's the coolest part of ecosystems. If the raiders are on the top of the food chain, then your take would be right. I'm not really sure what that means. I think this issue, Alex is okay with humans going extinct. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. It's not that I'm like an, I'm not one of those, what's it called? Like voluntary human extinction. It's like a, it's like a club, like a Facebook group. It's, it's an all, it's a community. It's like, people that want humans to go extinct and basically all they do is not have children. I still want children. I'd love to have many, like mo not many. I want multiple kids. I don't want my kids to die. But what's the difference if humans go extinct either? Because people, yeah. I think you get what I'm saying. But if you have arguments, please throw them in because I, I kind of want to agree with you. I agree change is important and natural, but when a species of change that we introduce well, why is it not natural if humans introduce them? Are you saying it's natural if like, um, I don't know, let's say, 
I don't know fish very well, but I know a lot of fish like stick to sharks and like swim around with them. So let's say a shark travels a far distance with fish on its back and introduces this fish to a new area. Why is that natural? But a human taking a boat with ants on it and then the ants end up in my backyard, is that not also natural? Like why is what humans do unnatural but every other animal is natural? You're acting like we're like robots. It doesn't really matter. Humans are going extinct in 10,000 years if we keep doing what we're doing. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But either way, like, who cares? We're all going to be dead. <clears throat> it only matters if you care about the species. Yeah, so this, you can kind of get the idea of why I... You, it, this is kind of the start of my... Um, uh, so this goes in, I guess. Yeah. The start of my sea turtle video. Oh shoot, I haven't plugged in anything else yet. Um, let me keep. Re I'm I'm actually interested in this, so I want to keep seeing what you're saying. When stuff like frogs are invasive, they kill pollinators, which can hurt human food resources. Well, okay, let's just eat the frogs. It's called adaptation. Like, humans are pretty strong. We shouldn't be so weak that we can't adapt to eating frogs. Like, if we can't adapt to eating frogs, we just die, and then frogs take over. So, the frogs win. Because man-made... No, but... The only people that I've heard put humans... When I was younger, the only people that would put humans and animals on a different scale were religious people, believing that, you know, like, God created humans as the superior species and animals are, like, for the humans to enjoy and appreciate and eat and use. And usually people that are more, like, science-based are, like, humans are animals. So if humans are animals, everything humans do is natural. Humans don't rely on natural pollinators like the Save the Bees people. Aren't honeybees invasive? Aren't the, aren't the bees that I'm never, I, I don't kill bees, I like bees by the way. Um, I don't like kill anything by the way, I kill ants. <laughs> I don't even, I'm pretty scared of spiders, but I always bring spiders outside just cause I don't like to see them all squished and sad. I like seeing the spider walk away outside. That's the reason, wait, why is the reason their money's put in? Oh, frogs are poisonous? Okay, well, sucks to be a human, I guess. I don't know. I, you can tell that I don't donate money, too. Okay, so the two things that I think are valuable is saving an, a, an individual or making a fix to permanently fix something. But I think trying to, like, dump money to, like, save just these random animals, it's cool if you just, want, if you just think the animals are cute and stuff, but you're not really... You're, you're putting, like, a Band-Aid on a... Uh, like the thing with sea turtles is most sea turtles are poached and killed in Mexico but um Mexico has a lot going on but culturally I think Mexico is one of the coolest countries I I watch a lot of videos about Mexico two dollars from real Brooklyn real talk hours <laughs> Thank you, real Brooklyn. These are the good hours of the stream. Um, so, okay, Mexico. I'm prefacing this because I actually really like Mexico. I'd love to go to Mexico. And Mexicans have produced some of the coolest, like, they, like I just, I'm a big fan of Mexico. However, Mexico has bigger things to worry about than people poaching sea turtles. So it's all these people in the United in the in the United States donating to save these sea turtles. I've been to the sea turtle rescue multiple times in Topsail Island. It's cool, but I was like, why are they doing this? They're they're catching and saving these sea turtles from the east coast of North Carolina, rehabilitating them and then letting them go swim. They swim down to Mexico and they get poached in Mexico. You're not fixing the problem at all. You're not stopping people from poaching them in Mexico. I don't even know if it's illegal in Mexico, but if it is, do people really follow the laws? <laughs> and so, the, and then they spend a thousand dollars to save this turtle, and then it swims down to Mexico and gets eaten. And it just keeps happening. 
And so you're just wasting all this donated money. Because my school used to donate thousands of dollars to sea turtle saving. <laughs> They're just going to get poached in Mexico. <laughs> like, Mexico is the reason that sea turtles will go extinct, in my opinion, based on my research. So, saving... I, I think you get what I'm saying. I want to read some more messages, though. Was gone, but now I'm back. Uh, welcome back. You're, hear me tr you get to hear me trying to explain why invasive animals should just be left alone and why extinction is good. <laughs> Humans didn't invade. We crossed things we call the land bridge. We went to land which was never really taken, and we stayed there and it evolved. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the point you're trying to make is. I might have missed a message, but yeah. There's a level of guilt associated with the effect of humans causing extinction. Um, I mean, I don't feel guilty. It wasn't me that killed the sea turtle or like hunted a bald eagle. It was someone else. Like, <laughs> I can't really feel guilty for what someone else did. It kind of sounds like how people talk about like white guilt, which I'm not going to get into, but it's what it reminded me of. You said humans are invasive. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but you're disagree. Wait, you disagree that humans are invasive? Oh, we didn't invade. We crossed the land bridge, land that was never taken. Well, it wasn't taken by other humans, but it was taken by other animals, and we like stomped on the land. Where does this go? You know what, you're gonna, you're making me want to finish this sea turtle video. Because ultimately it's not about like sea turtles in particular, it's just about what we're talking about. Oh, it doesn't matter which... I don't remember exactly how these were in. Invasive species do not matter whether man-made or naturally caused. If there's nothing higher in the food chain to manage it, then it is invasive. Okay, so should we do what Australia has done and purposefully bring it more invasive animals in purely because they're going to be higher on the food chain? Does that make them non-invasive? Because in that one, below, is no longer on the top of the food chain. So, I don't, I don't really get what you're saying. Reminder, this all came from Alex showing himself drinking from five straws. <laughs> it was four straws, thank you very much. Humans are invasive, we destroy everything around us. So what if, I don't really have an opinion on this, but let's take a native species. Let, let's just use the red and yellow-bellied sliders because it's easier. So red-eared sliders are invasive here, yellow-bellied are native. Right now, the red-eared sliders are stronger, and they're invasive and they're considered bad. What if the yellow-bellied... <laughs> um, let me hear this. One dollar and ninety-nine cents from Michaela Castellanos. Yeah. How is the computer coming along? <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Michaela. I can't reach the cords and I'm distracting myself with this conversation. <laughs> okay. Yellow belly, good. Yellow belly, native. Red ear, bad. Yellow belly, invasive. Red eared, kill yellow belly. What if yellow bellied do what animals do and the strongest of the bunch, re you know, um, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Selective, re the ones that live reproduce, and the ones that live are going to be stronger. They're going to be bigger like the red-eared slider. They're going to be stronger like the red-eared slider. They're going to continue to reproduce. The red-eared sliders are going to have more trouble over time. Let's, this is theoretical, of course. Oh, some years in the future, the yellow bellies are now stronger than the red ears, and they kill all the red ears. But what if this is 20,000 years in the future when the red ears are 
established. Does that mean that the raiders were native and the yellow bellies destroyed? Yeah, natural selection. And the yellow bellies are now like the bad ones. Like, you don't become invasive simply because you become stronger. Invasive species have always existed and it's ended all right. But the problem now is humans are causing invasions at a much greater rate, faster than ecosystems can recover. But that's not true though. An ecosystem has never not recovered. Any ecosystem that hasn't recovered currently is going to recover. Like, I guess what someone was saying with the scale, like let's say my, I'll just use my backyard because I can truly like l literally look at it. The ants will wipe out my entire backyard. It's gone. Well, animals from other backyards are gonna start filling in the space and breeding. So even if humans have rapidly done it, what's the difference from the previous animal that caused the most invasion? The sudden change is what's considered. I'm gonna plug in the wires. I like I like um, talking about this though. Cause it doesn't really like, what I like about this conversation is I can't do anything about it. Um, so I just get to talk about it and it doesn't make a difference, but it's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna have to reach on from the back. <laughs> oh, the power supply is in the way. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Where are you? Where's all the cords? I wish one of you could just like come do this for me. I'm so tired, sick of doing this. The ecosystem continues and evens out. When they cause the habitat around them to adapt and evolve, there's no longer a danger of collapse. I would consider that a native species. I'm, I'm thinking on that. If the ecosystem evens out, there's no longer. So they become native when they no longer just store everything? Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to put some cables in? Because I'm tired of doing this. Uh, <laughs> I can't find it. No, I don't know. Okay. Oh. I couldn't take a picture because when I did yours, I took a picture of it. But... Was it already out? Um, I. They can't. I, like, I literally can't find where the cables are. <laughs> like, because they go around, but I don't know where they are. It smells in here. Yeah, it smells weird. It smells in here. And... Mm. It smells strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the trash is in here. It's not the trash. Yeah, it's not smell in here. Okay, now I Alice said I smell strange. I donate to mistreatment of domestic animals. Okay, so that is what I think is, I think the two things that are cool is helping an individual and helping solve the entire problem. So like, let's say you just really, you just want every sea turtle to suffer as little as possible, so you donate and try and save this one sea turtle and it, you, it survives and you care for it and it's happy. That's mission accomplished. But if you try to save sea turtle after sea turtle with the goal to fix the whole issue, that's a complete waste of time. And so what the rescues always advertise is like solving the problem and fixing the world, but they're just putting the band-aid on the bullet wound. Things that would have taken years and years to get to a certain place would cause what's around them to slowly adapt. 
But if it's sudden, like people bringing it across the ocean, then it sucks. But where's the borders? All the borders are imaginary. Is the border an ocean? Is the border like the edge of a continent? And then what's fast and what's slow? Like what if the boat goes really slowly across the ocean? Like what if it's going like one mile an hour and the animals literally have time to breed and like create new generations on the boat? And then the boat arrives and these generations are like little orphan children and they enter this new land and like how is that? Like it's all just imaginary lines. I don't, I haven't seen anything that's on TikTok. I find it interesting reading these comments because most are from a completely different generation. I feel, when I talk to 19 and 18 year olds, I feel like I'm talking to a different generation, but we're only a few years apart. Like when I actually talk to like a, a new, newly young adult, like talking to my sister feels like talking to a different species, but she's only three years younger than me. Which I don't think it's about the generation, I think it's about just the communities that we reside in and the kinds of people we talk to. <clears throat> Invasive species are from humans. The ecosystems have taken longer to recover, meaning more species have been lost. This makes the ecosystem weaker. Okay, I guess. But I'm still not convinced that just because a human did it makes it unnatural. And I'm also not convinced that an ecosystem can be weak. I think, I guess when people are describing an ecosystem, they mean, I don't know, what, what do they mean? What is an ecosystem? When does an ecosystem start and end? I don't think there is a start and end. I think it's just a change over time. Like things happen naturally all the time, like weather changes and like, water levels change. If a water level rises and wipes out a species because there's not enough land or something, or water level drops and all the fish die, that's natural. That's caused by like the moon and stuff. Um, like the, the moon isn't an invasive species. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Humans like stability. Yeah, stability doesn't exist. Stability is less natural than instability. Instability is the natural, kind of like how darkness is the natural state of the universe. Like humans are the one that has it reversed. Coming out at, during the day isn't normal. Coming out at night is, because light isn't a given, but dark is a given. It's always, dark is guaranteed for the rest of eternity, but light is just until the stars burn out. You should take some ecology classes. I, I can't, I can't, I can't take classes. I can't sit in the classroom. I can't read, I can't write, <laughs> ironically. I can't listen to a professor. I watch YouTube essays, that's it. And I just think about stuff and I write a lot. I mean, I guess I can write, but. I think the I think the most disturbing thing would, would be if every ecosystem stayed stagnant. Like imagine if we perfectly preserved every every ecosystem that exists. That's like so disturbing. That's that would make me actually like vomit out of discomfort. Like if it's not changing, if species aren't going extinct, something is like seriously wrong and like what did we just do? That's like utopia level disturbing. You lost me at the moon. <laughs> at what point do you consider something a human does unnatural. I don't think unnatural makes any sense. I like I don't think plastic is unnatural. Plastic comes from oil and oil comes from I'll just say dinosaurs. I know it's not really dinosaurs. I don't I don't litter. I'm very against littering. I think it's good that littering can get you fines and stuff. But throwing this cup outside isn't unnatural. I don't think, the thing is littering isn't unnatural. So think about, I always think about this with like the chickens. The chickens just bulldoze through everything. They destroy everything. They, they'll, they'll kill a mouse. Well, okay, they eat the whole mouse. Let's use a different animal. Um, let's say 
a blue tongue skink. A blue tongue skink in the wild. It's going to be digging. It's going to make holes. It's going to eat plants and kill those plants. When it's done eating, it's not going to. It's not going to bring the plant to a recycling. Okay, for the record, I don't. I understand why littering is bad. This is this is just totally hypothetical. So hear me out. I just want to dis have a disclaimer with this. So a blue tongue skink, when it eats its meal, is not going to clean up after itself. It's going to leave it because it's going to decompose. When a human, when I drink a smoothie out of this, I finished my meal. If I leave it, if I'm drinking a smoothie outside and I put what I used to get the meal down, it's considered unnatural. But if a blue tongue skink eats a plant, all right, this is a little different because the plant was already there. I need a better example. I had an example for this. So I'm going to, I'm not giving up on this conversation. I think I don't know what, oh, I thought you said, I think I don't know what you're talking about. Long story short, this decomposes the same way. Okay, let's use bones. A predator goes along, kills an animal, leaves the bones. Well, the bones are just going to sit there for a while. That's, eventually they'll break down, but that's not considered littering. But if a human drinks out of a plastic cup and drops it in the woods, that's considered unnatural. Well, the plastic's going gonna, gonna to break down. It's going to take a while, but it's going to break down. No, yes, I understand the implications of that. It's... it's it's um, unsanitary and stuff, and we don't want to, like, die. But the only reason, like, every animal litters is just only humans care about their own littering because it does make a bigger difference. But I, I'm, I don't really, I just think that that's still an interesting thought. I don't really try to back up that thought that I'm trying to make, though. Like, we probably agree on what I was just saying, which is... Most plastic, yeah, I mean, plastic is not that, like, everybody uses, like, everyone drinks out of a glass bottle, and they just leave the glass, oh, it's, it's not plastic, it's fine. Glass takes, like, a million years to break down. This will take, like, a thousand. It, it, I mean, this exact cup would probably not take that long. It's, it's probably more decomposable now. Yeah, everything's made of nature, like, this is from nature. Where do you think it came from? This cup is natural, is it not? We didn't, like, <laughs> it's, everything is nature, right? Even if we got this cup from Mars, sure, it's it came from a different planet. It's a Martian cup, but it's still natural. Humans can't. Humans are not that impressive. Humans can't make things. Everything humans make is just reusing a material that already exists. So, at what point did humans become unnatural? Yeah, like, we're making an ooga booga fire. We leave the ashes and coal behind. Was that littering? And the answer is, in my opinion, it's always been natural. Everything's so-called natural, but humans are smarter. We create more things that impact Earth more. So are we really smarter if we're making things that impact Earth more? I think humans are on like this high horse of, well, we're smart. So we have to take responsibility. Um, I think we're dumb and don't have to take responsibility. <laughs> we're clearly not smart. If we were smart, we wouldn't be doing things that we claim is bad. Where it comes from a tree. Uh, yeah, we didn't make the tree. Even if we did make the tree, if we grew the tree, it's from a seed. That seed's from another tree. That seed is from another tree. And that seed is from another tree all the way back to before humans existed. Yeah, well, glass is reusable, but, I mean, so is plastic. Plastic is reusable in many ways. Plastic is a fertilizer. This plastic, in a few hundred to a thousand years, will be a fertilizer. It'll be dirt, and then I can use it in my garden. I'll be dead, but somebody won't. Somebody will someday be using this cup as fertilizer. If we were smart, we would not have created the atomic bomb. <laughs> Uh, we're having a discussion on what is natural and what is invasive. I, I don't know where the cords are. They must be just like stuffed in the back. I just want my computer back, man. Oh, here's one. USB 2. Okay, I guess I stuffed them all in at some point. Yeah, humans like to moralize everything. 
In my day, nobody picked up after their dogs. I didn't know that. that I didn't know that's like a recent thing. Your hairline's unnatural. <laughs> Um, I will repeat this again. Each species is a marvel of nature and evolution and deserves to exist just for the pure beauty of it. If we can prevent them from dying out, we should. So I like that point. The beetle guy is very wholesome. But let's say, let's use rated sliders and yellow bellied sliders again because that's just the one we've been using. <laughs> this is the red haired slider, this is the yellow bellied slider. They live in separate ponds. This is the natural pond for them and the natural pond for them. This pond dries up, just naturally. It just dries up. It eroded, the water's gone. The red haired sliders relocate to where the yellow bellied sliders are natural. Do we let them? If we do, the yellow bellied sliders might die. If we don't, the red haired sliders, or wait, if we, if we let them, the yellow bellied sliders die. If we don't let them and like kill them, the red eared sliders die. Or if we push the red eared sliders back in the dried up pond, they die. So, what do we do? They're, one of them's gonna die. It's kind of like the trolley problem, I guess. Like there's many natural reasons that animals would end up in bad, um, situations. And also at one point, yellow-bellied and red-eared sliders were the same species. Every animal came from, I mean, if you think that evolution is a decent theory. I'm looking for the USB cable. I think it's this one. Don't even start talking about pandas. <laughs> There's, um, I wonder if it's on this cup. Yeah, it's on this cup. I'm here to save the earth one sip at a time. This is a styrofoam cup. This cup biodegrades 92% in four years. Yep, just four years. And then there's this huge asterisk. Biodegradable under conditions that stimulate both wetter and biologically active landfills using the ASTM D5511 test. Wetter or biologically active landfills may not exist in your area. The <laughs> I think this is, I laugh at this cup every time. <laughs> so like, yeah, this can take a long time to decompose, but it can also apparently take four years if you follow all these directions. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep a straight face. This is the person that you're listening to science about, everyone. You're looking at them. <clears throat> Would people be able, wait, let me go up a little bit. I'll, yeah, I'll do the panda video, don't worry. Well, I need my computer first. Could we clone a yellow belly from a red eared? If they could, would the new hybrid be considered? Oh, yeah, they can They can interbreed. There's hybrid red eared yellow bellied sliders. And would it be considered a real yellow belly? I had this question about um, tegus, because now in North Carolina, it's illegal to own black and white tegus. It's legal to own red tegus, but they can breed and create a hybrid black and white red tegu. And they are apparent, according to viewers, they're default illegal. <clears throat> so following those rules, the new hybrid would be considered invasive. Uh, bee creeping, you can just look it up. Just look up a guide of what size to feed. It's not based on their age, based on their size. In some special cases, based on like, if they're thin, you're not gonna wanna give them some big meal and might kill them. <laughs> Yeah, but why stop human interaction? Why not? Wouldn't stopping human interaction be unnatural? Because humans naturally do things. But to stop it would be unnaturally affecting the ecosystem. Like, kind of like how not making a decision is making a decision. 
not doing anything is doing something. Sometimes more so because it takes more effort to not do something than it does to do something. Kind of like a vegan, which is, I mean, I think veganism is cool. Um, I'm not a vegan. I thought about it for a while. I think I would die on veganism. Like, it takes more effort to be a vegan than to not be a vegan. <clears throat> I hate paper straws. I, I refuse. I bring my own. I have a. Anytime there's a paper straw somewhere, I have my own container of straws in the car. I'm in my glove box. They're locked in the glove box. No one's touching my plastic straws. The ATF is going to have to come and kill me over my plastic straws if they become illegal. I feel like I look like a vegan. Just drink out of the cup. Well, you can't drink like a Starbucks Frappuccino out of a cup or like a smoothie out of a cup. Because I'm a straw chewer, I have to chew on my straws. Now you all know my secret straw location. Where are the cables? They're just gone. Where's that one paper that I did? There's an anti-saying that a world-renowned taxologist uses. Don't just do something. Stand there. Because people often make the... Oh. <laughs> they make things worse by trying to help. Yeah, I'm always watching those, like, um... Uh... Just a any, like, crash video, like a motorcycle crash, and it's like, everyone comes over and they... <laughs> I need something to use as an example. Like, this this is the poor motorcyclist who just, like, crashed at 100 miles an hour. This is his neck, this is his head, and they're like, Oh, come on, you gotta get up, you can do it. And they just, like, crack, crack. <laughs> Instead of just leaving them there until, like, EMS arrives. Because everybody wants to be a hero. <clears throat> they want to, like, get their little news interview. I saved a motorcyclist laugh. No, I'm not just going to drink my smoothie out of a cup. I'm not going to drink my... I don't know. I am so tired of doing this. I want to be done. Oh wait, here's one. F handle. I don't even know what that is. I like how the viewership went up when I started going on a psychotic tirade. I don't, does anyone know what F panel is? I guess it's this. Is the PC native. This is all natural. This is literally all from, I mean, that's pretty dang cool. Every single thing you see here was constructed by natural materials. I think that's cool. <clears throat> that's why I get so confused by, um, yeah, front panel, that sounds right. It's why I get so confused by electronics. I truly cannot wrap my, like, I do not understand how electronics work. Like, these are all, this is just like, this is oil and rocks. This is like dead animals and like just big clumps of like hard stuff. Yeah, people made Wi-Fi out of rocks and sticks. <laughs> that's that's a great quote, Air Warrior. I 
I am also clumps of hard and soft stuff. Um, yeah. Me and this computer came from the same materials. If you go far back enough. <laughs> How do they make Wi-Fi without Wi-Fi? Yeah, we're all... I'm reading your text on the screen, thanks to rocks. And sticks, don't forget the sticks. The star stuff, I guess it would be called. Yeah, I don't get the whole one. I don't understand coding. I don't understand how the platform, like, because I understand, like, how HTML works, but how is the platform developed for HTML? You don't have to try to explain it. I'm not going to understand. <clears throat> okay, where is that? Oh, here it is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. I'm missing three. Oh, wait. One, two, three. I'm missing two. I'm missing... I need this one. I need this one. And I need this. I need these four. Right here. Shout out to the Big Bang for making me. You ever look at your hand and feel as if you're in a third dimension? I don't know what that means. But I'll say yes. I guess the other conversation is you were saying destroy, become human. I really like that game. Um, yes or no? Can AI become sentient to the point that they are a new species with as much value as a human? You can probably guess my answer. My homeboy walked out on land, and now we have to, now we have to pay bills. <laughs> I assume people do like that kind of rescue stuff, like just to try and fill the empty void inside them. In a way, I guess I tried to with Emerald Skills. Spoiler, it didn't work. Do everything is weird. You can just tell your hand to move and it moves. Yeah, I, I did that as a kid a lot. Every stream is becoming more unhinged than the last. I think it's because I'm reducing my filter a little bit each time. $4.99 from Michaela Castellanos. I definitely miss the simple life of the 80s, no computers. Do you? Thanks for super chat. Um, I don't miss it because otherwise I couldn't have gotten that super chat. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like people just tend to remember the good things of the past. But I don't know, I wasn't there, you tell me. Twitter didn't exist, so actually, yeah, you're right, never mind. I found one cable since you last came over here. Are you serious? I don't, come look. I just Yeah, here, I'll just put on the, just cut, like... I'm leaving, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Like, literally, they're not in the front. Where would they, I need uh, three more, just little normal things. And they should just be unattached Why are your screws everywhere? Your hair looks crazy. <laughs> you look... <laughs> Why are there four straws in this singular thing? <laughs> What is on this table? Why is there a french fry right there? <laughs> I'm is, not that sure. your tool? is that your screwdriver? Are you using a french fry because of how old they were? I have no use for a screwdriver. Cause Why? I'm... You didn't even drink your Sprite! Oh, I didn't got me a Sprite. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> I'm 
No. I was saying Alice Hope. I don't know. I'm... Don't ask about the straws. This girl just destroying them alive. <laughs> like, it should be right down here. Okay, I'm certain. So why isn't it there? Is this... <laughs> You literally, okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but okay, so like two years ago, Alex lost his mind trying to put thermal paste on his computer. He was so angry. He took apart the whole computer, put the thermal paste on and put it back together and it wouldn't turn on and he couldn't figure it out. And so he takes it to Best Buy and gives Geek Squad the hardest time ever. And because they're being so condescending to him. I hate that. They them. take apart the computer and he didn't plug in the power supply. No, no, that I plugged was it one. in. The cord was stripped. The cord was stripped. It had to be replaced. Yeah, let's play the replaced. But I that. didn't know what a stripped cord looked like, so I didn't know it had to be replaced. Uh, <clears throat> it's not the first time. No, he he <laughs> He does this so often. I can't okay. find the man. I just want to like... Okay. I don't know. I need to like practice my fall guys. Uh, what's this? What's this? That's the way I'm... Archie um, Bean. What? Where is it? It's right there. It was in front of his face. <laughs> it was literally in his face. This is USB. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> where did what did you I just it was just in the cords. It was right there. It wasn't hiding. It was just there. It's not like I just magically made it appear. I guess I'm getting too deep into the philosophy talk. I'm losing it. Um I think they think that I, I think they secretly know that I'm right but disagree. He survives. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Alex was gay. There's always one person every stream who's like, wow, a girl. Well, no, he is. Don't you worry keep saying. <laughs> I, I don't exist. I'm not real. I'm part of his imagination. Oh, I thought you were just saying you were. You had a little something in your pants. Get him out of this food in there. Huh? There's food? Oh, well, he's eating. Yeah, he's eating a french fry. The hardware in your computer uses binary code and this yeah, you've lost me. I'm not even finishing that. Alright. Well she found this one. And I need these two. And then the top ones should be easy. And then just the fans, and I think we'll be done. And then the graphics card. But that's easy. Alice stays strapped. When did she say that? Um, I just, she doesn't, well, huh, she, that's for her to know. <clears throat> oh, not a gun. Wait, what? What does that mean? <laughs> if it's... Anything? Alice has a. She's concealed carrying a little something else. I don't know if I'll play anything after this. Oh, I gotta put the chickens away. Wait, let's go do that. It's already dark. I kind of like the IRL stream, you know, just bringing you around. I thought about doing, like, a wake up to, like, I don't want to do a 24-hour stream, but what if I did, like, a, from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. Like, you go shopping with me, you record videos with me, and you turn the light on, you edit videos with me, I don't, I just don't do that much. I think it'll be boring. Uh, it's midnight. Can we watch you sleep? <laughs> I, 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 I would never be comfortable. What is that scream? Did you hear that? 
It sounds like I'm... Also, I don't like sleeping with clothes on, so... I don't... I think I'd have to stream it on a site that... rhymes with... Um... Hatter mate. Oh. It looks like I'm losing Wi-Fi connection. Alright, whatever. I think they're all fine. <laughs> Oh, do you, uh, I don't know, should I give a spoil? Well, I don't know if I should show it. I mean, it's not like that amazing of a thing. I moved the garden, though. Oh, wait, I can use this, like a torch. This is, I was moving these. Here's the garden. There's nothing planted yet, though. Yeah, I can't turn on my flashlight while I'm streaming. I don't know why. You can turn it on while you're recording. Put the chickens away. What? Yeah, my pants. I have the. Yes. Yeah, what? No, I'm not muted. I'm recording my pants. <laughs> she said she's not wearing pants, but she didn't like here. We're back. Oh my god, what happened in here? This looks kind of insane. What was that? Oh, that was a cat behind me. Okay. Well, let's be honest. If there were no ants in the garden, my ant videos would be getting, I mean, my garden videos would be getting like five views. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm only wearing pants because I'm recording. I don't record videos with pants on, usually. I just stream with pants on. <laughs> I don't, no, get out of the McDonald's. <laughs> the kitten keeps taking French fries. Okay. I'm fine. Imagine if I was like actually on drugs, the things I would do. Okay. So she found it immediately. Oh, I also have to pee like really bad, but I'm not gonna pee till I get these cables. I do not want to see Pam. <laughs> you aren't on, wow, you're all so nice. <laughs> he's manic normally. Well, you sound like my therapist now. Just kidding. I fired my therapist and didn't pay him. I never really thought about it, but like, there's no other industry aside from medicine and mental health where you pay even if they don't fix Like, if I bring my car to the mechanic and they can't fix it, they're not going to charge me. <clears throat> but if I go to therapy for a month and I feel worse, eh, they'll take my money. Um, I don't have any liquid cooler. I don't even have a... What were they saying? I don't have a... Some sort of cooler. Okay, so I think what I need to do is I need to go backwards. I need to, all right. USB 3, where are the USB cables going to be? Well, there's USBs here and here. So they're gonna come from, wait, what do they connect to? So the USBs go from the motherboard to, 
the power supply, right? I don't think I'm too far gone for therapy. I think I just found the wrong therapist. But it's like $75 an hour. I don't, I don't have that much money. <laughs> so I don't want to have to keep paying $75 an hour just to try and find the right therapist. So it should be coming from the power supply. power supply out again. I hope I don't, but... My old therapist has been half the time I was there talking about how I care for my insects. That's exactly what happened with me with the reptiles. Like, I, I was paying this person $40 for half an hour for her to ask me about my life. Like, no, that it, it's, it, it, I'll do that. I'll do, you can pay me $40 to ask me about my, I'm, 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 I'm it, it. I mean, it's a service. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay for mental support. I'm just saying it's funny how they can do absolutely nothing and you still owe the bill. Which the thing is, it's hard to prove that. But you can prove, like, I don't know. You failed to cure the cancer. You die. You still have to pay. How about you pay if they do their job and fix the case. <laughs> I'm sure there's some other industry where you pay for the chance to... Gambling, that's what it is. Medical bills are like gambling. <laughs> I want to actually... I, I want, I want... You know what, I just want a hug, that's it. My last therapist talked about her life and her problems. <laughs> I think she got the I think she I think she kind of reversed her profession. Yeah, I think some people are just paying for a friend with a therapist. I think I kind of did that. But friends apparently are free. There's, I have not overlooked a singular cord. I'm glad I wrote down this paper because otherwise I have no idea. I'm tired of doing this. <laughs> Therapy is good for people who like to talk about themselves and their feelings. Yeah, I'm not super open with therapists. I'm more open with live streams than therapists. Because, like, you're not here to make money off of me. In the Navy, my therapist threatened me with unfavorable diagnoses. What the hell? Yeah, I don't... I don't I don't know, man. I don't believe you're 22. What does that mean? Oh, 15 or 16. Not that you're going to compliment me and be like, you're like 28. <clears throat> he looks around my girlfriend's age. Nine. Uh, isn't BetterHelp, like, bad? I'm like, I don't know. What was it? All I remember is BetterHelp bad. You're doing CBT, which... Yeah, when my therapist told me about CBT, I actually, I was like, I'm sorry, did you just recommend cock and ball torture? She did not, in fact, recommend cock and ball torture. She was recommending cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, uh, it didn't work. I don't really understand it, honestly. <clears throat> I went like 10 sessions for CBT, and I still don't even understand what it is. I mean, I wouldn't be able to be a therapist. That sounds miserable. You want to nerd out and help with the computer? Look, I've almost done, all I need is to find cables. I can't find them.
So, from the power supply, there is this big chunky one, which we have not touched. There is these two, which go up. Did I write it down wrong? I truly don't feel like there's any more. Better help doesn't verify credentials. <clears throat> yeah, can someone explain what cognitive behavioral therapy is? Because A, it didn't work, and B, I still don't know what it is. Also, yeah, I don't like um, phone therapy. I'm much more inclined to lie over like telehealth. I'm a little more honest in person. Like, I purposely got a local therapist last time, but she didn't even do local, like, what's the, why do I need a local therapist if she's just gonna sit in her bedroom and ask me about how I feel and how that makes me feel? <clears throat> um, I'm just putting on thermal paste. <laughs> but I had to take it all apart because there's cat pee in it, don't ask. But I had to clean all the cat pee out. So you lie to us more. I don't think I lie on stream. I make stuff up just because it's funny. Like I, sometimes I tell like random stories that I, I like, I'm just curious what kind of things I can say on the spot. For the most part, it's anything I make up is just for, not to mislead you about myself. It's just because uh, it'll be for entertainment. The problem is I have a tendency to do that in person as well. I just start making stuff up just for the sake of conversation or for stories. But then people like catch like, it obviously contradicts other things. It's like, yeah, I'm not actually being serious. Me, I, was, I just reached for my phone in my pocket to use the flashlight. Guess what, you are the phone. Yeah, I was confused because I listened to Markiplier's podcast, Distractable, and it's sponsored by BetterHelp. I just wouldn't have expected him to be sponsored by them. They're meant to come up with... Oh, okay. did anyone explain what CBT is? Therapists are meant to come up with solutions, comfort, and allow people to talk openly. But a lot just ask how you feel and then charge a thousand. Apparently I have a Charlotte accent, like Charlotte, North Carolina, but I'm not from Charlotte. Um, I'm not sure if I'd be, I don't know. The stream kind of helped, it kind of doesn't. Like, I wouldn't have licked the dust off my fan if I wasn't streaming, but I also probably would have taken apart the power supply, which people recommended I don't do. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty distracted, but... Yeah, BetterHelp is the therapy service that was exposed for being terrible, I thought. Did short? No, I said Charlotte. See, did you just copy and paste the definition? CBT is a short form, short term form of behavioral treatment. It helps people problem solve. CBT reveals the relationship between beliefs thoughts and feelings. Yeah, that's basically what my therapist said and I didn't understand. My accent is sounding tired. Do I look tired? I feel like I'm just perpetually looking tired. <laughs> do I? I don't know. Should I do the Yandere dev, just the side profile? What is it? How is my profile? I guess I just gave all the resources necessary to like make a deep fake of me now. 
Don't do that. Oh yeah, I don't know what these screws are from. None of the screws match. All the motherboard screws are different. Um, I was born in Durham, North Carolina, and I lived there until 2020. And now I'm like closer to Raleigh. My Adam's apple is <laughs> okay. You look the same. <laughs> I'm about to laugh on control of me. I have such a bad habit of that. I'll just, someone will like start talking to me. Like, I'll be at Home Depot and someone just starts talking. And it's just, it's either boring or sad. I started, uh, like, I mentioned the guy that I was talking to in person. I, I had to go to his house to pick something up. I had never met him. And he was telling me about how he lost all of his money to a Bitcoin scam that he fell for from someone that he met at a porn convention who like seduced him and got him to give her all his money for the Bitcoin scam. And I said, that's cool. And I started laughing and he was so angry, it was so awkward, but it was funny. It's a funny, st he, apparently he wasn't telling me because it was funny. He was telling me because now he's poor. But what was I supposed to do, cry? It was funny. Uh, it's because I accidentally shipped a package to his house and I went to pick it up. He, by the end, he liked me, I guess. Like, he was, he was the guy that asked me for weed because apparently I look like a stoner. What do you mean I'm out of touch? I think that it's not even normal conversation. Yeah, the thing is like, if one of you told me that in chat, I would be laughing. I do exactly what I do on a live, exactly how I act on stream is how I act at, like at Home Depot, pretty much. And I just, I say nothing, but then once someone starts talking, I just say everything. <clears throat> he said, no, it is not cool. And it's not funny. I don't <laughs> It's like when a little toddler does something cute and you start laughing at them and they're like, it's not funny, stop laughing and you laugh harder. That's what I was doing to this poor 50-year-old man. I told him my YouTube channel, I hope he's not watching this. <sighs> Should I just see if it turns on? May, I maybe I'm starting to wonder if I just wrote down this wrong because I can't find any more words. According, oh shoot, oh that's fine. <clears throat> so if a toddler starts biting your ankle, can you kick them? I've run into that problem with kids. For some reason, children have a tendency to grab my butt in public. Like it's the fact that it's happened more than once makes me really confused. But it's not like I can like smack him across the face. And it's like, where are your parents? And why is your hand on me? Is it like maybe it's at like arm length? Like they're trying to reach for? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um. Uh, I built it kind of. I mean, it started years ago as this pre-built, but I kept changing the parts. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so small. They're wondering where it went. <laughs> they're doing me a favor. They're just making sure it's still there. Well, I'm not okay. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna slap a kid after. I'm not gonna slap a kid as because that would be if if a kid does something I don't like and then I slap them. That's like a punishment. I can't punish someone else's kid, but. Like, when I used to work with kids more when I was a kid, like, yeah, I'd be six years older than them, but I was the same size as them. And so if a kid got upset and started to try to hurt me, I had to physically use force because, like, let's say I'm 15 and the kid's 11. He's very easily, possibly as strong as I am. Um, so I ran into that problem when I was working with, like, these special needs kids and one kid started beating me up, I had to physically start, like I had to, I ended up kind of hurting him 
because I was getting hurt and I wasn't trained on how to work with them. So, where does this go to? Um, but that kid was insane. What will I be doing in 20 years? Um, I don't, I, I wholeheartedly do not think more than three years in advance. I don't know if I'll be alive in 20 years. It's not that I think I'll be dead, it's just I don't know. I, I literally, I've, I've truly never thought about what I'll be doing in 20 years. <clears throat> Where did this go? Oh, this is for the graphics card. <clears throat> Two dollars from Michigan. Dab on camera. No. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> they, look, I have a limit. I will lick all the dust you want, but I ain't dabbing on camera, Michigan. <clears throat> Kids get a timeout for gun violence, but if you lay a finger on them, you get the death penalty. Wasn't that a technique that some countries used? Like they, like the U.S. had troops, and then they sent out like four-year-olds with like full. Two dollars from Michigan, please. No. Stop. Get some help, Michigan. I'm not doing it. Like, I kind of like, um... Like, I've seen police videos of, let's say, a 20-year-old pulls a gun on a cop. The cop shoots the person. A 18-year-old. Cop shoots the person. 16-year-old. Cop shoots the person. 15? They kind of have to. But when it gets down to, like, 13, 11, 7, what do you do? Like, how do you morally... Because it's not the child's fault that they have a firearm in their hand. You don't want to die. Like, I don't know what I would do if a child... I, I don't think I'd ever be in the situation where a child pulls a weapon on me. But if a child pulls a weapon on me and I have no less than lethal force on me, what do I do? I don't... Like, if the kid's actually... Let's say he thinks it's a Nerf gun, but it's a Glock 19 and it's loaded. What do I do? He's pointing it at me and I can't get away. I don't know what I, I think I would just die. I don't think I'd be able to defend myself. I think the kid would actually just lay me down. <clears throat> oh, it was Middle East. I guess I could have guessed that. I shouldn't have said that. Kid, I Two dollars from Michigan. Dabbing will be my help. Your help? What? Thanks for the super chat. Your help for what? Dabbing will be my help. Your help with a computer? Ohio cop shot a 12 year old with a fake gun. Because the thing is, a 12 year old is perfectly capable of controlling a gun. My stepdad fought in Afghanistan, okay, who can answer that? I would be scared to ask a vet of like that severity something. <laughs> like I don't want to actually give them a flashback. I mean I still actively walk past children who are larger than I am. Take a pic- no I mean if the kid's about to shoot you. Like let's say the kid is mistaken and thinks he has a Nerf gun in his hand but it's actually a real gun. And he says I'm gonna shoot you and his finger enters the trigger and he's going do 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 do. Like what do you do? Oh they strap bombs to kids and send them to American troops. Alright that's uh, pretty um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you told me to get help. Oh yeah, I remember at my pediatric hospital, I always remember looking at this chart and it's like, blank kids die every blank from un, uh, like, firearms that are not locked. And I was like, always, oh, ooh, that's so scary. I didn't realize that there was actually a firearm unlocked at home, which is kind of funny. If I found it, I'd hope they would have played with it.
7 to 12, well, it makes sense to use self-defense. Well, I don't mean from like a, a, like a legal perspective. I just mean... Like, I, like... I can't hurt a 7-year-old. I think I'd rather get shot and try to... Um, and try to survive versus having to live with the thought that I had to hurt a seven-year-old. Unless he's like really ugly or something. Okay, getting the easy chords. I kind of like the easy chords for the end. Uh, my feet are fine now. Thank you for asking. Well, you can survive a gunshot. I just gotta hope he doesn't hit an artery. No, nah, people survive gunshots every day. Go on the channel police activity, read the descriptions of all the shootings. Half the people survive. Which, yeah, half isn't that high of a chance, but... Um... <clears throat> I mean, if the kid shoots me once with a 9mm round... As long as it's not in the head... There's probably like a 50% chance I'll live. I don't know the actual statistic. Okay, I think that's in. Oh, I gotta put the fan on top. So this fan will go in, suck inward, I guess. Wait, is it plugged in? Why are the fans unplugged? Oh, wait, is it? No, maybe that's right. Even most adults can't hit someone more than 10 yards away. So if you see a child playing with a gun, just run. I guess I was meant like you're back to like, you're right there, the child's right here. Let's play with Nerf guns. And it's like you have five seconds to decide what to do. <clears throat> it was, I was anxious about um, the shooting test on the CCW. I was like, oh no, did I not like practice enough? It was like, <laughs> You were like two feet away from the target. <laughs> like some of the people shot so bad and they still passed. It was the worst, like it was actually like, <laughs> like it, I don't think you can physically lose that test. <clears throat> um, I, don't, I mean, if I get shot in the leg, I think I'd bleed out. If I could choose where to get shot, unless, like, aside from, like, my foot, I think I'd pick, like, like, the center of my stomach, probably. Avoid my heart, avoid my lungs. Um, I mean, it would be the worst pain I've ever experienced, and I'd probably wish I died from the pain. Like, obviously, aside from, like, my kneecap or my foot or something, or my hand. But, like, if I get shot in the thigh, I think I'm a goner. Honestly, one screw holds these pretty well. Why are there even four screw holes? Like, look at this. One screw. It's on so strong. Bleeding. Oh, yeah, I guess I... Well, I don't want to get shot in my head. But, yeah, I guess I could, like, hold my artery.
There's no way that. Wait, USB three. Hold on. I don't have USB three. Maybe that one's supposed to be. That doesn't make sense. So let's see, J USB 3. What is this one? Does anyone know what this one is? Oh, I thought you could like pinch your artery. Is that just like not real? Patreon pledge. Are they even. I never know if the people that pledge via Patreon are actually watching the stream. So, Josie, are you here? Or you just happen, they might just be watching a video and just like, oh, I'll join Patreon. I would be, I don't know if I work at a shooting range. There's just so many wild people there. front panel stuff. Oh. Should I just see if it works after putting the graphics card in? I'll just put the graphics card in now. Oh my god. I've been streaming for five and a half hours. I'm sorry, what? The last time I looked it said an hour and a... How have I been streaming for five and a half hours? I'm so confused. I thought it was legitimately like just past two hours. What have I been doing for five and a half hours? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> There's no way. Is that right? Oh, well, I guess I need the power button. Where is that cord? Graphics card in. You won't be able to turn it on. Um, my phone is plugged in to the wall. Front panel connector should come out of the top right. Oh, wait. There was a cord up there, wasn't there? Because it'll be over here, like it'll be from this. Well, it's going to the bag. Hold on, I think. I'm gonna try and follow it down. Oh wait, that's the HD audio. No, it doesn't like happy anymore. See ya, Helmer. Time, f <laughs> I don't know the context. I just thought time flies when you're shooting children. <laughs> I, I, I'll take your word for it, I guess. The audio. It should be one thick cable.
Um, okay, so see there's um, there's this round one, which goes up to the audio ones, and then by the button, oh wait, is it this? It's the flat one, I think. Where does the flat one go? I wonder if it's stuck behind, oh wait. The flat one goes in there. Okay, the flat one is plugged in. And then this white one is here. The white one goes into the NZXT control hub. Thing. Two dollars from Ashley Paul Cell. I hope you can fix it. Skeptical. <laughs> Wait, that's an actual. That's the skeptical face. I've never thought of that as skeptical. Thank you, Ashley. Um, I mean, I know I'm not gonna pay for it to be fixed. At least Ashley has a little more faith in me. At least she thinks there's some hope. I might just plug it in. Two dollars from Michigan. Hope you can dab confused face. Confused face. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, Michigan. Got a lot more super chats to go for a dab, aka infinite. Okay, well, no, no power. They should have a tag that says front panel. There were some on the back that said USB. <laughs> the Dragoran, I'm not going to immediately decline your offer. Because I would rather drive to Northern Virginia than go to Geek Squad. But I think I can do it. I'm going to just keep streaming until I figure it out. But I appreciate that. <clears throat> and be careful what you offer me because I accept a lot of the offers that people say. Um, I, let's see if that, yeah, Roxanne asked if this is plugged in. There, there's so many cords coming out of it. Look at this. The answer is I don't know. I hope there's not something behind the motherboard. So I think all these, I don't know what you can see, but I think all these go into this. Oh wait, power. <clears throat> I think it goes straight into the power supply. But that doesn't mean it's controlling the motherboard. So USB fan. So here's the USB. That one's plugged in. And then we've got LED, that goes into that, and then fan, fan, fan. Yeah, I think it's all plugged in there. Yeah, I mean, I'm all done doing what I need to do, like, inside it. Now I just gotta make it turn back on. 640k subs, nice. Well, I've gone down, let's be honest. I was at 642. See a Dragorian. I 
I don't need to finish undistracted. All of them, oh, don't look at the screws. It's just, I, ha I took all the screws out and then I dumped all the screws I had extra just in a pile. I'm not gonna use most of them. Each fan is being held on with one screw and it's fine. Okay, I really need to pee. I was gonna hold my pee till I finished, but I think I'd actually get a UTI, so I'll be right back. My feet hurt. I hope, yeah, I, I did meet, right? I didn't close the door, so I want to make sure you didn't hear me peeing. One scooper fan is not gonna hold them long term. Honestly, it's nearing the t like if I had the money, I would just get a new PC by now. <clears throat> this one, this one is getting a little bit old. Most of the parts are over five years old, which is fine, but they weren't like amazing parts to begin with. One dollar from Genesis Rail. Thank you, Genesis. I appreciate that. I don't know why I'm developing a southern accent. But I might just be getting a little tired. <clears throat> one donger is plenty of donger. Nobody needs more than one donger. I just need one working computer, and I mean that honestly. Like, I could just use my laptop for tonight. Can someone tell me how many views the video has? Because I can't check. Touching this. Oh, I've heard that. Touching a screwdriver. Well, I don't want to do that every time. Like, I, I, I was trying to turn it on just to see if I was done or not. Like, I don't really need the computer right now. I don't think I have any back acne. No, it feels pretty smooth. 77 views. Oh wait, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it has 9,800. Now, if I do something later, I do it never. I have to do it now. I definitely got that from my dad. Like, he can't sleep until something's done. 12,000. All right. You look like you have back acne. I don't have back acne. You're just trying to make me show you my back. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just feeling myself. Besides, if I could, pay, if I could move my face acne to my back, I would. <clears throat> I 
And there's only four things coming from here. It's sound, USBs, and whatever this is. I guess the power button? Sound, USBs, power. And so the sound is plugged in, the USBs are plugged in, and the power goes in to this. This USB is plugged into the computer. The LEDs go to the LEDs, and then those go to the fans. Is my power supply plugged in? Yeah. I guess. I licked it. I'm at that point where I don't really know what to check. <laughs> Stop talking about discharging. I don't know what that is. Do I rotate the dingle hoppers? So this is plugged in. It's the, this is the kind of thing where I'm like, why was I streaming this? Why did 80 people have to watch me? I plugged the F panel into the USBs. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it coming on? It's not coming on though. If you think it's over, I still don't have a screen. Because it just flashed, but that was just it going into power saving mode. I 
I'm telling student loan forgiveness. Um, well, you better give me my mortgage back. If you sign up for a loan, you should probably pay for the loan. <sighs> I don't know. You said one intake fan, and it's the wrong direction. <laughs> I don't know, man. This one's blowing out. This one's sucking. I don't know why that one's even there. There's nothing. There's... <sighs> I, who cares? I can change the fans around later. I, it's not turning on though. Um, but, okay, so. Pull from the front and blow out the pack. Well, but I don't have any, there's no ventilation in the front. It's a solid block. Right now it's going like that. <clears throat> yeah, the G GPU plugged into the, yeah, that's what this is. Oh wait, let me um, plug it into the motherboard. to try it. It went into power saving mode again. You have all PSU connectors according to the motherboard specs in manual. I throw away the manual before I even open it. I can't read manuals. Make sure it's oh yeah it's plugged in because otherwise the power saving mode wouldn't have showed up shown up there should be lights on the motherboard i don't think my motherboard is that fancy oh my god there is easy debug light mode who said that i've had this, this gamma prism i've had this motherboard for what seven years Look, it, it has a light. I don't know what the hell it says. I also don't know what motherboard it is. Well, I can't check anything online because I only have my phone and I'm streaming and that's more important. So, uh, all right, can someone Google M it's the MSI MPG or MP6 MPG. Uh, MSI MP something X570 Gaming Edge Wi Fi and the debug is the second light from the top. Knock over my French fries. You need to reset your RAM. Oh, check my RAM slots. I'll do that. How do I do that? They're lighting up. I'm literally, why did the view count just jump up to 100? <clears throat> Take one RAM out and then try, like, leave it out. Well, I did touch, because people were saying, stop touching the pins, and I started rubbing my fingers all over the pins to prove a point. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, it's not a Dell. <laughs> the the debug light is still on. Oh, I 
every other slot. Oh. Yeah, that was. I didn't have it like that for a while. I mean, I have one in every slot right now. But which one does it start at? See in Michigan. Switch the side the RAM is on, then check your SATA cables. Can't recognize a storage device. <clears throat> Dedicated the mount. One dollar from Genesis Rail. <laughs> Thank you, Genesis. You said one and three or two and four, but I don't know. Like my old motherboard had like colors. It was like the red was the priority or something. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just start. Let's use the color gram, I guess. Click. Debug light is still on. Uh, it's booting off SSD. <clears throat> Enter. Wait. Yeah, it's, it's the second light from the top. Dude, if I answer an abort, you think I'm answering an abortion question on the stream? Well, I do that before I dab. No signal entering power saving mode. <clears throat> the motherboard manufacturer, but it was working five hours ago. So it says boot VGA. My sight is not good enough for this. Oh my god, my back just seized. I am so old. I just said my sight's getting bad and my back just like seized up when I... I'm not gonna make it to 40. Yeah, you're right. I didn't believe you. It's, it's a RAM problem. It's not VGA, it's the DRAM light. I'll probably look similar for like I think I'll just look wrinkly and I don't know, my dad's not that that wrinkly. Well, let me try the other slots, I guess, with the other RAM.
Light's still on. Have you tried changing the CPU? Uh, no. I haven't changed a part in like four years. Let's see a King of Wingo. Pull button cell battery from board. Is that safe to do? I don't know what you mean by short, it's contact. Am I libertarian because I like the snake in the flag? <laughs> oh, I just almost fell over, I'm tired. Turn it off and replace. Um, I mean, three years ago, I changed the, uh, the thermal paste. That's all I've done. Prior to that, it was probably five years. How would I brick the motherboard? I haven't done anything, right? What do you mean replace? Do you just mean put it back? I don't have another one. But why would the RAM light be on? <clears throat> Check your card and make sure it's seated. Well, I tried, do you mean the graphics card? Because I tried to use the, the built-in graphics as well. It's definitely whatever the debug light is. I mean, I've never seen that on before. If you short a compactor, you can, what's a compactor? I wish I could Google these things, but guess what? I don't have a computer. Oh wait, do I? I feel like I might have one of these. It looks kind of like the, Oh, let me go check. I'll be right back. Taking out the RAM, use a swab and clean the connection pins. Okay. Ryzen doesn't have motherboard graphics? Yeah, it does. I used um, this motherboard. Wait, what? But I used to use, but when I was a little dumb idiot, I, I just plugged it in here. Cause I didn't know that you're supposed to use the graphics card plug. And the computer still worked. It normally takes a second, but not this long. Okay, well, why would... So I should rub alcohol on these? I hate motherboards are my least favorite part of a computer. I understand them the least. 
I guess that's why we hate things that we don't understand. I'm sleepy. This might turn into an involuntary sleep stream if I sit down for too long. This feels cursed doing this. Why is it like, it's a weird shape. Oh wait, can you boot with just one ram stick? them all down, let them dry, and then boot one at a time. Or wait, no, I just need to try two, right? Unless two got destroyed somehow. If you aren't broke and too busy. <clears throat> I mean, if I actually have computer troubles in the future, I'll just ask viewers. Like, I'll pay you, but I'd, I'd honestly trust a viewer more than some guy at Best Buy. Like, I would drive to Virginia and pay someone to fix it. I, I don't think it's going to be this bad this time. I truly just was planning, literally all I, all the stream was, this stream was supposed to be one hour of me changing my thermal paste and then switching the stream over to the computer and then doing the original planned live stream. But then I discovered the cat pee, and then I, there was like a lot of nasty stuff. You went out, caught fish, took a shower, and now you're in bed. And I've just been sitting here. I haven't gone fishing in so long. Booting up with one. Yeah, I'll just I'll just try and boot with one at a time. Watch just three be destroyed. I don't even know what Ram does. They just ooh, pretty color. <laughs> which which slot should I do? Oh goddamn it! I put it on upside down. No, it was right. Wait, does it click on the top too? I was only clicking it on the bottom part. It's probably not gonna work. It, there's no way it was that easy. Ooh, it got really quiet. Like the fan, it sounds like the fans have more control now. The fans sound different, what does that mean? So the debug light is still on. Oh my God, it changed. The debug light changed. Oh, it changed again. Why is the debug light changing? Did you see that? Oh, oh my God. Why is it on, what does this mean? Why is it on the boot thing? What, what is happening? Devices or CMOS have been cleared. Enter setup. What the hell are you? Are you shitting me? Did, I wasn't plugging them in all the way. Do you know how many times I've plugged these on? It's because I wasn't clicking them hard enough. Oh my god. Why did it just buzz? What the hell does this mean? Anytime there's text in that font, I just automatically know I'm not going to be able to understand what it's saying. Why is it buzzing? It sounds like there's a B inside. Plug in the motherboard? I haven't plugged into... 
Wait, what? Oh, because I took the battery out. I didn't even have to. <laughs> I didn't plug in the RAM. Well, let me just, should I plug in all the RAM first? I, th I should probably put all the RAM in this time. Oh, I don't have my keyboard plugged in and everything. Should I do the RAM before or after? Oh, the fans are gonna rattle because I only used one screw each. <laughs> this one is still just zipped. <laughs> I'm not here to deal with the fans. Frick the fans. Turn PC off before RAM. All right, I'll just set it up first and then I'll do the RAM. Sorry, you're sick, Mr. Teaspoon. I'm like, why is the floor all wet? Oh my god, I've been stepping in ketchup this whole time. <laughs> I stepped in the ketchup and I'm just tracking it around the carpet. <laughs> what is happening? Hold on. Why does everything always go wrong for me? It's been six hours. Oh. Frick, my feet are members only, I forgot. It's too late now. Huh? Oh yeah, do you remember? I forgot that we opened um, Pokemon cards from our McDonald's Happy Meal. Should I give these away? Maybe I'll do like a Pokemon card member giveaway. Actually, that'd be kind of fun, because I could just mail them in envelopes for like 25 cents. Here, become a member and join the Discord server and I'll give away the Pokemon cards. <clears throat> and I'll sign them if you want. Uh, I don't know why someone want my signature, but for some... People request my signature for some reason. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I got it now. I think we're all good. But yeah, just click join if you want Pokemon cards. Chance to win, of course. No purchase nest. Wait, this, wait, this, that's sweepstakes. Never mind. I think that's illegal. I can't do sweepstakes. Oh, that was fast. Chuckle, chuckle nuts. I'm here to receive my Pokemon sign card. Oh, I gotta figure out how to give them away. But I shouldn't sign them because it'll destroy the um the value. <clears throat> okay. Oh, where's my cord? I feel like I remember just just join the Discord server and I'll just I'll figure out how to give them away in there. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense. I'll I'll sign a clear sleeve. Okay, press F one to run setup. Um. I don't, my keyboard doesn't have that one. I think it's menu. Oh, this looks scary. Oh, well, why does it matter if I install the RAM? Can't I just plug it in after?
Is this fine? I don't know what this means. Find exit. Now you can shut down. Alice, oh. Okay, so the problem was, don't laugh, Alice, but I installed the front panel cable into the USB cable, but it still wouldn't boot up on screen because I, um, I didn't push the RAM in far enough. And where, where the boot? Because I took out the little button battery. Save, quit, then shut down. You know, you're asking a lot, because I all I have is a keyboard. I don't even have any arrows on this keyboard, and I don't know how to navigate this. Can I use my mouse? Oh, I can't use my mouse. For some reason, I thought that BIOS you can only use. Ooh, that is laggy. You have not made any change <laughs> in the BIOS settings. You know, this is so much better than Googling. I'm, I'm unironically grateful that I can just have 87 people telling me what to do. Because it's a cool motherboard. That's why it has its own operating system. Do I just click OK? Click AXMP1. Ow. Oh, God, I just tripped on that. And save quit. Oh, OK. That? I don't know what that does. I only have, I thought I had 64 gigs of RAM, I only have, wait. Okay, my RAM does match, I thought, I thought it was uneven for a second. I don't see save. I see X. Are you, sure? Are you sure I should have AXMP? Click the X in the corner. Yeah, but, oh wait. Why is it not turning on? It doesn't usually take this long. Hey, there it is. Maybe because I only have one RAM stick. Oh, why'd it go away? I don't want to shut it down until it comes back on. Wait, is it just going in a circle? What is it doing? I feel like working on like PCs professionally would get boring. Hey, look at that. All right. Simply because probably 90% of the jobs are the same. Like, I feel like you get stay, like you probably want difficult jobs to come in just so that you like mix it up and get to like use your brain. But it's probably all just smooth brains like me that didn't plug their RAM in a little bit. And you're like, man, like, I don't know. It's like, ooh, uh, some, what was that? There. Oh yeah, so I always get this error every time I boot up. Wait, it disappeared.
So what does this mean? There was a problem starting system 32. It, it, it just, it always says that. I always just ignore it. Because <clears throat> isn't system 32 the thing that like people tell you to uninstall and it breaks your PC? Get a fresh OS install. I think I'll just make this computer last me, and then my, I think my goal will be next year um, to just start fresh. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that's a stupid thing. Like I don't want a new case. We'll see. Okay. I guess just the idea of starting fresh is nice, but it might be a waste of money. My goal is to pay off like all my debts, um, like get all my credit cards to zero, get uh, the car loan, and then work on the. And then I like to get the the solar, but it'll take a while. I'm trying to just like not spend anything else. <clears throat> and then maybe a new computer. Well, I could always sell my laptop. Oh wait, it's broken. I forgot. Maybe if I fix my laptop. I don't use it that much. Like, I only use it when I travel, which is like every eight months. Okay, so what I was doing was this. What I wasn't doing was that. My computer, I mean, I started working on this computer in 2015, but since 2015, I've changed every part. So it's it's been like just an Apple, oh, I just installed it with it, like turned on. I don't know if that matters. So I've been working, yeah, I haven't started, it, it would be um, seven years since I started fresh, basically. Or wait, 16, 17, 18. No, nine years? How long ago was 2015? Seven? I think Macs are very um, attractive. Like, just literally, a MacBook Pro looks nice. I had a MacBook Air, like, when I was in school. It was nice. It's, I mean, it's still light. You can just throw it around. Oh, wait, it, it cleared my um, bias again. Oh, no, I'm scratching my mosquito bites. That's weird. Oh, I need my military grade itch cream. You've been watching for six hours. I recognize your name from comments. I'm not sure if I've seen you on the stream before. Why didn't it save though? <clears throat> I'm gonna get my itch cream. I hate that I have to say that. So someone in the comments said that using cortisone every day is not good for you? 
Is that true? I use Benadryl now, like topical. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used cortisone every day for like years, and then it just stopped working. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like I just heard a person. That's what. No, my neighbors go to sleep early. I don't know who would be up at one thirty. Probably another domestic dispute. All right. Let's make sure it's all working. I think we're good, boys and girls. I think after six hours, 16 minutes, and help from a solid like 15 core people, we uh, we changed the thermal paste on the computer. <laughs> That's it. That's all we did. We wiped up some cat pee pee, and we changed some thermal paste. I gotta. What do these even do? Do I even need these? See you, Genesis. Thank you for, wait, was it you or Gamma? I mi I mixed up Gamma and Genesis, I don't remember who's who. But either way, thanks for joining. If I just needed like a simple lap, if I like had a bunch of extra money and needed a laptop, then yeah, like sure, I'd, I guess I'd get a MacBook, I don't know. I just feel like I can't do that much on it. Those little things are so pitiful. Yeah, always parks left over. Or yeah, I know they're for Wi-Fi, but do I actually need those? Like, I don't know. It seems like it works without. All right. So should I, do you want to like, should I keep streaming while I clean up my office? Or is this it? I don't know. I'm too tired to do a second stream. So we'll have to wait on the planned stream. Yeah, I, so ethernet, I don't think works. I used to have an ethernet cable. Alice, if Alice is here and she has an Ethernet cable, I could try hers. But I tried it before, it just doesn't re... Like, okay, how do you plug it? Like, what do you do to use Ethernet? There's a plug here, I stick it in, and then I stick it in the Wi-Fi thing. Then what do I do? Is that it? Because when I do that, nothing happens. It just still connects to Wi-Fi. Because... Like... Thanks for joining. See you in the Discord if you uh, wish to join. Um, just go to Discord, go to your user settings, click connections, and then log into YouTube, and I'll see you there. I don't have a streaming schedule. It's about every two days, generally after 6 p.m. So, like, the... Um, You know, like the little Wi-Fi? Because I want to use Ethernet really badly. There's a little Wi-Fi thing. Shouldn't that change to Ethernet? Because that's what Alice's does. But mine doesn't. Hmm. Do we, I don't think I have an Ethernet cable. I might order one. Are they cheap? Or I could get one, like, at Best Buy, I guess. Um, two Ethernet ports. I hit the stupid Bixby button. I was just plugging into this one. I think that's it. Wait, what's this? I don't know what that is. Cat 6 Ethernet. Okay, well, Home Depot opens in a few hours. 
Eh, I'll see how long I stream. Who knows? If I'm still streaming at 6, I'll bring you to Home Depot with me. Yeah, Home Depot has some... Ch I needed a new USB. I was like... And when I looked up Home Depot, the best prices. Okay. Uh, I want a soda. I'm gonna go get a drink. Uh, wait, I can just bring you with me. I forgot. Well, I have um, Best Buy rewards points, so I might go to Best Buy. Oh, well, I can show you. So it would need to run from here. Wait, wait, wait. would it just be like in, like on the floor? And then do 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 And then behind the couch, do 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 which is destroyed by cats. And then right here with my horde of smart home stuff. So um, it doesn't need to. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, this is an Ethernet cable. This is for the Philips Hue. Ooh, the, the um, acoustics are really good right here, next to the couch and the carpet. I want a carpet in my room. Pinned to the wall. Okay. How's this a fire hazard? What are you talking about? It's fine. Looks better than when I had a bunch of reptiles everywhere. To the fridge. I don't know what's in my fridge. Yeah, I only need like 25 feet or something. I'm cleaning the fridge right now, so it's not perfect. I don't know why I'm showing this. Oh, I'm also on a lemonade. I bought this two days ago. <sighs> Alice bought me a Mountain Dew for some reason. Whatever. Oh, I just hit you. Oh, I need to wipe it down as well. <laughs> yeah, there's um ten dozen eggs in there. <laughs> I've been eating an av I eat like six every other day. I don't know. If I keep streaming I need I'm hungry, maybe I'll cook some eggs. I was thinking of do, recording a cooking video today, but I didn't get to it. But I need Alice for that. And there's eggs in the coop right now. So there's like ten and a half dozen. W but what am I going to do with the extra 70 feet? And why was this already open? The the seal wasn't cracked. I'm gonna assume Alice opened it. Or I'm gonna get some like herpes and AIDS from sheets. Your son's favorite drink. I don't know what I would. Your son... Is your son okay? Oh, it's so strong. I almost like it. I don't know. I don't know what I like. <clears throat> I think my parents are pretty good with like my soda. I don't know. It just got out of hand once I was like of age to buy my own soda. Like I was allowed to have one soda per week, so I'd have it on Friday. I'd have a Dr. Pippa starting at age like 11, 10, 12. Um, and then I was like, you know what? A second one each week wouldn't hurt. So I'd have one on Friday and then another day of the week. And then I was like, you know, I think one a day is good. And then I was like, oh, maybe two a day, maybe three a day. And then I was like, it's six a day. So, and that's the story of why all my teeth are broken. Oh, shit. Can someone in the chat tell everyone to refresh?
Okay, it's back. Argument. Are you arguing about computers? Are you arguing about the length of an Ethernet cable? Is that really the best argument you can come up with? Just cleaning in front of each other. How depressing. Okay, now I'm just gonna clear everything kind of. So I can have my desk back and then work backwards. Oh. And I'm still stepping on ketchup. riveting IRL streamer. <laughs> oh shoot, I threw away the bag. I'm so stupid. I just, I saw a bag and I threw it away. It was my screw bag. Because the Wi-Fi in the house just went out. That's why it froze. I only have two bars of cell This happens almost every day. The Wi-Fi goes out for a few hours a day. I'm always lucky that it doesn't happen during streams. So I want to send people like gifts every so often that's like members and patrons. Like nothing expensive, just like a little envelope with something, like the Pokemon card. Well, once the Wi-Fi comes back on, I'll switch back over to Wi-Fi. Wait, 
Like, is there a... Is there a collectible movie? Like, because I could buy another pack of Pokemon cards and just, like, send everyone a Pokemon card with, like, a sign. are super quiet. I wonder if it's because it's because of the new thermal paste or something. Ooh, I just knocked over my mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> that would be funny if I wrote it on like a valuable card. We're halfway done, everyone. I don't even know what you're arguing about. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out. so I can wipe it down. Should I make um, egg salad or scrambled eggs? Or I could try a different kind of egg, I don't know. Sunny sign up. I'm not sure what that is. Poach an egg. I don't know what these mean. Buttered egg. I don't know what that is. I, don't know, I kinda want scrambled eggs. What do you put in your egg salad? Because I just put mustard and um mayo. I'm lit. It's Travis Scott saying I'm lit. Why would you call yourself a lit? <clears throat> I'm gonna wipe this down. It's gross. Wait, this is damaged. 
I wonder how this got damaged. Isn't it tempered glass? Shouldn't it have shattered? Like, this house isn't even big, it's just such a long walk to the kitchen. Ooh, I could, I'm gonna make some bacon too. It's so much quieter. Imagine if everyone just constantly had a hundred people just giving them advice on every waking moment of their lives. Would that make your life better or worse? And you like can't turn off their opinions. They're just like in your face all the time. I kind of like it. Like, not all the time, but... Pickle game. Drastically worse, so Twitter, basically. I'm gonna shut it down so I can move it. Safely. Oh, it's still plugged in. See, still no internet. Four dollars and ninety nine cents from Zephyr. GG Alex, it's past my bedtime, but you got the PC working, so you should be good. Yeah. Bye, E E E E. Thank you, Zephyr. Thanks for the help as well. I appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat, too. And I'm a little envious because I'm a bit tired. I don't know if I'll still be up when the Home Depot opens. We'll find out. I kind of want to make one of those eggs that's just like you just crack it and just let it sit there. 
I don't know what it's called. <clears throat> I'll do one of those and then I'll make scrambled. It's into trouble sometimes, but he's been fine. Oh yeah, here's the all the eggs. <laughs> At least they last a while. Yeah, we're gonna make a salad instead. Wait, did Alice eat all the cucumbers? <laughs> I need a cucumber for my salad. Very high protein. It's mostly uh, eggs, meat, and dairy. I don't. I hate frozen food. I can't eat. I mean, obviously, I eat frozen food at restaurants like cookout, McDonald's. But um, food like pizza rolls. It's just I can like taste the preservative. I don't know. It's too gross. some of okay it's not very clean in here I built this I'm kind of proud of it I stripped out the whole um what's it called I stripped out all the pantry and I put like some hooks up there for the pots and I put some little shelves I made a soda dispenser so but um and then I put these up here Why so much ranch? Well, I've, wait, you can see all my ranch. I use about a third of a bottle each time. It's very like, it's kind of like a fat person salad. Like it's a very unhealthy salad. And not unhealthy, but like, like I need the calories. Oh wait, I need, all right. Bacon in the air fryer.
I always do the float test because I don't. I kind of mix up the eggs, so if, if it floats, it's bad. Are there any mods here? Or are we out of mods? vinegar and, and salt in the water. Apparently it stops it from cracking and easier to um, peel. I don't know if that's propane stove. It's, it's fine. Electric is much easier to clean. I don't know. I electrics are nice. This one's broken. Let's see, it like hardly lights up. I think I'm running a little better at cooking.
I'd be willing to teach you. Oh, actually, that would be pretty cool to get some. I could use one of your recipes, like on like on a another cooking video, like episode two. Feel free to email me, whatever. Alex at goherping.com. <clears throat> videos would do well if I become good at cooking. Okay, this is all the vegetables in my salad. Uh, I don't like carrots that much. I mean, once I have my own carrots, I'll eat them, but I don't like store-bought carrots. Um, maybe a cooking live stream. I prefer being able to edit them, though. Normally I pick cucumber though. Because I don't I don't like onion that much. It just it makes me smell. It makes, it's like I can't get the taste out of my mouth. I don't know. And then I use this for the bacon and the eggs. Okay, now don't make fun of my ranch. I'll just give it like another minute. All right, this sauce is actually really good. It's from a sticker company. Sticker mule. It's it's good stuff. Today I'm using this one though. or the water still isn't boiling. Okay, I, you, I don't know if this is a bad idea, but I always take the bacon grease. So that I, I don't have to like wash it so much. Well, the bottles are kind of low. I eat a lot of rack. I know you're not supposed to pour it down the drain, so. Because I used to just stick it straight in the dishwasher, which is probably bad. So I use the non-light ranch mostly, but I, I don't think I have enough. Should be enough? I never make enough. See a cheddar? Cook my eggs in the bacon grease. Oh, it's too late for that. Is that a thing? I'll, that sounds really good. You, wait, you can save the bacon grease? I could add so much. 
All right, that's tip number one acquired. I do red pepper, chipotle, and then hot sauce. That's Alice's combination. I'm a southerner without a bacon grease jar. All right, I'll, next time I make bacon, I'll do a bacon grease jar. Hey, Google. I can't reach oh, the internet for, right of now. Course. Check your modem or router connection and try again. Okay, we'll just watch the clock. I usually set a timer. Why can't Google make a timer without the internet? Kids these days. What's a carpet bagger? Um, I don't have a drone. I've never flown a drone. Animal fats are healthier than seed oil? What? <laughs> My internet bill. I did forget to one. I have a really, I'm so angry at Duke Energy. I have a I lost power for over a day when I first moved in because of Duke Energy screw up. I normally use scissors for this, but I don't feel like I'm gonna wash them. Yeah, so I, Jasmine, I used to do the like thing where you put it in water and then you leave it covered, but it's really hard to peel. So apparently if you put it in immediately, it like binds the proteins faster and um, it's way easier for me to peel. Even Michaela said. Yeah, cause that's what, cause my parents have always done this technique, but Alice does the technique that Michaela and Jasmine said. Um, but I, I just can't peel it if I do it the other way. I'm so bad at peeling eggs. Ramen, Alice's ramen eggs, they're, they're like so good. They're like soft boiled. I don't even like ramen, but I asked her to make the ramen just for the eggs. I guess I don't ask her for ramen, I just ask her for burgers. Is this cheese still good? It's kind of like... It says November 19, but it's like kind of melted. I've never been to Wisconsin. Random question generator. <laughs> I'm gonna boil them for like nine minutes. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, the cucumber, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's moldy. I'm guessing it got, I don't know. It smells fine.
I haven't cooked much of anything. This is the extent of what I do pretty much. Okay, so what I do while I wait for my eggs. I guess I always cook them in cold water. I always put everything in the dishwasher. What can't you put in a dishwasher? It's basically just a live action vlog. Like I just move the camera around and then just add music. I had a few 24 hour DoorDash restaurants. But the food would always smell like weed. Wait, non-stick pans? What's a non-stick pan? Are these non-stick? I always, I don't hand wash anything. I think hand washing is like a scam by water companies. <laughs> I don't know, I just hate hand washing. Taste test. Not spicy, ooh. No, it needs more. Um, hot sauce. Let's do the sticker meal sauce. Alice made me taste test things. I used to never taste test while cooking. I mean, I don't really cook. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, look at that color. <laughs> done with the eggs. There's some, I don't know if Alice wants me to show them, but I don't know why these are down here. I guess she was doing something to them. These are not finished. So, okay, let me guess. They need to be sanded, trimmed up, polished, and ink, I think. And these, I think these are done. And I, I know those are done. I think those are done. Okay, it's been eight minutes on the eggs. I think I'll do nine. I'm 
I don't know if these knives are any good. I got my mom a nice set. Cuisine. These are just cuisine art. What is this for? Steak? Alright, no, I think it's bread. I took a sushi class before. <clears throat> it was not very good. Like, my sushi was not very good. Alice hands make the dice. Hand makes the dice and sells them on Etsy. I don't. I think she changed. I don't know if she changed her Etsy or not. Her Instagram is Cantrip Arts. C A N T R I P A R T S. I don't know why I spelled the word arts. Can you show me which knife is the fillet knife? Well, a fillet like Chick Fil A, it's like you cut out the bones, right? Probably this. <clears throat> and then. This is steak knife, or not like steak, but like big meat. Wait, no. Oh, this one. It, I think it's a smooth one. Like I don't think it's ri rigid for the fillet knife. I know it's not this. And we have like the big boy knife. Well, all the knives are chef knives. Right? This one scares me to use. Like, if I can, I'm just gonna have a manic break and just chop my hand off. <clears throat> so, is it one of the razor or one of the like jagged ones? See, it's so much easier to peel now. Wait, which long and skinny? It has a curve. I don't know if I have one. This? That's all that's in that set. The rolling peeling method, I don't know what that is. There's always a little bit of shell, but whatever. A little calcium never hurt nobody. Really? Like this? Do I just crunch it all up? A little bit of shell.
Yeah, I guess I, we don't have to play that. <laughs> oh, I guess I kind of rolled it. Yeah, these are, why would I buy eggs? These are my chicken eggs. I haven't bought eggs in about a year, I guess. They even laid in the winter. I walk past that egg aisle and I'm like, frick you egg aisle, I don't need you no more. Well, I've got some more knives. This one, this one's cute. Oh, that's pretty good. That's what I was going for. I like this consistency. An egg machine. I don't want to... See, I don't want, like... I want as few gadgets as possible. I just... I can't stand owning stuff. It's kind of like... like I used to have a ton of cleaning supplies because I'm very, um, I mean, I'm a little bit obsessive when it comes to cleaning, but I downsized all my cleaning stuff. It's great, I clean it for that. But mostly I try to use things that are only multi-purpose. Peppers for an orange or yolk? I do not. I need to put pepper flakes in their food though to deter mice. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents from Dirt McGirt. Much love and respect to Alex and his chat. You guys are teaching me a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Dirt McGirt. That's very wholesome. Thanks for the ten dollars super chat or nine 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 super chat. I appreciate that. It's a good chat. It's it's. I don't know what I would ch like. I can't think of anything I would change about the chat on my streams, which I guess is just because. I guess. Wait, that's not, I was going to say opposites attract, but that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I guess I attract the crowd that I am, kind of. Egg machines are multi-purpose. Uh, I've never heard of it. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up probably. Like I like how multi-purpose the air fryer is. Try to clean up as I cook, so it's not as much afterwards. Dang, this looks pretty good. And the go herping salad is complete. I'm not carry all this. Uh, I live with my girlfriend. She's asleep right now. And she's the one that usually does the cooking. This is normally I'd get a cookout, I just don't feel like driving right now. Back we go to the den.
Maybe someday I'll have my own pigs. Probably not. I don't know if I could butcher a pig. I'm surprised my phone can stream for this long because it's an old phone and it feels really hot. Pigs are big and messy. Yeah. I definitely, I just, I have a lot of respect for animals that I have a separate space from. So like the reason I complain about the cats a lot is because they're always on top of me. Like they're on the bed, they're on the couch, they're on the table, they're on the countertop, they're in the room. Um, like when I first got the chickens, I instantly regretted it because they were chicks that were inside. I was like, I hate this. They were noisy and stinky. But once they were outside, I really liked them. So any future animals will have to be like, I need my own space. Like if the cats had a house outside, that would be like so much nicer. Ah. Just like their own little hut. <laughs> I'd go see them. I'd go chat with them. I mean, why did I say chat with them? I was reading chat. Go play with them or whatever. All right, let's try it out. It's pretty simple. It's got lettuce, bacon, egg, cheese, chipotle ranch, um, salt and pepper. I think YouTube's one of the best platforms to organically grow, especially for Anything people can learn from, like cooking. Ooh, it's really, <coughs> it's really spicy. It kind of takes a second, but it's really hot. I'm gonna put my computer. Watch it just not start up this time. Cooked for Clint Eastwood. I saw that comment. I don't, I'm trying to think who that is. I've heard that name before. <laughs> Kumarbot status eliminated. Ah, oh, yes, it feels nice having my computer back. Um, even if system to 32 can't start. <laughs> it's fine. Whoops. Okay, you ready for this? I'm playing royalty free music because I don't have <laughs> I don't have Wi-Fi still. The OP box cutter? Which one? The chance was in the garage. Here and 
the sword is, I think, in the closet. Look, I... Brussels sprouts. So, I love broccoli. It's my favorite vegetable. <clears throat> I don't want people to like it. I tr Brussels sprouts are so musty. Like, it's just nasty. It doesn't taste like food. Like, Alice used really good seasoning that she always does. Still bad. Yeah, she roasted them and everything. This is good. Thank you. I'm gonna never tell you that again. You're welcome. I don't know what I did. Oh, yell at you again. Am I messing with you? Oh, this is a mukbang. Do mukbangs have to be a lot of food? Because this is just a normal salad. I don't know why I'm... <clears throat> that sucks. I was wish to my computer if it was Wi-Fi. What's wrong with Grant? Oh, and eating. If me and Alice are on, like, like, if she's asleep, like, right now, I'd probably be watching, like, a re report of the week review. So I guess I'm doing the opposite. Because I normally watch review bright. <laughs> if it's not gross, I think it's interesting. There's a lot of weird, so I just have this big folder. It's just all of the royalty-free music I've compiled over the years. It's not actually that much, but I reuse a lot of songs. But a lot are just like one-offs. It's like aggressive, sudden, like just weird songs. This is really spicy. The lemon helps in the lemonade. Decrease the spice. I don't know, it's just eating in front of a camera. I thought it was like, has to be at least 10,000 calories. How many calories is this? I don't actually know, probably not enough. The eggs are really good. See, like this song? We probably all heard this song. <clears throat> Imagine being like an actual good musical artist and people just use your songs as like a three second shit post in a video and don't actually respect it. Kind of like the, the the song I used at the end of the last vlog. It's some like Latin, Spanish. It's like a pretty song, but I was just using it to make fun. <laughs> I wonder if that body hurt us at all. This is better than Chick fil A. Okay, I can't take it anymore. Um, the song, I can play it. Oh, 
was while I was admitting defeat and moving the chicken coop. probably gonna be biased but do you prefer watching my videos or my live streams recently I've been preferring to make the live streams if I could just do vlogs and live streams I'll be like peak YouTube era for me but I'm not sure if I can yeah but if I like if I was like, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing both, but what if I like just stopped doing one? Which one should I continue doing? I assume most would say videos, cause they're a little more polished and such. And that's what I'm better at. Cause I'm still very, what I, what makes me feel good is I feel like if I'm already this decent at live, like, I'm not trying to do my own horn, but I feel like I've got the basics to live streaming down, like with the quality, and I've got, I think I have pretty good production quality. And I think I'm good at interacting with chat and stuff. <clears throat> um, long form videos are unironically beautiful. The next long form, I can't, I'm trying to remember if I already blurred out my house in it. I'll pull it up and see. But the next one's like 40 minutes. <laughs> I can't get it to export. That's what the problem is. Yeah, all the streams except for two, you can still watch. We can't verify your subscription status. Why did I say status? Oh. Wait, what the hell? I need a Wi-Fi to use software on my computer? I hate Adobe so much. Um, what was I gonna say? <clears throat> How do I do this for up to eight hours? Um, I, I take it pretty easy. I don't really try to stay upbeat the whole time. I just act pretty normal. Like if I'm, cause sometimes, usually when I start the stream, I'm putting on a more expressive, <clears throat> a more expressive, um, demeanor but once it's like three hours in I start taking it easy and I'm just I'm literally just living my normal life oh are my streams accessible after they end so all but two one of them got claimed by the Japanese public broadcast service and the other one I'm still working on because one of the songs was claimed if you go to my YouTube, my YouTube channel like the home of my YouTube channel scroll down and there's a playlist called recent live streams or you can just go to the playlist tab you can probably just search Go Herping Recent Live Streams and it should show up. They're unlisted, but they're in the playlist. I would agree. I mean, I prefer just taking it easy, but um, I think trying to be more entertaining is good for analytics for like a bit. It's kind of like if you've ever noticed in my videos, <clears throat> there's always a ton of B-roll in the first half of the video, but the second half, anyone watching by that point, they don't care and I can take it easy on the production quality. Why is Sylvester screaming? If I had your following, I would raffle off animals. The problem is um, verification is important for me. Like making sure the owner knows what they're doing. And also raffles are sweepstakes, sweep, sweep, what's the word? Sweepstakes, which has a lot of laws around it. 
<clears throat> for good reason. We ready to just do auctions. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents from Dirt McGurt. I came across you commenting on Review Bra, and when I saw you, I was like, "Nice, I love this guy." That's funny. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. So you found me through Review Bra. Through the comment section? Yeah, I, co I comment on a lot of videos. I So I've been commenting on videos for over 10 years. And so I still get notifications and it'll be some stupid little comment I made when I was 12. Of like, lol, xd, rawl, raw, 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 On like some random Minecraft video 10 years ago. It's obvious, I don't know, I comment on all sorts of things. I've commented on tens of thousands of videos. <clears throat> So I don't know, I don't want to know what, and I, now people just think that I'm trying to do it for views. I just have always commented on videos or do it to like, cause people always comment and they're like, I'm verified, go away. I just comment on a lot of stuff. Cause I like, my favorite interaction is a comment on a video. So I try to do the same for, um, is the music annoying? Um, nobody sent anything in my P.O. Box. I mean, my P.O. Box isn't public. Like, my old one was, but it was just, it was really wholesome little, like, gifts. It was just hard to make a video out of it. I still have the footage, I think. I found her originally for the cringy but nice helping. Oh, the herping videos. That's why I like them. I don't... It's gonna sound like... The reason I don't really talk about the video box is because I, I think it's super wholesome when people send me stuff. And I love the process of receiving it and opening it. The problem is I really dislike owning stuff. Um, like, naturally, I just don't keep things. When I'm done using it, I just sell it, give it to someone, or discard it. But you can't, like, discard wholesome things that people created for you. Um, <clears throat> I just, I've, I've been a minimalist for so long, and I've really stuck with that. Like, like the lifestyle I kind of had, like, that peak of popularity, but I was a minimal. I got into the community, like, pre-Marie Kondo, and post-Marie Kondo, I'm still a big minimalist, so... <sighs> I want to get this stuff. I think it's really cool. <laughs> Of it. Like my goal is to like have Kaposta. Thanks for becoming a member. That's cool. We're at like 40, we're almost at 50, I think. Yeah, I'm 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 like a pretty hardcore minimalist. Like obviously, yeah, there's junk on my floor, which I hate having this stuff here, but I just keep the bare minimum of what I need. I've gotten carried away with getting rid of too much. Um but I just, I love empty closets, I love an empty garage, I love it like under my house is empty, I love that the backyard's pretty like clear, I love having an empty bathroom, just empty, like, um, if there's a lot going on in my mind, the best way for me to calm down and feel better is just to look around and be empty, like, Alice thinks my office is depressing, <laughs> like, because when it's all clean it's just this, but I like the, um, the clearness of it. <clears throat> For me, minimalism is just like, there's like extreme minimalists who purposely, they're like, I keep a hundred items and nothing else. But for me, it's, um, it's just not letting items uh, control you. Cause when I was a kid, I was a bit of a hoarder. I'd keep everything. And, um, I would have extreme sentimental value towards things. So I kind of, and I, and I would just, I got that huge dopamine rush. I was a shopaholic as a kid. I just loved acquiring stuff and just filling up my room with stuff. Um, but I flipped a switch because we started moving houses a lot and it was such a pain to move. I, I, I might do a video about it. <clears throat> so I started selling stuff and I realized I get the same dopamine rush selling something that I do acquiring it. So I started selling all my stuff 
uh, and I was able to kind of disconnect from the sentimental side. Just kind of like, I, I have to think a lot um, very as existentially, like we were talking earlier about invasive species. I just remind myself, I'm gonna die someday and this item's still gonna exist. What's gonna happen to it? It's probably gonna get destroyed. It's probably gonna end up in a landfill. Even if somebody ends up acquiring it that cares about it, but when they die, it's gonna end up in a landfill. It's gonna get destroyed. It's gonna get recycled. So for me to have that item control me during my life is kind of a waste. Cause I, I would literally like, I'd get so attached to so many items. Like the only, <clears throat> the, the house could burn down. It, assuming all the living things were fine. Uh, the only thing in the house that I care about are these three Lego. Um, it's just my three childhood Lego and one, uh, two stuffed animals. No, three stuffed animals actually. I have, I, I guess I can get them. And I always kind of keep them in my sight. So there's those. And These two stuffed animals. This is my one of my first stuffed animals, and this is just the one I cared about the most as a kid. I don't know what those stains are. It needs to be cleaned. <laughs> um, if if those items were safe, I, I don't care about anything else in the house. Like, but years ago, I would have like become severely depressed if I had lost my items. Um, I love keeping things with history. The thing is, I find things really interesting. I like going to thrift stores. I like going shopping, but I just don't acquire any of it. I kind of appreciate it. Um, like I have some precious metals and stuff. I like them. I don't, but I'm not like attached to them the way I used to be unhealthily attached to things. <laughs> Four dollars and ninety nine cents from Blueberry Muffs. No message, that was it. Just for five bucks. Thank you, Blueberry Mucks. That's wholesome. Hand carved dining table, buffet table, entertainment. Wow. That's really cool. The thing about that is it's so big, like I don't it's, I don't like big things. Um, but I mean that seems really um wholesome, I think. I think my family too does the same thing. They get super sentimental over things. I realized a lot of the, like I'd go, every time we moved houses, I've moved like eight times, and I'd go through every item, and the only time I'd ever look at it would be when I'm considering getting rid of it. I'd never look at it any other time. Um, so I was like, you know what, the only time I ever look at this is when I'm like deciding if I should get rid of it, and then I shove it on a box and bring it, haul it to another house, and it's such a pain. Um, but now the few things I care about, I actually acknowledge on a daily basis. Um, so, yeah. Tables, elephants, and tigers card. No, that's cool. I don't have any like family hand me downs. Not hand me down, but like family heirlooms or anything. I'm guessing my mom probably has a couple of jewelry items, like for my sister, but. What else? I imagine my dad would probably like, give me his gun or something. <clears throat> But yeah, I used to, I, I would say I have a collection of collections as a kid, which is another word for just a hoarder. <laughs> you can kind of see in, oh wait, do we have Wi-Fi yet? No, no, yeah. If you go in certain videos, you can see how much stuff I have. I think nice things are nice. I, I spend money on expensive things sometimes. I'm attached to my car. I'll be sad to see the car go. <clears throat> I'm not one, I mean, I mostly wear YouTuber merch. <laughs> and blank, black t like blank gray t-shirts.
<clears throat> what kind of car do you have? <clears throat> There's some stuff like I got into Funko Pops a little bit. I only have like six, <laughs> but they're just stuck in my closet right now. I just don't like them anymore, but I just don't know what to do with them. Like as long as like they're not valuable. It's like Finn the Human Kick the Dog. It's, it's just Adventure Time ones. They're not exclusive or anything, and the boxes are damaged. But it's like, what am I gonna do with them? I did, I was curious to see how I'd feel. So I donated one to Goodwill. And I didn't care. I don't miss that Funko Pop. So I don't know. I think it's a flag marshal for Formula One. What, how do you do everything? Mercedes C, I don't know how you pronounce Mercedes names. Is it CLA? Is it C class? T50. Uh, I don't reckon, I don't know Mercedes. I'd have to look it up. But I don't have Wi Fi. I should have put more eggs in this. Look, I don't, I think Funko Pops are cool. I think mean, the cool thing about Funko Pops is you can find one for every character. So it's like, I think in a way it's a good gift. Like if you know, oh, they like The Walking Dead. They like Rick and Morty. Just go get them a Funko Pop. Maybe they already have one though. I don't know about that. But um, I don't get, why do people collect every Funko Pop? It's not really, I understand the, I watch a lot of Pawn Stars, so I get the idea of like collect, like going on a hunt for a collector's item. Like the, the book expert on Pawn Stars, I forgot her name. I wanna say Elizabeth, I don't think that's it. But she was in like a cool documentary about, called Booksellers. And the book collecting has been kind of ruined by the internet because you no longer have to hunt through hundreds of bookstores to find a certain book of a certain edition. You just go online and buy it. Like Funko Pops, you can just go online and buy it. The worst case scenario, it's expensive and you're kind of like, it's, it's like the definition of weird flex when people just have a wall of Funkos. I, when I see a Funko in someone's house, I'm like, I think it's a good way to get to gauge what they like. Um, so, yeah. Eight years as a chef, before that I was an artistic staker. I have no idea what that is. Now I'm a flag marshal franchise owner and pet sitter, as well as reptile, but how do you? That's impressive. People always ask me how I find time for stuff. It's that I don't actually do that much, but I, you, you're you literally, you have to do that stuff. That's pretty cool. I like seeing the variety of things that people do. <clears throat> But I also don't like how people always ask, what do you do, is the first question. I never ask that as someone's first question. What do I usually ask people? And I usually try to make it related to whatever's happening. I usually, if I know a little bit about them, I try to ask someone something that annoys them. I like getting people I, I like getting just barely under someone's skin, not in a mean way, but in a way that you know they know they have a huge, they have such a strong opinion on it, and they are gonna like go on a rant about it. <clears throat> so, Shiro, Shiro, this toy is trying to play with me. So the last one I did is I I was just curious about veneers. I don't want veneers, but I always hear about veneers, so I asked a hygienist about veneers, and they went on one of these rants, and they were so angry. They, they, their hatred for, towards the veneers was so palpable. And so I've recently I've been going to the dentist a lot and I always get a different hygienist. So I always ask them, so I've been thinking about veneers and they instantly, if you ever want to just totally piss off a dentist, just ask about veneers. And it's, it's so funny. They just start like angrily scolding you on veneers. Actually, well, even now though, you're doing a lot. It makes me kind of feel better like, I wouldn't think a chef ends up as a flag marshal. So it makes me feel nice that just because I've been doing reptiles doesn't mean I'm stuck with it. <laughs> oh, my belt just popped off. Am I getting fat? <laughs> um, 
I don't know where you're, if he comes in. I'm too lazy to stand up. I've been walking around for like seven hours. My life is so hard. You can't find a job in, really, in robotic engineering? Interesting. I've been able to hear, I oftentimes see people, their, their claim to fame is they are a quote, female business owner, or a quote, um, black entrepreneur. <laughs> like, their title is the fact that they are, I was gonna say a minority, but females are not a minority. So at least none of you did that. Shave my teeth down the nubs. Yeah, that's, yeah. I didn't know veneers are only on the front of your teeth. Well, because veneers, according to them, is you drill away the front and just stick on a little cap, but the back of your teeth is still a tooth. Because, like, I didn't know you could get cavities under fillings. Um, so I'm kind of scared about that. It's all the muscle from standing. Yeah, if you don't care for your teeth after fillings, um, the um, the tooth will start to degrade a little bit and then leave an opening in between the filling and it can develop bacteria underneath and it has to be taken out and done over. When I was a kid, I thought that that wasn't the case. I always brushed, I always went good about it. It's just that I consumed so much sugar. Oh, Shiro, he's vomiting. Thank you, Shiro. That's just straight bile. Why'd he vomit? I don't know why I showed you that. <laughs> I just washed this carpet and I got ketchup on it. Let me move the car, but I don't want to eat on top of vomit. I just have to wash it because Mr. Pete on it. Oh, there was a comment that I wanted to say something about. Oh, the cavities. Um, when I was a kid, I thought that once you got a, a filling, that tooth is like good. But I now know that a filling can get worse and turn into a, a required crown. Alice was, I had Alice feel my crown. I was like, feel it. Does it feel real to you? And she was like, oh my god, it feels so fake. Why is it so big? And I was like, you're feeling the wrong tooth. And she was feeling one of my other teeth. And she, now I'm self-conscious because my, my tooth is big. And she wasn't, and apparently the, the crown feels fine though. To me, it doesn't feel, it feels like there's plastic in my mouth at all times. I don't know what kinds of cats. He's a, like a Russian blue. I don't know, he's just some random cat. <laughs> from the wife of the owner of the pet store that Alice used to work at. A garbage pet store, by the way. This shirt gets more attention than any other shirt that I wear. Like, I don't just have to go herping fans come up, I have PewDiePie fans come up. Um, and like, hey. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Seeing other um, nine-year-olds in the flesh.
Um, I usually stream, I always say I'm going to stream for 2 to 3 hours and then I usually get 8 to 10 hours. My teeth are hecked. Need so much work if I can't afford it. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> My dentist has been giving me free services. I think just because he knows I'm going to be back. And so he wants to make sure I stick with him. Because um, my crown was $1,100 after insurance. Because my insurance doesn't cover crowns for some reason. But it's po my crown was really hurting and I might have possibly needed a root canal. But he offered to make me a second crown for free. <clears throat> and he started giving me nitrous oxide for free as well. It's usually $100 each. I spent like two grand on my teeth the past, past month. Man, I spent like five grand on medical bills just in the past couple months. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> and that's with insurance. Like, I have insurance. It's not that good. Like, it's Blue Cross, but Blue Cross Blue Shield, whatever. <laughs> yeah, free night. Free night is high. Um. I have an overbite. I mean, I had I had braces for almost three years, but I don't know if anyone can tell. The dentist asked if I had considered braces. I had them for three years, man. They were really bad before. Thank God I was a kid and my parents paid for those. I don't want to know how much they cost. My overbite is better, like. I can almost fit my pinky under. If I get a certain point, um, yeah, we'll just like get all our teeth replaced as children. <laughs> I guess not as children, but. Um, hope something stronger. But apparently fake teeth are not as good as real teeth. But it, like, he said like an implant or a crown is going to be weaker than real bone. I should get like elephant bone. I should get like ivory teeth. I thought about getting just an actual gold crown. Like maybe if I get a, if I ever need a crown on one of these, maybe I'll just do a like solid gold. I have a little uh, value in my mouth. I can't resell my plastic crown, but I could resell my gold crown if things get rough. What is it? See, like... This is just something I use as, like, a one-off. I don't have a problem with, like, the insurance side. I have a problem with just the, the billing side. <clears throat> and the negotiation part. $4.99 from Blueberry Muffs. Ooga booga. <laughs> Thank you, Blueberry Muffs. Very insightful. The best advice all night. What's a tooth transplant? I can't complain about. So I consider, I even asked them about it. I asked them about teeth whitening. And I hate to admit it, it's because I'm on YouTube. That's the, because my in react, like, my teeth aren't that yellow. On video, everyone's teeth look more yellow. Um, Cause if the white balance is properly adjusted, it's gonna, I, it, it's usually on the slightly bluer side when you're using fluorescent lights. So your teeth come up more yellow. I was like, I kind of want to whiten them. But I was thinking about it more and I feel like I'm just feeding into kind of what Instagram models started. This like idea of un unrealistic looks. Like the reason I probably want whiter teeth is because other people whiten their teeth on YouTube. And that was because other people whiten their teeth on YouTube. So I decided I'm not gonna whiten my teeth because I have a normal color teeth. They just feel yellow in comparison to people's white teeth, but it's literally my teeth are a normal color. So I don't want to add to that feeling of like, oh, then the viewers are like, why are my teeth so yellow when all these YouTubers teeth are white? It's because I whiten them. Also, it was $500 to get them lightened. 
And I have very sensitive teeth, they actually refuse to do it. But. Yeah, the veneers on the Instagram models. I kinda like this one. It's also a little bit like it's from Adventure Time. Never had a cavity. What am I doing wrong? So apparently I'm half your age, but I've had 16 cavities. I brush my teeth twice a day. I floss twice a day. I, well, I floss once a day. I mouthwash twice a day. Some of them I brush three times a day. I use Colgate. I change my toothbrush every uh, every like every three weeks. My teeth are yellow and I love them. Plus my teeth are yellow because my mom didn't get enough calcium when she was pregnant. That's interesting. Oh, I've, um, I've seen that book. I think, I think it was Jared Poland. He's a photographer. I was watching his vlogs. He has that same thing. And he considered whitening his teeth, but he, he decided not to because there was a, a risk of damaging them or something. Maybe not whiten, but he was gonna do, they could fix it, but he decided to not. Uh, so that he would prioritize the health over the look, which I respect. Like, tooth standards are just so high, especially in the U.S. So, I don't know, I think it's kind of weird. Like, when before I had braces, I was experiencing a lot of pain. Because my teeth were very crowded. And also my wisdom teeth weren't helping, so. Once I got the wisdom teeth out and the braces off and everything, now my teeth no longer hurt, aside from sensitivity. So... You have fluoride poisoning thanks to the city putting fluoride in the water. Isn't there fluoride in all water? All city water? I, I can't drink it, it tastes bad to me. I'm very glad I'm on a well. The well water here is good. Uh, after I get, because I have filtration now. Before it was very irony, it tasted like, tasted like blood. Interesting. I asked about fluoride free, uh, the dentists are very anti-fluoride free that I go to. They called them like conspiracy theorists. I don't know anything about fluoride. I, I use fluoride. They actually, I have an extra strength, like I have, because my teeth are so sensitive, I've been prescribed extra fluoride. Uh, and it basically numbs my teeth. It tastes terrible, by the way. Well, my teeth feel better. See a MOA? I drink bottled water. Um, when I when I was like balling, I was just buying Fiji water, and I just drink Fiji water. Now I just drink the water on the property. I had very bad habits growing up. I just never thought anything of the water system, like sewage. I would flush everything down the toilet, which I know is bad. I don't anymore because it's my septic system, and I care about it. But actually, the ant poison is the first poison I've ever put. I didn't want to use herbicides or anything because I, I know that the well is like super deep and the rocks probably filter by then, but I just didn't want any poison near my water supply, but yeah. North Carolina mountain water, like mountain well water is the best water I've had. Like, um, like past Asheville, closer to Tennessee. I would consider myself a water enthusiast. And mentally, I've been feeling so much better going outside a lot. Like the moment the sun hits me and I start sweating, it's like just this release of dopamine. And I drink like, like on a normal day, I would drink probably two thirds of one of these, but I go through two or three of these a day when I'm going outside. Something about, it's like I'm, I don't believe in like sweating out the bad jujus or whatever. But something about consuming lots of water and sweating out lots of water, it just it feels really good. And then taking a nice, like, cool shower makes me feel much better. I don't have insomnia. I sleep really dang well, which I'm very grateful for. 
I sleep on. I sleep on usually. I, I I always stay up till I can't stay up anymore, because I hate just lying in bed alone with my thoughts. Like there's nothing more terrifying than that. I just need to listen to. Them. I always uh, cue a bunch of songs on Spotify. I'm like I need like 40 minutes of songs, and then I fall. I, I know when I fall asleep because when I fall asleep, I take out my earbuds, and the music pauses, and it's always before the first song ends that I fall asleep. Sparkling water, I don't like that much air inside me. <laughs> like, it's uncomfortable, it kinda makes my stomach hurt. Like, it's worth it for soda, but. See you, Dave. I'm able to eat more when I'm distracted. I'm really trying to eat more, I wanna gain weight. Imagine fat garbing. I knew you don't want to see fat garbing. No more of this. The song was Cara Luna, C A R O L U N A, by A M I M A D R E. Cara Luna. I made a salad on screen. If you rewind, you can watch me make a salad. <laughs> what do you mean take, like, people say that. Do you mean like protein powder? But I feel like I need to exercise too. The vampires. Oh, my tray's not there. My doctor says I'll, <clears throat> I'll probably never weigh more than 100 pounds. Interesting. I, um, people ask how much I weigh. I don't consider myself self-conscious about my size or weight, but I don't answer how much I weigh. Does that mean I'm self-conscious? Like, why do I not tell you? If I do some sort of, like, fitness series, I will. Like, what's holding me? Like, I don't know. I guess I just like the secrecy a little bit. I will say I'm over 100 pounds, but um, I was under 100 pounds the majority of my life, like the far majority. When I got sick, um, with you know what, I lost, I lost about eight pounds, which is a lot for me. And I still haven't gained it back, I'm trying. Like you can see, you can mostly see it around my hips. Well, okay, you can't, but like when I'm, when I'm naked, I can like, I don't know why I'm saying this. Like I'm never self-conscious about how I look, but when I look down in the shower and I can like see part of my hip bone, I'm like, well shit, I'm like goddamn small. And that's the only time it upsets me. It's just the fact that I think that, cause I spent so much time gaining and I gained like 10 to 15 pounds successfully over a year. And then I just lost half of it in two weeks. Good to have, yeah, I have a habit of either being completely private of it on a subject or totally way too open. So I try to avoid certain things. And it's just the fact you can't take some, you can't take it back. It's like cutting off hair. You can always cut off more, but you can't, you can't stick it back on. So what's the reason you're trying to gain weight? Because according to my doctor, I don't need to gain weight to become more healthy. I just think I'd look better. But is that really worth my time? Like becoming stronger is one thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth my time to focus on it. Like I truly don't, if I'm healthy, I don't know if it's a priority. It's just, just cause some day, like people think I have an eating disorder, but I don't. I just, fat does not stick, and I don't eat that much. Some days I'm just not hungry. And then other days I'll, I'll have like, 
extreme cravings and eat all day, but I still just, I have a pretty small stomach, I guess. You avoid the scales as you had an eating disorder. Yeah, I, I, I certainly can't relate at all, but what I can, what I hate is how, I don't know, I don't like stepping on the scale. Even when I truly don't care about my weight, I, I don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't move. Like, I feel like I'll do, like I'll actually try for a week. I'm gonna shove so much food in my mouth and it moves like one ounce down. I'm like, what happened? Why did, cause I know there's like water weight and I know it's based on like when you weigh yourself, if you have clothes on, if you've eaten recently, I don't know what else. The circumference of the moon at that point, that doesn't make any sense. I guess it's like, when I'm like, I, what would my ideal body type look like? Like, it's not what I am, but I just don't really care. It doesn't keep me up at night because I'm skinny. However, I do wish my butt had more cushion because I'd finally be comfortable sitting down. My butt hurts really fast sitting down. And when I, I'm trying to get used to it, my so now that my hips are like this, it really hurts to carry. Like, the the grip is constantly digging into my my hip. I'm trying to get used to it. But like I'm sore right now from it. I'm trying to just ignore it. But fat people also have trouble carrying. Because like if you're a guy and you have a bit of a gut, usually male men will appendix carry. And it's like your your gut literally gets in the way. So I don't know. You have to be like the perfect size to not be sore. Um, I'm gonna say this as a complete uneducated, um, what's the word? Ignorant person. When I think of nutritionist, I think of like scam. Like, can't you just Google that? Personal trainer's one thing. I don't know. That's probably wrong. I guess they're similar. I just, I don't really feel like hiring a person. I hate gyms. If I'm gonna do exercise, I don't want it. I don't like the smell of gyms. I don't like, the people at gyms are nice. I just get really bored and wanna leave. But if I like bike, I can be like, I'm gonna bike 10 miles. And then I usually do it. Um, or I'm gonna bike 15. Or like there's this big loop around, a, there, it's an old landfill. It doesn't stink anymore. It's just a big hill of grass. But there's a big loop and half the loop uh, is uphill and half is downhill. And so it's like, oh, I'm gonna make it all the way around the loop so I can enjoy the downhill. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again. And then I see how many times I can do it. So that really motivates me. Um, and it, it's good for my um, cardio. Um, I hate cardio so much. I'd rather like lift or something than cardio, but cardio is the most important for me, which is a problem because cardio, I lose, I, I burn so many calories. Like literally I burn calories like it's nothing. Like, it takes me nothing, and I just start burning away. Um, but at the same time, I need to, like, keep my heart healthy, so. Well, I, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I guess the nutritionist can keep you more on track. Um, if, if you're not very self-motivated, or you're not going to stick to it. So, I get, okay, I get that. I guess, for me, I don't think it would be... If a nutritionist tells me what to eat, I'm gonna be like, freak you, no. Because I don't like being told what to do. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm such a child. See, uh, Alex, how do you pronounce your name? Alexi. 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 Yeah, I feel better after outdoor exercise. Indoor exercise, I just feel all tired and stuffy. But like a bike ride, it feels good. And even um, shoveling dirt. I really like shoveling. I do a lot of shoveling, obviously. I have to move uh, three cubic yards of dirt. I'm about halfway done. How I gotta ask, how, how old do you think I am? I hate running. I refuse to run. 
And there can be an atomic bomb on the way, I'm gonna walk. Running is the worst human movement form. Eight hours a day, six days a week. I'm in the skating rink. Oh, they took your health metrics <clears throat> and advise a diet. Oh, okay, I don't know anything about nutritionists. That's not what I thought they were. I thought it was, I don't know what to eat. I'm gonna pay this person to tell me what to eat and then they like give you a list of foods to go buy and cook. I get such bad cramps running. I never get cramps, but the moment I run, if I ran around the house twice, I'd have cramps. Maybe I'm just dying. I like other forms of movement. I like biking. I like roller skating. I'm not very good at it. I don't have roller skates anymore. I mean, I have like kids' ones. I'll, I'd, I'd probably still fit, honestly. Um, and I like stuff like um, pulling weeds, <laughs> shoveling in the backyard, moving rocks. Um, anything that's actually getting something done including like just seeing nice views like a bike you can zip through a lot and see a lot of things and feel the wind it's very quickly rewarding and you see a hill you go up the hill and you can ride down the hill but if you're running you have to run down the hill too <laughs> you can't just fall down the hill <laughs> i work arm security i'm on my feet a lot yeah i'm not good at standing like when I do reptile, when I would do reptile expos and festivals and like shows, it's just standing. And I'm light and my feet are like, it's like there's needles in the bottom of them. I would swim, but I can't swim. So. Pools scare me. Does anyone here have a pool, like in their, like own a pool of their own? I can't afford it, but I was like, would someday, would I want to like get an in-ground pool? But it seems like a lot of work to maintain. I accidentally run over cobras. Ah, state, why would you like a stationary bike when you can bike outside? <laughs> Why do you want to do all this work, but not get the reward of moving? <laughs> like, that's how Alice exercises. She'll just, like, be on a treadmill. I hate treadmills. Treadmills are actually hell. Like, my version of hell is just a treadmill for eternity. <laughs> I've also taken some harsh fall, because as a kid, I'd play on treadmills. <laughs> it's like, obviously, I'd see how fast I could go. And it wasn't be keeping up. The problem was I would be walking or running and I'd step on the side that's not moving and I would just face plant. And then it like keeps going and it rubs on your face and you get like face burn. Why does Roxanne just keep pinging Gamma to not ping her? <laughs> Oh, I see. It pinging doesn't even notify you. It's just an orange tag. I get pinged hundreds of times per screen per stream. I don't complain. I wanna go does anyone like know in Raleigh where to rock climb? The Wi Fi's still on my back. Like indoor rock climbing. Cause I'm gonna do that. You pay a service to clean your pool. Okay. Well, what is, so it's water filtration, cleaning, like getting all the frogs out. Is that it? I guess if it's heated. And then like the chemicals, I guess. Yeah, well I just, the thing about rock climbing is I just like it. I like the, um, because you have to think a lot so you don't really get bored because it's like, 
I haven't rock climbed in quite a while, but and then you get the reward of reaching the top, looking down, and then coming back down. I was like, oh cool, I climbed all the way up here. I don't like the idea of free climbing. I just I want like safe rock climbing. I don't like getting hurt. <laughs> Oh, filter change. Yeah, my friend, one of my like elementary friends had a pool and their parents put like five times the amount of chlorine and we got like sick from swimming in it. Why are my eyes red? Too much chlorine. You just fell into my salad. <laughs> um, it's 3.42 a.m. Yeah, I'm not going to Asheville. <clears throat> it's a bit too far. <laughs> we had the salad. <laughs> That'd be funny if you could just like control the phone. Or like, I, I, I'm sure Michael Reeves could do that. Like very easily. Like a little um, RC car, but chat like moves like left and right with commands. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, being small probably helps with the rock line. I don't know why if I'm man. I might just go to sleep before Home Depot. Or maybe I should wait to put the chickens out. I'm not sure. Any more iguana experiences? Not really. I've only taken a couple. Yeah, I made videos on them all. If I continue taking reptiles, I'm not doing iguanas. No rated sliders, because that's illegal now. No iguanas. Um. I don't know. What else? No. Probably no retics. I'm not a big retic fan. Oh, I'm planting... seeds are. I think the seeds are in the garage. I'm doing lettuce, carrots. I'm just doing seeds I already have, so I don't have to buy any. Lettuce, carrots. What were the other two? Cuc if Jasmine's here, I think she remembers. Cucumber. I don't remember. Something that, whatever works in the fall that I have. I, I might just, these seeds will expire. I don't know if they actually expire. Um, so I might just plant a bunch of random seeds and see what happens. Uh, I need an Ethernet cable from Home Depot. <clears throat> I still have some reptiles. I, I mean, it's probably obvious. I, I haven't specified what reptiles I have. There was the, I felt bad. There was like a $10 super chat in a recent stream asking exactly, like an exact list of what I have. Uh, I haven't shared that just because it's not the complete list that people think. And I just haven't decided what um because I, I kind of hint so in 2019 or 2020 i made a video called like why i'm downsizing my reptiles and people people were pretty upset with the video not everyone most people were supportive but there was more upset in this than usual and then i made a video about rehoming one of my reptiles and i felt really good about it mm, was taken pretty well but not great oh they don't expire um, but yeah, basically I, as I transitioned to Emerald Scales, I decided to keep fewer myself. Um, I know people won't like that, so I haven't publicly said anything, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I really enjoy having private, um, pet experiences. Like I might actually, okay, so 
there's an animal there's a few animals actually that I've that I've had and I've gotten that I've never shown on video and that Alice has never shown like talked about and um, one of them actually for the first time like ever acquired the pet owned the pet in its entire lifespan and the pet died somewhat recently and uh, never made a single piece of content on it and it was actually a really enjoyable experience just not just just having it as a personal thing so yeah but lettuce carrots oh i was doing bro oh wait do i have broccoli i think i have broccoli i don't like peas though no i still need to get lego star wars i'm definitely gonna play it though i'm gonna see if my sister wanted to play it i don't think she was going to though because we used to play it together Maybe I'd like fresh peas. Yeah, I guess I've only had frozen. Like the peas and like a Panda Express um, fried rice. So it's possible. Yeah, there's a, a white street frog here actually. Well, Alice has one. Or is it a dump? No, I think it's a white. So someone sent me two, well, they're going to send me two amphibians, a Pac-Man frog, a white tree frog. The Pac-Man frog died right before shipping. The white tree frog arrived super skinny, and it's gained weight, it's lost weight, it's gained weight. So, I don't want to keep it. <clears throat> there's a couple Emerald Scales animals that are just not... Okay, so there's one Leopard Gecko. Um, I'm semi-attached to it, but I don't ever give it attention. So I think I'm gonna ask people that I trust closely if any of them happen to wanna. Like people that I that I kinda know and work with, that I know are good with reptile care. And it's not like, cause yeah, I can still verify a normal buyer, but most people don't really update. I want someone that I actually talk to on a usual basis that I could be like, oh yeah, how's the gecko doing? Just like casually. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll see if they want the white tree frog too. Um, Emerald Scales also was kind of helpful in, um, with the whole minimalism thing because I used to want to acquire as many animals as possible, but I no longer have the desire to own animals really for the most part. Like, yeah, I still want some chickens and stuff, but I found the most value that I extracted from the experience was the process of experiencing them but not keeping them. I just, I took on too, too much responsibility, I think too early in my life. <laughs> so I want less responsibility for a while. I like the idea of just vlogging and streaming for like even just a, even just a few weeks, maybe a few months, maybe like the rest of the year. Uh, there's a product, there's an, another online store I wanna start. I'm hoping to launch that within a couple months. Nothing as crazy as Emerald Scales, a lot more simplistic. Kind of applying the skills I received from Emerald Scales but using it with a, a dry good. It's not a, it's not a pet product at all. But I don't want to reveal yet. Reveal it. I don't want to reveal it yet, just in case it doesn't happen. But if it does, you'll it'll be obvious because I'll be promoting it on the channel. I just I'm not a sticker fan. Um, it, it definitely needs to be something that I the product that I'm I plan on selling. Is something that I truly, really like, so. We'll see. I don't think you'd ever be able to guess what it is, though. But if it goes well, it'll be with the help of Alice. It'll... Because we've never... Uh, yeah, we've never really collaborated on a project like that. <clears throat> like, yeah, I help her with her dice and stuff. I photograph them sometimes. <laughs> and, um... That's about it. I designed her first website, but now she just uses Etsy. And then Alice did Emerald Skills for a while, so. <laughs> Mops. I thought about cleaning. Like, I think cleanings, because I'm, I'm very good. I'm good at cleaning, I'll admit. No, it's not for animals. It's not for reptiles. It's not related to animals. 
Um, I'll say if someone guesses it, nobody has. What was I gonna say? What was I just talking about? Some product. Let me scroll back up. Oh, I'm gonna do more plushies. I don't have the money for plushies right now. They're really dang expensive. Like it's, I need to fork over thousands of dollars just to get the plushies made. And then they take months. So I, I need thousands of dollars first. <laughs> but I'm saving up to do the next plushie. I guess I was saying how, like, me and Alice haven't really collaborated as much. More 50-50. It's more just helping and helping versus one helping the other versus more 50-50. And normally I would not want to start something related to finance or business with a girl, like, with a girlfriend, but at this point it's kind of hard to be anxious about something going wrong. Like, I've known Alice long enough. Uh, she makes mostly dice, handmade dice for games. Her Instagram is Cantrip Arts. Her, what is her Etsy? Oh, I can't look it up because I still don't have Wi-Fi. If anyone knows her Etsy, it's either Noxious Arts or, or Cantrip Arts, but I don't think she's changed it yet. Um, and she does candles, but not like on demand yet. I think she's still experimenting with them. She's doing one custom order of candles. Someone ordered like 40 candles. Uh, so she's been making those in the dining room. And then, uh, what's the other thing? I think she was considering soap, but she hasn't done soap yet. Still noxious arts on Etsy. Hmm. It's loud. $4.99 from Torison. Good to see you're doing well. Been a while since I've checked in. Where's the best place to support you right now? Oh, thank you, Torson. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't recognize your name, but thanks for tuning in. And uh, thanks for the super chat as well. If you so badly desire to support me, you can um, always click the join button under the video. That's what I've been focusing on the most. It's five bucks a month um, for membership. You get to join the private Discord server. I'm in it every day. I join voice chat, I join, I, I text and chat. You get early access to videos. You get to watch extended versions of videos with bonus footage, uh, uncensored, uh, with bonus commentary. Um, you get to use emojis in the, in the chat here. You get a custom name, not a uh, custom color in the chat. It's like a green. Um, you get a badge, which changes each month. And I'm gonna start doing some little giveaways because I'm gonna give away the Pokemon cards that are from the McDonald's Happy Meal. Just fun stuff like that. Alice has a 3D printer, but it's not like the plastic spindle. It's like a resin 3D printer. Like it's upside down and it like dips itself in this like liquid plastic. I don't know how it works. I guess there could be some Go Urban merch collab with Alice, like, candles or soap. I didn't think about that. Because dice, I can't really sell Go Urban dice. Like, there's gonna be so few people that buy them. Yeah, UV printer? Yeah, that sounds great. Right. Yeah, because the, there's, like, bottles of UV resin everywhere. I finished my salad. That was good. Collectibles are fun. As I get older, um, I guess when I, I when I was starting to leave childhood, I thought that things that were fun as a kid would no longer be fun as an adult, but some have become more fun. Like, I, I don't know, I get really excited when I do get, like, um, the stream deck. I got super excited buying this, and I really treasured the unboxing of it. Oh, it's not plugged in. Um, Especially since I don't, I'm not like addicted to buying stuff now. 
like I buy something I'm really excited about like probably twice a year and so the stream tech was one and it's like years ago it would have been like oh another gadget but now it's like I invested the whole day just into learning about the stream deck. Um, raiding your reptile rooms. I have the next one's here. This will be episode 17. This will be episode 18. And then I've got more here picked out. I don't even do them all. And this is not even up to date. This is like up to July. So there's like 22 episodes worth of raiding your reptile stuff. Start our course on that. Are, are, did you add an extra zero or two? <laughs> All right. That literally sounds more deadly than an actual gun at that point after 600. All right, why are there so many people here? What? Why, why are there 105 people at 4 a.m. while I'm sitting here just finishing a salad with no Wi-Fi? Cause I, I can't even play a game cause I don't have any internet. No Fall Guys, I'm big, I'm, I feel like I might become addicted to Fall Guys. I've been practicing a little bit in solo queue. I'm gonna beat my, my viewers. No. Oh, why did, wait, when I, right as I acknowledged that there's 105 people, it just dropped by 20 people. Oh, weird. They were all like, oh, shoot, he noticed, got a dip. Yeah, I got too grumpy last stream. I streamed for too long. Yeah, I just flat out scared them off. Well, I'm glad my computer works. The fans are much quieter. Looks pretty, pretty clean down there. How do you listen to a stream while doing homework? I can't do two things like that. Like it's fine, I'm just, why did the over 30 people, 62? Why did half the people leave when I acknowledged them? I'm so confused, that's never happened before. And they're like not even saying anything. I wonder if it's like, how many are spam bots? It's so weird. It's kind of creep, for some reason that creeps me out a little bit. It shouldn't creep me out, but it's like, it's like, the, it's like they were just trying to hide there, but it doesn't make any logical sense. And I'm playing kind of haunting music at the same time. 59, are you just... On the window. That doesn't get me anymore. And then of course there's gonna actually, in that little crack up there, one of those subscribers are gonna peek over because they're gonna find my house address. I'm so, I don't want to say who it is, because their address is public, but a YouTuber that I watch, actually, I'm, I'm like basically neighbors with them. Like I could drive to their house in five minutes, which I thought was weird. Not weird, but like kind of small world. Sylvester's so. so eyeing the carpet that Shiro vomited on, I think he's gonna pee on it. I think he was going to. What's it why? I thought maybe people left as a joke and they were gonna come back a minute later. It's just weirding me out that 50 people left. Mice fighting in the ceiling. Are they loud or something? Alice's rats creep me out. Their, their eyes like vibrate. 
Um, I don't. I've never kept a permanent tegu. There's been. I mean, there's been many tegus over the years on the channel. I think some people got confused, understandably, with the last tegu that I picked up from Charlotte, uh, but I sold them as well. <laughs> and you need a license for black and white tegus now in North Carolina. The rats are like, yay big. One of them pooped on me and now I don't, now I hate him. Now he's not allowed around me. Um, but yeah, the tegus all went to really cool homes. I, I'll show, I, I usually get permission from people to show enclosures. There's some really dang cool. Like there's an enclosure like the size of this room. They converted an entire room to the tegu enclosure. I did good with, where's my, my Benny? Put it. Scratching my mosquito bites. Tigers eat rats. Mm. It depends what kind of lizard you're talking about. It, uh, omnivorous lizards smell the worst. And then herbivorous. Surprisingly, carnivorous lizards smell the best. I don't know why. But like, um, actually no, um, what are they called, abronias? Aren't they like Mexican alligator lizard? I think they're carnivores, but they are the worst. Okay, never mind. carnivores are the worst. Carnivores are the best and the worst. Like leopard geckos are fine, but Madagascan day geckos and Mad Mexican alligator lizards are the worst. And then in the middle are like the herbivores and stuff. Beer, I hate the smell of beardy. Like just beardies and like, ugh, they're just stinky animals. Especially when you have 25 of them at any given time. I'm so, I unironically started selling, it was, I didn't advertise it as this. Some of you might have seen it on the site. It was a couple years ago. There were so many beardies. I started basically doing a bearded dragon mystery box, where as long as you had a good setup, there were so many adult beardies coming in. Some were really cool morphs, like worth like $500. Some were like just normal, whatever. But it was like 100, 150 just for a beardie. And I would just ship you a guaranteed healthy beardie, as long as you had a good setup. And so that's how I got rid of all the beardies. Um, so, it's the only animal I've done that with. But yeah, it was bad. There were too many beardies. Because these leopard geckos, you can just like stack them in a bunch of tubs. But every bit is so much electricity. Oh my god. The electric bill was over $500, like, consistently for months. Which is, um, not fun. $1,000 every 60 days just for energy. Thermal scales to continue, stuff would have to be so much more expensive. Which I just don't think people would pay. Yeah, I remember you leaving Air Warrior. I'm still going. Just hang, just chilling. I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi to come back. I think I'll just stay up and then let the chickens out. And then go to sleep. Yeah, the rats aren't dirty. They're just, I don't like them. They creep me out. And also I'm in like this kind of like, like there's the ant war and then there's like, the mouse battle because there, there's been mice in the chicken coop so I'm just constantly having to kill mice which is yeah $700 what how how your unless your house is just like 10,000 square feet that's ridiculous right I don't know mine now is about 300 which still feels really high I'm trying to get it down like my parents' house is bigger than mine, and I asked, and their bill is like 150. So, and their house is older than mine, so I thought maybe like my insulation is older, but theirs is older. 
3,000, oh, plus pool. Oh, wait, that uses energy? I guess filtration. Plus 70 reptiles. Oh, I'm doing it. Do you care for all your reptiles yourself? <clears throat> Once I got past like 15 reptiles, I needed help. Two fifty. I want solar, but it's so expensive. The price has gone up a lot, and I don't want to do Tesla solar really. I want the Tesla product, but they've been having a lot of issues with like installation. And so there's a local company, NC Solar now, NC Solar now, but I think they just use. I think they're like a Tesla contractor or something. You care for them all yourself, huh? I just don't have the energy anymore to care for so many animals. <laughs> At least my, I don't have a water bill now, even if I had to fork out a lot for, for that new water system and well pump. I am. Um, When I need a new well pump, I was gonna do it myself. Wait, what's wrong with NC Solar? <laughs> you actually worked for them? That's funny. I mean, I was in contact with them, but I never put in an order. They wouldn't give me a, I was trying to get them to install my Tesla charger and they wouldn't do it. They kept ignoring me. So I just got a local le electrician and he did it for like a hundred bucks. Um, when my well pump went out, someone, I, I posted about it, like what the problem was, and someone on Reddit actually offered to give me their well pump because they didn't need it anymore. So I drove like three hours to get this well pump and it didn't fit, I was gonna sell it myself and it didn't fit under my house because it's a crawl space, I couldn't get it into the door. This can people steal money from workers then terminate them ask, when they ask where their pay is. Allegedly, of course, allegedly. My face is connected to these things, I'm saying. While all alleged, um, I didn't have a good experience trying to get a quote for, I mean, I couldn't even get them to come out and, and put a dryer plug in my garage. So I don't know if I trust them on the roof of my house with thousands of dollars of solar equipment. Why would I ask Elon for a job? I don't think I have any reason he'd hire me. Um, yeah, I have an attic. I mean, kinda. I don't like going it. It's not really an attic, it's just access to the furnace. Yeah, electricians are the one company, like the one professional I hire, because I don't understand electricity. Okay, well, I, I, I fixed the HVAC myself. Uh, it turns out the electricity was not off. I thought the electricity was off. I couldn't get the electricity to turn off. Eventually I figured it out, but I'd already touched some stuff. Like some 240 volts. But like, electricians are like the one company I have to hire. With the one type of person. <clears throat> Cause I don't know how to do it without dying. But yeah, I did fix that myself. But it's good, the um, Hila, it's all like, I guess I could show my car charger. It's like the only professional that I actually like. He said he would come back and paint the wall for me because he had to rip it off, but he never did. I think he just forgot though, it's fine. Cause I'm gonna paint the whole thing. I don't, I just, I don't know what AC and DC even is. I'd have to learn a lot to do it myself. Um, I mean, well, I'm planning on installing solar myself if the price is low, cause there's some DIY solar kits, but um, it's so expensive. So I don't know, it's not even really worth it right now. Like if I spend 30 grand on a solar system, a solar system, <laughs> um, and I'm paying 300 a month for solar, how many years is it gonna take me to pay that off? No, yeah, like it adds equity to the home, but then I also have 30,000 in debt cause I can't pay that in cash. I'd have to get a, like a house loan.
Yeah, I do all the plumbing. I, I do like the toilets and stuff. Install the bidets on every toilet. That's always the first thing I do. Um, plumbing doesn't seem that hard. It's probably, if I had to like get a trade job, I'd probably do plumbing. Cause like nobody wants to do their own plumbing. Well, I don't know, that sounds a little gross, but I think I could. You're confused on where my channel is headed. Me too. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I mean, I'm kind of, I've, I've kind of reached the natural life cycle of a channel. It usually takes about five years to grow a channel, five years of good money and good views, and then you kind of taper off as a combination of lack of interest it, from your audience, from the creator. You get burnt out. <clears throat> Things change on the platform. So I'm, I'm at that 10 year mark. I grew for five. I made money for five. And now it's like, well, what do I do now? Um, I'm not, I don't consider myself like a reptile enthusiast anymore, which is really sad. I'm not planning on, I mean, I'd like to do another unboxing, but, um, I'm not planning on taking in reptiles right now. I took in reptiles for five years. I'm tired of it. <laughs> We'll see. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what's to come. Um, so I'm experimenting with vlogs and with some other videos I have coming up, which are pretty different, and the live streams. Um, the live streams are a good way for me to come up with video ideas. A lot of recent video ideas have been through live streams and like brainstorming and fleshing, fleshing out ideas. So yeah, solar brains at property value. The property, I'm very grateful. Like my my net worth is somewhat high right now, and it's all just on my property because the value's gone up so much, which I'm sure it'll go down pretty soon. Yeah, animal skills kind of destroyed my passion. <laughs> Not entirely. It's a combination of once it becomes your job, it becomes less fun. But yeah, there were a lot of things that in animal skills that just annihilated my interest because I'm a, I'm like a, I'm a little burnt out with YouTube um, but I still like doing YouTube I just if I was doing YouTube purely for fun I would post probably once a week a few times a week or a few times a month not a few times a week but I kind of have to do that um, as long as you have fun, when hobbies become work, you can definitely start to feel less interested. Yeah, it's just the idea, because it, it's the obligation, it's like, because you can't take a break from your job. And the thing is, a YouTube channel, it's it's a combination. It's People compare it to a professional sports prof, sports career. Like, you, you work a lot to get to that point, and you have this peak of a career. You're a pro for a few years, you make a lot of money, and then you drop off. You can't do it anymore physically. You get tired, you get older. That's kind of what YouTube is like. It's also kind of like creating a show. You're producing it, you're recording it, you're writing it, whatever. Um, but there's no seasons and there's no breaks. You have to do it every day forever. <laughs> you don't take a weekend off and you don't take a month off. There's no season finale and then starting the next year. It's literally just every day in perpetuity. So. What'd you do without YouTube? Get a job at McDonald's? Well, here's the thing. I've thought about like, should I get a, not even because, not even just, cause I can make enough money doing the videos right now. But I was like, I kind of want to take like dial it back. Should I do some other work? And then just do like half the YouTube? But there's nothing, I can't, there's nothing that I can qualify for. Like, okay, let's say YouTube got deleted. Right now, there's nothing I can qualify for that makes as much as I do on YouTube. Even when I have a really bad month on YouTube, I don't have any, um, uh, I don't have a resume. I don't have anything to put on my resume. Like, I probably put, um, Usually when you start a business and it fails, you, on your resume, you put it as if you worked there. So it's not your fault that it failed, but you have all the experience, like as the manager, you have the experience. Um, 
So I could put, of course, Emerald Scales, and I could put like video experience and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. I'm simply terrible at working with people. I'm gonna ruin any chance of any of you hiring me. I don't collaborate well with people. I have to work independently for the most part. I don't compromise well, and I don't work on a schedule. If you hire me, I'm not. I'm not gonna get up. I'm gonna be late or early. I'm gonna work in bursts. I work in bursts. I don't work on a. I don't do five hours a day, eight hours a day, every day. I do 20 hours one day, six hours the next day, 16 hours the next day, two hours the next day. And that doesn't really work when you have a job. So I, I would do something just, I don't know. I'd probably do a little gigs. I'd mow some lawn. I'd um, drop ship some stuff. Maybe do a little video editing. I just don't like video editing that much anymore. I like editing the vlogs, but that's about it. I hate editing other people's stuff. Well, here's the thing, I need to diversify. That's why we started Emerald Scales. That was the diversification. It was gonna flourish, it was gonna be self-sustained, and then I was gonna diversify more. Uh, the thing is I'm kind of starting back at square one, because Emerald Scales essentially doesn't work. That was the conclusion of five years of working on it. Uh, but at the same time, my channel became pretty dependent on Emerald Scales, and my channels just naturally flowed downwards as I get a little more tired, and my content gets a little bit less original, and viewers lose a little bit of interest. Um, yeah, so I, I have some... I have, the thing is, I just don't have the passion that I used to in general. I don't have as much motivation, but I've got some stuff I want to work on. I'm, you can consider what I'm doing right now is a little summer break, a little fall break, uh, trying to take it easy, doing enough content to sustain my bills, but I'm not like making the big bucks. I, I'm, I'm basically breaking even each month right now. So, um, but I'm not really, I'm not concerned about it really. Worst case scenario, I sell the house and I have a bunch of equity in the home, so. Um, it's not like, like oh yeah, I won't become homeless, that's, that's good. Um, when I was a kid, I thought that I'd be able to fall back on like, well, if everything goes wrong, I can move back in with my parents, but I cannot move back in with my, like there's not a chance that I'd ever be able to move back in with my parents, so. There has to be something that motivates you to run with a new idea. Yeah, I, I've got minimal motivation. I've got some motivation. I just don't have the motivation I used to experience. I just haven't found it yet. Um, have you considered, I don't think, so you said, have you considered dissolving Emerald Scales and filing bankruptcy since it's a for-profit? Uh, I don't think bankruptcy should be an option. It would make me a hypocrite to file for bankruptcy because I don't think people should be able to go bankrupt. I know that's terrible, but that's just my view. Right? That's my childish 22 year old view. Maybe it'll change. I don't think chapter seven should be an option. I don't think big companies should be able to just go bankrupt. Uh, but even if I wanted to go bankrupt, I can't because Emerald Scales is not actually a company. Emerald Scales dissolved uh, in 2019 and it's just part of GoHerping LLC, which is still profitable. Um, oh yeah, but with motivation, I just don't wake up being like, Raz and Grand Gamers, it's time to get going. Like I look forward to gardening, or not even garden, I look forward to landscaping, because I'm not really gardening yet. I look forward to saying hello to the chickens and feeding them. Um, I'm, I'm just pretty tired nowadays, so I'm, I'm thinking if I continue this break and continue live streaming, I'll get rejuvenated and um, play around with some other stuff. I just don't have experience with anything else. I don't really know even what to try because I've been so laser focused. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I have what I consider a vlog series. Um, still no Wi-Fi. But the vlogs started as reptile stuff, like reptile pickups, and then it was like moving houses, and then it was more reptile stuff. Just various house projects, the gardening, 
uh, updates on my animals, like birds and stuff. So. I need to shave. How I keep saying I should just not shave and see what happens, but I would look so insane. We have to maintain a budget with my husband working his full-time job, and then our franchise is a million-dollar business, so we have to make sure we keep that out of our... Wait, let me read that to myself to understand it. So, like, you keep things separate? Is that what you're saying? It's pretty cool, though. Here's the thing, though, when people are like, your child self would be so proud of you now. No, he wouldn't. Do you know how upset he would be? My child self thought he'd be a millionaire by, like, 20. He would be so... Like, my child self didn't want to be a millionaire. He wanted to be a trillionaire. Like, a billionaire? Weak. Lame. Trillion. All right. Maybe he'd settle for a trillion. And it wasn't about the money so much. Like, okay, my young self would have bought it a lot of stuff, but... Um... I still like to reach millionaire status. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's so stupid. Like, house, I, I feel so bad for anyone trying to buy a house. Like, I have $100,000 in equity in the home. Meaning that if I were to sell it right now, after paying off my mortgage, uh, I would have a hundred grand. Or that's before paying all the seller's fees. I'd have like 70 grand just from selling the house, which is so stupid. And he, I've been like, well, should I just sell it and take the money? But what am I gonna do? If I go buy another house, it's gonna be overvalued and then lose the value. So I think it's best for me to just stay here. $5 from Leah, Boopalus Nude. Go to sleep, bro. I literally went to sleep seeing her stream, then I wake up for work and see you're still streaming. Crying face. <laughs> Look at the super chat. I'm going to sleep soon. I'm waiting for the sun to rise so I can let the chickens out. Um, I appreciate the super chat, though. One step closer to that trillionaire status that my child self wanted. Um, I still don't know who Andrew Tate is, but I feel like it's probably not good that I would have been the next Andrew Tate. I don't know what that means. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the home. Like, okay, so I have 70 grand in cash, but now I don't have a home. So do I just rent? But then I'm just gonna waste the money on renting. So, yeah, I'm not planning on selling it. But in the case of emergency, if my channel gets deleted, then I can sell the home and I'll have the cash to tide me over until I figure something else out. Um. Yeah, I can't refinance because I'm not making the income that I was. Like, I needed every cent of that income I was making. Like, if I would only qualify now for, like, half of what this house cost me. Because my, my income has dropped by two-thirds, basically. So when I bought the house, I was making three times what I'm making now. Which was the perfect timing for when I needed the house. And instantly, my income just dropped off. And I was working it really, I was totally overworking myself for the purpose of earning that money to because I had to get out of the rentals. Um, so it worked. That was not sustainable though, so. Um, yeah, I'm in a very cheap town, which is nice. It's an, it's it's very close to accessible. Like, I mean, everyone knows I'm, I just say I'm in Raleigh, which is close enough. I don't, I don't say any more specific than that. Basically, I can, I can access Raleigh despite like but i'm still in a cheap area so oh are you talking about something else i have no option but to rent it's it's becoming so inaccessible to buy a house like well it was like it used to be like you'd have a nuclear family wife at home with a kid or two husband just works a normal job and then by like 30, they're like, all right, let's buy a nice house. And then they buy like a, a decent house. But now like the property value that this home has now, I would never be able to afford it. It's insane. 
it's worth like apparently the house is worth like half a million dollars now which is so stupid it's just it's not even a nice house it's a, it's fine i like the house i'm not trying to like downplay the house it's it's a decent house. it's just a it's a very perfectly normal house but half a million dollars for this thing it's just because there's so many issues with house building right now and just a supply and demand issue so the value will drop i would guess it dropped to 300k in a couple years <clears throat> which is less than what i paid Four to six acres for thirty k. Yeah, I would, I would like more land. Car and van dwellers. Yeah, I've thought of it. I mean, I was obsessed with tiny houses. I'd still like a tiny house to like. I don't know if I could live in a tiny. I think living in a tiny house just goes against the lifestyle that I want. What I would like is a tiny house as a second property to rent out as like an Airbnb, and it, like. My long-term goal would be to have a beach house, like a, a beach, a tiny house on the beach that I use as a rental property for like vacation rental, and then I can go to it in the off season. Um, that would be like years down the road, like 10 plus years. Um, I love the idea of tiny houses. Van life is just, it's just unrealistic. You'd be, I, in my opinion, you'd become claustrophobic. I, look, I need a bathroom, man. I need my own shower. I don't want to have to go to the gym and bring my soap and sit in a communal shower. <laughs> I need a toilet. <laughs> I need my bidet. <laughs> um, I could see maybe an RV life, maybe, but I'm not sure. I I would need I would prefer preferably have a towable tiny home that I can park with a bathroom. I've stayed in many tiny homes. I love them. I've stayed in me and Alice have stayed in like four. Airbnb tiny homes. I had really bad claustrophobia in one. I woke up in a panic because it was so dang. Because I was lying down and the ceiling was here because it was a loft bed. And Alice was on the outside of the bed. So I was up against the wall. I was in between Alice, the wall, and I just woke up and just like this, like this. And I just, I like started panicking. That was really weird. Yeah, I don't know about a bunch of cats in a in an RV. That sounds like some pet hoarder level stuff. Okay, I can't. I don't know if I could live in an RV with kids, like my kids, and a relation. That's too many dang people. As someone who's homeless, living out of a two-door car. Pilot loves showers. Loves? Oh, wait, they have showers? That's cool, I didn't know that. I think if I was like single, I could more likely live in something like that. Like I, I still need personal space. Um, even, cause me and Alice, we shared a one bedroom for a year, over a year. Um, all right, that's one reason that Emerald Scales kind of destroyed my interest is we were in a two-story townhouse, but we were living in a one-bedroom. That's it, that's all we had. The kitchen, the living room, the hallway, the dining room, there was no dining room, but the hallway and the second bedroom were all Emerald Scales, and it was just so enclosed. Um, but yeah, like living, I don't, I can't, <laughs> as much as I love living with Alice, I can't live in a one bedroom. It's not because her, it's just because I need uh, that personal space. I need my own office. But it was a bedroom and but we had both of our desks and our bed just in the one bedroom. And it was about the size of this room. It was a little bit longer. Like, you had to climb over the bed to get to one of the desks. Which, obviously, I, that happened with my husband for 22 years. Huh, that's... I mean, that's a normal amount of time, I guess, for a long-term relationship, but that's from the year that I was born. And that this just, it feels like I've been alive forever, so... 
Um, oh yeah, I was saying, of course it was my own fault that all that space was taken over by reptiles, but it felt like the only way that was going to make it work. Marriage? I don't know how I feel about marriage now. Like, not much would change if I was married right now. Like, what's the difference, really? You live in your OTR. What's OTR? Around town? No. Because there's long distance and then there's like town. I don't know what OTR is. Leaving my truck with a boyfriend definitely crazy. I, I, I can't. I would kill them. <laughs> By myself? That seems pretty interesting. I see, I'm not convinced of the idea of marriage yet. I was your age when I got married. Like, I feel committed to my relationship. But I have a weird view on marriage. I don't think it's the right view, but... I like the idea that either of us could walk away from the relationship at any time which makes me feel more secure in both in both directions of the relationship like marriage creates this like artificial bond this like this bond it creates this connection that um it takes effort to split and so what if one person becomes dissatisfied but they just deal with it because they don't want to deal with the divorce um, that would make me self-conscious, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's a good view to have, but, like, I like the idea that Alice could just get up and leave at any moment, and vice versa. Like, I have no... I'm not stuck to her at all. So. Um. But I like... I like the idea of the title. I like the idea of being a husband and having a wife. But past that, I don't know. Because I guess for a while it was more. But I don't know. I just don't want the government involved. But who knows? Marriage is for people who value stability over unlimited freedom. I don't think that wording it that way is right. It's not the idea of unlimited freedom, it's the idea of being unconstrained, I think. Because you can still be stable and committed without being constrained, if that makes sense. Yeah, non-legally married. Um, I like, like, I, yeah. I, I could just use the label husband wife, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you probably have more marriage experience than the average person in chat right now. But, but I think that's, well, like you said, you got married at my age, but... Um, the desire just hasn't hit me yet, so I don't know. We'll see. I, do I consider myself cringe? Not really. I don't know, should I? I consider myself from like more than three months ago cringe. I, tr I have a deep hatred for my younger self, like a year, two years plus. It's I think it's entering an unhealthy level, like the amount that I hate my old self, but I like, I mean, my current self is better. Oh, you've been married for over 10, I think. Oh wait, no, that's, I, th I read Jasmine's message with Michaela Zerman. Want more lemonade? Hold on. Oh wait, I have water. In there. I picked it up and forgot to drink it.
Okay, there's 76 people here now. If I acknowledge that there's a lot more people, are they all just going to disappear again? <clears throat> no, I think we're good. You purposely did cringy stuff so you can look back at all the cringy stuff. <laughs> the thing is, like, what's bizarre to me is when people will, like, binge my old content from, like, 2019 and earlier, and that's who they think I am, I hate... I so badly hate my 19... If it's a teenage number, I hate him. I hate my teenage self so much. Like, I would beat him up. I would hurt my... I would hurt him. That sounds terrible. I... There's not a single thing I like about my teenage self, really. <clears throat> um, and so it's weird when people still see me as that person, I guess. I'm not saying I come off super different, but I think internally I'm extreme. The way I think about things, the way I process stuff, the way I handle stuff. It's so different. I don't, even if I was married, I don't, I don't know if I want to like merge finances with anyone. <clears throat> To me, I don't know, this could be another immature thing, but to me, finances are more in, not a, not sharing them, not that you should be private about them necessarily, but just, your finances are your finances. I don't think it's makes sense to combine them. Like my, like when I realized as a kid, my parents have, they both make money and they both go to the same account. I was like, what? I'm not saying you don't spend money on each other. I'm not saying you don't collaborate on purchases. I'm not even saying you don't co-sign a house together or a car. But just the I, I don't know. To me, I um, I feel like I'll always crave a certain level of independence. That maybe is too much independence for marriage. I'm not sure. Yeah, because it's not, I mean, most married people have joint accounts, right? I just didn't know that as a kid, that that was, like, the standard thing. I thought they'd have, like, the mommy bank account and the daddy bank account and the mommy car and the daddy car. Because, like, my mom has her car my dad has his car. But I think they co-signed on, on both. <clears throat> Or actually, I guess my dad's oldest car, so he, he has a um, just a an older car, uh, older Corvette that he got in cash <clears throat> for like five k or something. I look, I'm on, cars almost paid off. I'm looking forward to that. That would feel nice. I I have no plans for. for I, I do. I so badly want to make another unboxing. I love making the reptile unboxings. I'm always prepared to make a new reptile unboxing, but the effort that goes into the reptile unboxing is so extreme that I don't know when I can do another. Each unboxing is months of work. Because if I unbox 30 animals, half of them are going to be here for at least a month. A third of them are going to be here for at least two months. A quarter are going to be here for at least six months. And it's going to be expensive. It's going to be vet bills. It's going to be food. It's going to be water. It's going to be people to care for the animals. It's going to be vetting the people. It's going to be people doing emails. Um, it's it's a lot of work that goes into a single unboxing video. The katana, I think it was from Amazon. I was eating at P.F. Chang's. This is actually the, the P.F. Chang's... Um, that we go to, they have like one of those big, it looks like a painting, but it's a photo with a filter. I thought it was funny. The model is holding this exact katana in P.F. Chang's. Is marriage pushed? I feel like marriage isn't really pushed in the US. Uh, like it's pretty normal, man. Like, I mean, living together um, without being married is like standard now. Alice said that that used to be kind of unheard of. I mean, me and Alice moved in together pretty quickly. Um, we talked for, we talked online 
for one and a half months, two, one, one to two months. And then we met in person at that point. And then we moved in together two months after that. We knew each other for like four months and then we were living together basically. Actually, we've been living together for almost exactly, wait. I think we were like, we just hit three years probably. Like next week we'd be living together for three years. Minimum wage here is seven twenty-five, and like four bucks if you're a waiter. I think the lowest is Georgia, five twenty-five. This is so dull right now. I don't even know if I could cut myself with it. It's, it's cut through so many boxes that it's actually dulled out. I mean, it was never that sharp to begin with. I think if you sharpened it, it could be sharp. Um, I kind of built the PC. So it's, it's a long story. I mostly built it. <laughs> That's a weird one to start watching. <laughs> can, I, can I pretend to hurt myself on YouTube? I don't actually know. Like, what do I put myself in the microwave? <laughs> I don't think I can cut anything with this. Look at it, look. It was never that sharp to begin with. But... Don't let the intrusive thoughts so in. They always win. I mean, it's sold on Amazon. They can't sell, like, I don't think they can sell real weapons. Did do, I wonder if people think it's a real katana. I mean, it's metal. It's pretty quality. This is like plastic though. If this was leather or something, does anyone know what it says? I don't even, is this, I can't tell what language it is. I feel you don't want to be caged in a marriage. Like I'm not saying a marriage is a cage, it's just for me. I don't know, I think you get what I'm saying, probably. Yeah, I have a sister. She was in the stream chat last stream. She probably, she usually comes in for a few minutes each stream. She's very weird now. She knows I think she's weird. Like, she, cause she's night, yeah, 19. Um, and she just moved to New York for college. And we're just such, di like we get along great, but we're such different people. Like we have such di like the people we hang out and talk to are total opposites. Um, our views on everything is opposite. It's very interesting because we grew up very close to each other, uh, like very close like friends basically. Like we were kind of best friends, um, but we like totally went opposite paths. Which I think is kind of cool. It's almost like a simulator of what would happen if I went down her path. Or if I went down an opposite path, I can watch it through her and vice versa. She seems to really like New York. I think she likes the independence, uh, which I'm not surprised by. She really, I mean, she needs to get out of the sheltered environment for sure. Um, I think she likes the privacy. I mean, I'm talking for her. I don't even need to ask her these things. I know she's experiencing what I experienced when I moved out. The pri- oh my god, the privacy was so nice. It's not even try like wanting to do anything weird, just, um, it was kind of like, it was like an, uh, like an unspoken rule. Like anyone can go in anyone's room at any time. No closed doors, never lock your door. Like that's really weird. Um, that would be unheard of. Everyone's in everyone's business. So yeah, <clears throat> I think she, I mean, hopefully she's doing, enjoying it. But yeah, I think she likes being able to just and not someone checking up on her. Even when my sister comes to my house, she's getting checked up on. Even when she goes on a date, she's getting checked up on. And she has like a curfew even though she's an adult. And like, a vehicle.
um, did I walk out naked the first day in my own place? I don't remember if it was the first day, but it was certainly it was certainly early on. It was just like I didn't even want to do anything weird. I just being able to just lock my front door and knowing that nobody can come in here without my permission. I was like, oh yes, this is the payoff of becoming an adult. But there's certain, I mean, even just the little things, like, oh, I forgot my towel in the shower. No problem, it's my flipping house. I don't know if I'd be able to live with roommates. Okay, so anyone that has roommates that you're not, like, dating or, like, friends with benefits, how close are you with your roommate? Like, are you, if, if you forgot a towel, would you be comfortable strolling past your roommate naked while they're on, like, watching TV? I don't know how close people get to roommates. I guess it obviously depends. See ya, Michaela. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks thanks for the super chats, and I like um, hearing your insight and stuff. Definitely girls. Okay, here's something I really wanted to ask. It's late enough in that we're nine and a half hours in. Um, I'm sure not everyone wants to hear this. So the first, in college, I didn't... When you have a roommate, you're literally sharing the same room. You're, you have beds next to each other. You have bunk beds. You're on top of one another, basically. You are an 18-year-old, let's just say guy or girl, doesn't matter. How do you... How do you jerk off in college? What do you do? What's the... Because here's the thing. If I had a roommate in college and like he brings home a girl, I'm like, all right, I get, I get the idea. I'll go somewhere else. But if my roommate just walks in and he's like, I need to nut, <laughs> I, it's different. Bathroom, bath. Are y'all just gonna say bathroom? Is that really the answer? You're forced to the bathroom in your own home, in your own room. Like, you go to the bathroom. You don't. All right, look. I don't know who you are, but we are two different people. <laughs> um, yeah, just rooming with anyone platonically. Bathroom shower was the fap zone. Really? <laughs> Why are you surprised by this? This is a normal question, is it not? Um, just wait for your roommate to leave for work. Yeah, okay, so if you have, I think that's what Alice said when I asked her. She said, just wait till they have a class that you don't. Uh, I mean, because it's going to be inevitable they're going to walk. I just, I don't know. Let me read through. <laughs> My brother forced everyone out of this room and straight up said he was going to jack it. Okay, I think it's different with... Well, I don't know. I haven't had same-sex siblings, but it seems like a pain to ha to have a to share a room with a sibling as well. You help each other out, do it for the boys. Okay. If your roommate sees you, might complain about you on Reddit. I've seen that. Why would you complain about it? If I walked in by myself, I wouldn't think anything. Why is that's not my problem? It's not a violation of my privacy or my property. It's his room too. My roommate had sex in the next bed. Classy to go get a bathroom. Huh, interesting. I don't think I make it in college. <laughs> we've, con we've concluded here, everyone. I can't do it. But yeah, I've been wanting that for a while. Didn't have anyone ask. I'm glad I could ask here. Why did the viewer account drop by 20 when I asked that? Me and my partner were blasted. What does it mean to be blasted? We kind of just started... Alright. Start on the floor while my roommate was sleeping. I think I'd be a little more offended if they did it while I was sleeping. I think I'd rather be woken up and be like, like a little heads up. Like, I can go to the couch for, I don't know, how long is it going to take? Like, 30 seconds, 30 minutes? <clears throat> oh, drunk. 
I open discussion about intimacy. We're talking about 18 year old boys. You think they're gonna sit down and have an open discussion about intimacy? Making a schedule, hang a calendar. <laughs> um, I'm sure some people do it, I don't know. Yeah, usually a few people are asleep watching the stream. Wi-Fi is still not back. And the idea of like a bunk bed is even worse. Like, would I rather be on top or underneath while my roommate is busy? I think I'd rather be on top. On the top bunk, I should specify. <laughs> no, I kind of like an Etsy product. Like a gift to get your kid when they're going to college, just buy them a nut calendar for them and their roomie. Okay, I can't read all these messages, but we get the point. <laughs> I think I have other questions that is worth asking now. I'm not sure. Uh, my sister's dorm does not have bunk beds. They're just beds like next to each other, like on opposing walls. Oh, that's good. So Alice says, I don't sound gay, but I look gay as her. My sister said that she thought I was gay and like since the, she was like six years old. And she was reconfirming it the last time I talked to her in person. She's like, are you sure, are you sure you're not gay? You being honest with me, big brother? <laughs> so great, apparently it's not just, apparently it's my, the people closest to me as well. I didn't care if you want. Free milk, what are you referring to? I'm gonna assume that your college just gives free jugs of milk. So I'm like the, the opposite. Cause I'm like a closeted straight person. Is that what we're getting here? Yeah, Alice, is a, Alice didn't know what a beard was and people kept calling her a beard. She's like, why are people calling me a beard? That was the one thing that I knew that she didn't, but I had to explain to her. Well, because, yeah, my, my sister, I mean, I guess kind of a part of her personality now, because she's bisexual. Um, so I guess she just assumed that I was too? I'm, I'm trying to think if I get called gay or a furry more often. Have you kissed a dude? I have not. Alice was like, Alice laughed at like, because she, she's my only relationship I've ever had. I didn't date at all. Um, pe like, period. I never dated a single, I never even tried to date anyone at school. So. I'm like, I'm not complaining, I think that was fine. My only regret kind of is. I don't really know what a power bottom is. I, all I know is apparently I am one, and I probably shouldn't say that because I'm not sure what it is. But it sounds a little suspicious. Is the sun up yet? <sighs> not yet. I'll have the chains on like 20 minutes. I need automatic doors, man. Because I, I, I slept in and the chickens weren't let out till like noon, but it was really hot and they were probably dying. Still no Wi Fi. I don't remember what polytextual is. And I have no idea what demi is. I am a bit old in that regard.
you didn't rise your bi till you're 26. So maybe I may. So closeted means you know you're gay, but not publicly. What about when everyone else knows you're gay, but you don't? Because apparently that's what I am. <laughs> I'm like in the oven or something, and I'm still cooking up. But people can peer in and be like, oh, chicken's looking pretty good. It's getting a little brown in there. I might play multiverses. Why do people keep asking me to play that? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I, I actually forgot about multiverses. Is the stream still cut off? Okay, thank you for the clarification on Power Bottom. They refer to that as confused. Okay, great. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex, I'm 22. I am confused. But the, here's the thing, I don't feel confused. It's see, I'm just getting confused by other people. So I think that makes me... I guess they're making me doubt myself. I don't, the thing is, I don't think I'm objectively, I don't, I'm not gonna get into that. I could just be straight. You're not allowed to be straight in the 2020s. What are you getting on about? Can I move the camera back a bit? Is this good? I don't have my glasses on, I can't see the screen. See it all out, herps. I'm literally just waiting for the chickens, I'm tired. Money in the way, the mind time is not going to get in my head. I don't know what to mind, I'll mind this anyway. I got problems. Do you think it's dumb to spend money on free games? I don't know. Just be aware of what you're buying. And, yeah. I, I'm sure I've spent some money on free games. I think if I was actually gay, that would be like the best thing for my brand. That gives you like plus 50 cool points at this point. I have to, I'm gonna have to like pretend to just go with it for monetization purposes. Then I can like fly the rainbow flag everywhere and be like, hello, fellow rainbowers. Would you like to give a fellow rainbow boy, rainbow boy money? And the word sexuality is homosexual hetero romantic. Homosexual hetero romantic. You are making up terms. I don't know what any of this is. Can you say gay rights for all the kids on Twitter? I don't want to give the kids on Twitter anything. I also have no idea what rights gay people are looking. Wait, are gay people looking for more rights? Don't they have them all? <laughs> what, what's missing? I could be wrong, but I don't think there's anything left. I don't know these terms, man. I don't know what you're talking about. The alphabet mafia. <laughs> Trying to pull back gay marriage. Um, if they do, like, kind of who cares? <laughs> we just talked about the marriage thing. I, I get the idea of, um, there's the, like, well, I guess, eh, no, marriage doesn't really affect custody of children. Why do people want to get married is my question. Like, I'm not saying there should be any difference between uh, whoever you're marrying. Why do people want the government so involved? I don't know. And also, who's wasting their time trying to undo it? It seems like a waste of time in all regards. Maybe I'm just really lazy and don't feel like I'm making any changes. <clears throat> who, uh, I don't know who they is. Reinstating bans on same-sex marriage. 
It's called Blinder. Haha, <laughs> I got called straight for the first time in my mortal life. Tax benefits. I guess. Marriage can affect custody in the same sex relationship because one parent may not be related. I'm trying to think if I've ever heard of a non-romantic couple or like a non-couple sharing custody. Like even just a even just a male friend and a female friend. I guess that doesn't really happen. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it seems like kind of a waste of time to undo that. It's not. I don't really see the. Even if you were like really, if you really just hate gay people, <laughs> it's just not really doing anything of I don't know. Even if you're the most anti-gay person, you surely could find more value uh, giving your time to something else, right? And that's coming from the person who gets called alt-right every other week. Um, yeah, my PC is, I don't want to say what the problem was, but it's, it's working. It's on. It's all good. <clears throat> I have to get adopted by his non by Oh, the other thing... <clears throat> I don't quite understand it is how badly people want their kids to be their like their DNA like how anti-adoption some people are maybe it's my emerald scales taking over but I really couldn't care if my child is adopted or not but like yeah sure I have the interest in like what would a small me look like but I can kind of just like I could just ask an artist to be like can you draw what my baby would look like and then like I don't need to raise a kid 18 years to find that out <clears throat> Kind of like how it's like, I don't know if it's always been a thing, but I feel like I see it more often that um, a guy raising another guy's kids is like a mega cuck. <laughs> I don't get that. That's like, I every time I hear that, I'm like, it must be like a 12 year old boy messaging that, but it'll be like actually adult people. Um. I don't know. I don't really want to. I don't really want to pass. I don't know if I want to potentially pass on the mental and physical ailments that I have. <laughs> so, well, I guess adoption is really expensive. I don't know. It's gonna go back to that existential thing I always go back to with who cares, like, like really DNA. That's what you focus your life on. Um, one Realm of Scales restock? I have no idea. Between one week and never. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Yeah, okay, I don't think people use this. So, um, like... No, that's the word simp. I was gonna mix it up. No, I was gonna talk about, like, the OnlyFans thing, but... I guess cut has a very broad term now. Got my, I don't know, should, Alice says I should not cut it. I don't like it at this length. I like it short, like. I like it pretty, I like it so sh like short, just to the point where you cannot see my scalp, but like almost. But I mean, I haven't showered today, so it's a little bit poofy, as you can see. I'm gonna look so, like, come on, imagine me with a <laughs> with a receding hairline. <laughs> this is this is actually like I look like a clown. I look like the Stan clown emoji. It's so disgusting. But I think my I apparently normally your hair gene comes from your maternal grandfather and my maternal grandfather died with a full head of hair and he also had curly hair so hmm. 
my ethnicity, ethnicity, South Korean. It depends which ID of mine you look at. My driver's license says one, my CCW says another. I'm not sure if that's a problem or not, like if I need to get one changed. <clears throat> Yeah, the, a family on YouTube adopted a Chinese kid, and they just gave the kid back. <laughs> they returned the kid. Imagine going up for adoption, getting adopted, and then getting returned. <laughs> I remember watching, like, a... I don't know who made the video, but... Like, a down the rabbit hole or something. It's on Facebook. So I don't really get to use this Facebook now. I don't know. I mean, I use Facebook Marketplace sometimes, I guess. But Facebook has so many users. Well, thank you, Kevin James. That's wholesome. Very wholesome. Very wholesome, in fact. See you, Aaron. I'm passing out soon. Yeah, I, uh, Craigslist just has so many scams right now. Like, it's so much worse. Do you have any deals going on? Can I get a discount on a floor model? Imagine being in an adoption facility. And a family comes in, and they pick the rat in the corner over you. Isn't that the plot of Stuart Little? All these poor kids. Watch a rodent get selected over you. <laughs> I still think that's so funny. <laughs> I don't care how old the joke is. People are trying to say, well, there's special need kids all the time. Look, I hope I never return a child if I adopt one, but I, I can see where... I, so I, I feel like some um, special needs are, can, can get downplayed by families who experience them. And then like actually handling it is like, oh wow, this is like act, like serious business. Stuart Little, a book, never said he was a mouse. Oh. I didn't know there was a book. <laughs> or that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, is it like the Simpsons? Like, they're only yellow just to catch your attention when you're flipping through channels? They just wanted to pick the rat over the children? Figment of the wait, what? I don't know the plot of Stuart Little, I guess. I don't even remember what the book is about. I'm mixing them up with Chicken Little. <laughs> I don't know, I think I would have kids. I get broody sometimes. Like I just really want a kid. But I would not be doing a good service to the kid if I had one right now. Like if I had to do it, I think I could muster my way through, but it would be very difficult. I've got a ways to go. Because I would say, like, oh, maybe five years, but, like, five years ago was not that long ago, so maybe that's, I don't know. At least people do have kids a little later now. He was as small as a mouse, but in the movie they made him into a mouse. <laughs> okay. So he's gonna sit on his kid? Wait, me? I don't, I really, truly don't know what kind of parent I would be. Um, I think I would be a lot stricter than Alice, believe it or not. And I, I think I would do the classic thing where it's like you raise your kids the way your parents didn't raise you, and then your kids will raise their kids the way you didn't raise them, because it's like you're trying to improve. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. I feel like I'd raise my kids to be pretty traditional. But not, I don't know, tradition's not the right word. 
I feel like a lot of kids are a little like wads nowadays. Cause I had no manners as a kid or uh, respect for anyone. I didn't know how to listen. I tried to make my kid a good listener, I guess. I just fear the serious stuff. Like, I don't know, like my kid gets cancer or something. Or like, just, it, it just the, the unexpected curveballs are what turn me off the most from having kids. Would you, I can't help them with their homework. <laughs> That would be, uh, yeah, that can't be my job. Here's the thing, I don't want to, I don't want to send them to a private school, but I don't want to send them to a public school curriculum. Like, I want them to experience the public school system, kind of, but not the curriculum, in a way. Like, I want them to experience the average kid, I don't want them to be, like, high and mighty or experience, have a terrible experience. I just don't want them learning the things that, I don't know. But maybe curriculums will change by then. Probably not. I don't even know how public schools exist. Yeah, that's what you're saying. You can't make kids anything. I guess just um, the way you like even just now being like I don't yeah I don't know how to describe it. I don't really know. I'm, I'm too tired to explain it. I'll have to put a pin in it for next time. What do you consider a problem in the curriculum? Like the entire curriculum? Like everything is useless? Not everything, but like after I started, I don't know. I just for fun, I started like outlining what my school curriculum would be if I started a school. It would be like There would definitely be an under, I mean, like history. It would, like if you're in the US, yeah, I mean, it would be US school. History would be mostly focused on US history, but more particularly how the US developed and um, how the constitution affects your life, how the constitution became. Uh, like a very constitutional class as both a history understanding and also an understanding of your, your rights as an American. Um, but there would be a lot of like tax and money finance stuff. Um, like to learn to th learn what an accountant learns, kind of. Uh, oh, there's the seeds. <laughs> there would be, I think, a lot of like. This is what I'm planting. Um, I think cooking classes are cool. I think it's good that a lot of schools have cooking, uh, more life skills like that, even cleaning and stuff. I think the baby classes are kind of cool. I never had any of those. Um, just a lot of like self-defense understand like psychology I think should be more standard uh, the psychology of how people work and understanding them and communicating with them kind of, uh, yeah just, just understanding the government understanding um, the authority and the, the the rules of the land and how to navigate it most like with the high, highest chance of success just being like literate in finances and laws and stuff. AKA, like, no chemistry unless they want to take chemistry. <laughs> I did not consider the school district. I don't even know what school um, district I'm in. Too bad, um... Too bad there's no school choice. Too bad a certain group of people tend to be a little bit racist. A certain little group that happens to oftentimes be considered the more progressive anti-racist group, might I say. No further comments, everyone. All right, it's 5.16. I'm gonna let you guys out now. That'll be fine. How to not trespass. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't. Nobody told me about private property, man. Yeah, just, I don't know, stuff that, um... So, when I was in school, I thought if you dropped out of school, you'd, like, actually become, like, mentally disabled. I thought you, like, wouldn't be able to speak. You wouldn't be able to, like, walk. I thought you physically would not be able to function as a human. Um, but I realized there's, like, day-to-day -day stuff, there's not much that I can't really do. Um, aside from, like, reading. 
Like the, my biggest issue with myself is I can't read. Like I can read these messages because they're short little bursts, um, and I have to read it to myself and then I read it out loud. But I, I just can't consume information. So yeah, I'm bringing you with me. Like I don't know. I feel like I've pretty much nailed all the adult stuff that I've had to do so far because I just researched it myself, but nothing in school helped me with any of like, nothing in school helped me with my taxes, my finances, understanding my budgeting, how credit cards work, how loans work, um, how mortgages work, how you buy a house, how you buy a car, like all the stuff that I've actually done that adults tend to do, I just had to like figure it out anyway. So. Even like how to clean. Um, yeah, all right. Where are my shoes? Oh, so this is on the couch. He's peed on this couch many a time. Why is it so blurry? No. Still no Wi-Fi. Where are my shoes? I can't tell if the sun's risen at all yet. Yeah, I have to. I I love going barefoot outside. It does not feel like it's 5.30 a.m. Is this like the winter weather starting where like the sun... Because usually I can start to see the sun by now. Can't see anything. But yeah, I'll get demolished by ants. Yeah, I don't... Okay, I... So here's the thing, my best um, experience with children, or like kids recently, is uh, Reptile Expos, because it's all these families coming up to me, and I meet like 100 families and 200 kids in like a day. The homeschool kids are so weird. They're so, oh, hold on, I mean, I don't want to lose connection. Like, they're actually like on another level of weird. And it, okay, here's the thing though, it's probably... It's probably just the people that the first thing they see is, my son is homeschooled. Like, like my daughter's vegan, so I'm going to come up and be like that. Like, I make my daughter only eat plants. And then there's a bit, like, my son only gets schooled by mama. And, um, so they were, they were, like, I am socially inept. I am so antisocial. I can't, I don't know how to socialize. But these kids made me seem like the most social butterfly on earth they were like little gremlins that just crawled out of a cave so my guess is it's only the people that promote and constantly mention the fact that they're homeschooled it's probably the normal ones basically it's probably the vocal minority so long story short there were some weird homeschool kids the go oh i forgot this is this fence fell it's fine this is mostly just for bunnies because there's a lot of bunnies on the property Yeah, they were not homeschooled in groups. These were the kids that were like, they sit in their kitchen counter literally just with their mom for 18 years. Because I like the idea of my kid having different schooling, but I would force my kid to be social. Because that is my greatest shortcoming, is I never learned how to develop relationships or friendships or talk to people. 
Uh, it was all just through, I keep walking into so many spider webs. Hold on. Oh god, it's a big spider web. Oh, I don't like it. All of my social skills are purely online. Oh my god, I can't get the spider web off me. So, yeah. I would, like, I, I would... I mean, they can pick the clubs, but they're going to clubs, and they're going extracurriculars, and they're talking to kids their own age. Well, so I would force them to be social, but hopefully in a healthy way. But here's the thing, even if you have do have social anxiety, like you say, which, I mean, I'm sure you do, you probably also do have at least an understanding of social skills. I don't even understand it, like, at all. <clears throat> So, like, I also developed really bad anxiety, but I didn't even know how it works. Can you see the stars? They're pretty. I don't think it's showing up on stream, though. Alright, well, I already... I fed the chickens and everything last night before I streamed and cleaned them so um, they should be all good sun's about to come up wait oh. no I can't show nope I'm very seriously awkward no oh, okay I don't know, I guess I gotta do some more research before I have my kid. Would you reward your children if they pass a test or do something good? They shouldn't be rewarded. Um, no, I think I'd give little... If, I, I don't, I haven't really thought about that, but... Yeah, I'd give them, like, my, like... Nothing crazy. Like, oh cool, let's go get some ice cream. Like, I'm, like, more of a, like, I'm, I'm proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. And I'm gonna show you my appreciation by getting you some ice cream. I'm not gonna, like, beat my kid, but I would give them more punish- I didn't receive any punishment as a kid, so I didn't know what discipline was. Where should I put the- oh, none of- does cucumber use this? I don't think it does. Like, I'd probably at least give them some, like, time out or something. If they, like, I don't know, beat up their sibling. lack of punishment as well yeah that's what i hear i think that's the more uh cons like classic conservative traditional probably is yep. yeah internet why is it so blurry why did i snap that's not gonna do anything let me turn on light Because people think that I'm, like, social. Like, socially skilled. It's just that I've refined it online. Like, if you meet me in person, I'm gonna probably come off as average. Maybe a little awkward. But do you think I'm gonna say? I already have a response to everything you could say. Like, it's the classic skill tree of, like, 100 online, zero offline. <clears throat> the Skyrim skill tree. So we're gonna play Oblivion on stream.
But apparently I come off as even more cold in person, which is kind of scary, because apparently I'm pretty cold in videos. Uh, my PC is 32 gigs. I don't know why I'm recording this. And then I always take a little... As like a little pre-wash, some dish soap. See? All right. And with that, I shall end. Is this the longest stream yet? And it wasn't even like a normal stream, it was just fixing my PC for most of it. Yeah, my washing machine does the stupid song. Because it's, it's all Samsung. It's, it, it was cute for a month, but I've had it for a year and it's really annoying now. <laughs> Actually two years, I guess. A year and a half, something like that. Alright, well I had fun. Um, was, this was a very easy stream, because I'm just chilling. But I'm just being, I'm just sitting here doing my thing. The PC was a pain, but I'm glad it's working. I would have been so angry if I went to sleep and it wasn't working. Um, Cause, just, yeah. I don't wanna wake up to a problem like that. I hate going to sleep when there's something that has to be done. Thanks for entertaining me while I get ready for the airport. Where are you going? And you're welcome. Would you let your kid have a YouTube at eight? No, I would not. Um, that's too young. <clears throat> I think, I, I think I would let them make videos, but not post them, at least until they're 13. Uh, but yeah, definitely build the skills, hopefully give them the, like, help them acquire the gear they need to make content, but just share it with friends and family for a while. Yeah, kids, <laughs> I don't know if kids need the internet at age eight, man. But thanks everyone that's joined. Some of you have been here the whole time, which is insane. Hopefully you've enjoyed um, just kind of hanging out. That's kind of the goal, just I hang out. I try to make the streams that I, want, I would want to watch, and I just sometimes I just want to follow someone around in the background um, while they do their thing and throw in a few messages, see if they notice what I'm saying. So I try to get to everyone, but um, thanks to the mods that dealt with the spam bots. I guess I'll turn on subscriber mode next time, make your, your unpaid jobs a little bit easier. <clears throat> um, but I have them. In the next stream, I'll post a video like tomorrow, as in Wednesday. But I'd like to do the advice stream. I made David a mod, but thankfully 